going on, everybody? Happy Friday afternoon, evening. What is it for you guys? It's 6.30 p.m. Eastern, 5.30 Central here in the Central Time Zone, and it's time for some derailed gaming here in OCRP. Get a very early start because we got some business to take care of. We've got some uh, characters to uh, modify, create, what have you. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that uh, earlier today, and then as uh, the server starts to pick up, we are going to uh, do some things with these characters, and even the characters that you're voting on here in the chat. Tonight, after we try out our new character, you decide what we do next. Is it Josh Fleetwood with First Alert News? Craig and his conspiracies that somehow turned criminal? Um, he started out as law-abiding, didn't he? And he eventually uh, edged his way into crime. Eddie, the criminal tour agent. What tour of crimes is he going to take us on next if you pick that? Also, Cole Cassidy with his questionable sprunk promotions. Um, also an option there. We don't have Matthew James tonight. I already reached out to Corey. But uh, doing some solo stuff with Cole, maybe we can even stir up uh, a friend or two to join us if the uh, situation calls for it. 8,468 subs to start the night, and uh, we are already up to five likes to start things out. What's up in the chat to Kathleen? We also have Crafty in there and Marcus. Um, let's see what else you guys have said since I started. Uh, a business proposition for the lawyer. Interesting. Kathleen welcoming everyone in. Love the choice of clip. Thanks so much for saving my eyes. Hey, it's, uh, I like the clip. And Johnny E is here as well. So here is the uh, lawyer. Now, this is a basic ped. So the reason I want to change him first, and the reason I picked the vineyard is it's, well lit during the day and it's got a well lit interior if it's night so we'll and it's kind of away from where people I think will be spawning in or even uh, potentially doing some early RP but here's the reason I want to change him and it's because there's only so many options for this guy as you see so if we want to commit crimes with him and change clothes or whatever we may want to do, there's not too many options. Matter of fact, isn't there a... Maybe it's not this guy, but they're, they're basically uh, one of the lawyers. Oh, it was a different lawyer option, but was basically Dan Morgan. So I'm like, well, we can't use that guy anyway. So um, let's... Uh, we're going to start from scratch with this guy. And I want to do it in the M menu here. Create a male character. And also, I do want to have his picture up on the screen. So let's go ahead and drop this for now. And I'm going to... Oh, my lord, that's huge. Okay, you know what? Let's just go back to this. I'll, I'll start a whole new image file. Um, let me go back to this. Drop that down. And... Uh, image uh sure boom bring this down to where it needs to be and i want to get a picture of our lawyer guy because i wanted to look pretty close to this but not so close that uh or not that actual pet if that makes sense what's up to catch up how's it going man <coughs> hey uh you gonna be on tonight catch up May, uh, there's a chance that Cole wins the poll and uh, we'll get into some Sprunk stuff if you're going to be around. Um, let's see. So that's what we're uh, starting with here. So there's his picture of how we are used to seeing him. So we, let me... Can I... Oh, there we go. I think here we're pretty good on that. It's the appearance we need to work on. So his hair can be like this. Wait, why is his why is his hair green? I don't want his hair green. What the hell?
Wait, why is it not coming off of green? it I don't understand well, let's restart then that's weird create mail character what back from the business trip awesome have you had this happen to you ketchup Or the hair color won't change? Will the blemishes show? Blemishes? Nothing's showing. Maybe I need to do something with it. Oh, there we go. Maybe I just need to move it a little bit. There we go. Jeez, okay, that's what it was. That is, that's really weird that it did that. Okay, so we need to get a little bit of brown in it. Come back to this. That's about right. Uh, blemishes. Blemishes. Jesus, Drew. Um, I don't think we really have any of those. Beard style. He's going to have... God, why am I having such a hard time? It's going to be a little darker than his hair, I think. Eh, you know what? We'll just go with the same. But it's a full-on goatee. So something like that's going to be pretty Eyebrows. All right. Let's go over here. If I can grab it. His eyebrows are thin. Okay. And they're a little more red. Oh my god. Okay. You know what? Actually, that's about right. Something like that? Does that look about right? Oh, uh, when I use some auto textures, my Mac, vehicle models, there was a green tint. Could be something to do with the character creation. Yeah, I don't know. That's not exactly right. Let me see here. I mean, I, I'm not going to spend too much time on eyebrows. I just want to get them kind of close. You know, something like that, maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I got it figured out one way or another, I guess, right? Aging style now. He looks a little aged. So let's... I don't need that. That's crazy. You know, I like the red eyes, though. And crow's feet. Even though that's going to deviate a little bit from him, I like the idea of him just being, like, eyes bloodshot. And he's just no sleep, nothing to lose kind of style. So I'm going to stick with that. If anyone disagrees with anything I'm doing, please let me know in the chat. But I think that's going to handle... The face mostly. He's pretty much clean shaven otherwise. I'm not worried about eye color. Blue eyes. I think I listed him as brown eyes though in his uh, in the CAD. So I didn't know what his eye color was. I couldn't look at him that close. So yeah, we're going to go with brown, even though he was originally blue. Okay. 
So there we go, brown eyes. Boom! Now you gotta do the face structure. Um, yeah. We do have to worry about that. So his nose is gonna be thinner. He's got a really thin nose. Nose height. Um, it's pulled up a little bit, isn't it? Length, eh. bone height. I think it looks like it's sunken in a little. Nose peak lowering. Sure. Bone twist. It kind of looks like it's twisted this way a bit, honestly. Even a little more. Eh, it could be the angle. Yeah, something like that. Eyebrow height. Oh, I see. If he's going to be a sad character, we're going to want his... I don't think they have much depth. Cheekbone height. It's getting dark out, too. He's really a thin guy, so let's bring these down some. Cheeks width. They're almost sunken in, aren't they? I don't see much difference with the width. Eyes opening. He's a squinty guy. Lips. Really thin. Jawbone. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay, so that's really thin also. It's yeah. Oh man. Okay. Well, now he's like no chin at all. His chin should stick out some. Something like that. He's got a pretty wide chin, too, doesn't he? Chin hole. Well, he does have an asshole chin. Okay. So we'll give him an asshole chin. Yep. Neck. It's about right. No tattoos. Clothes. Okay. Uh, so, we need a white shirt. For, not accessories. Um, oh, upper body. That's right. Oh my lord. Um, <coughs> excuse me. untucked that'd be even better because you know, again he's we want him to look a little sloppier good thing we don't have darker nights on right now It'd make this a lot more difficult let's see what's going on EJ's in the chat Gary, what's up? Make him fat? Well, no, we're trying to keep him looking like the guy we already have. Playing Among Us, says EJ. Uh, fat with a little bit of muscle. 
Yeah, may, maybe our, our new character. We'll, we'll definitely be voting on that here in a little bit. But this lawyer is going... He's going to be starved. He's going to be starved for money, starved for business. So he's thin. He's scraggly looking. He's desperate. The, the, uh, the next guy that we'll be picking, you guys will have a lot more say in. Um, but basically, we're just... Uh, remaking this guy as well as we can. That's a cop outfit. That always trips me out the way that thing's all squiggly and everything. Where are the dress shirts? <laughs> what a chin. <laughs> yeah, he looks a lot like him. I think. I think we got it pretty close. I just need this damn dress shirt. I thought we had it earlier, but I guess we didn't. There wasn't a white shirt. Which, how is there not a white shirt for a damn suit? There's got to be, and I'm just missing it. Oh. Here we go. It's... All right, so 321. Let's remember that. I want to see if there's one that's untucked. Oops. Okay. I doubt there is because the shirts start getting goofier from here, if I remember right. I saw something now. 321 looks like it's going to be it. It gets to the point where there's a, not everything has a shirt toward these numbers here. Da, 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 da. We're almost there to the end, so I can say that we are officially out of options. Okay. I thought I saw... Yeah, I thought about this, but yeah, nothing's going to... 321 it is. So now we're going to have to change this. Excuse me, doesn't look like there's going to be any other issues there. We're going to want dress pants. Boom, that'll work. Shoes. Something dress. Which I think is lower, isn't it? Is that really... basic slip-on dress shoes. have to be buttoned up, but I want I want a tie that's going to look a little like, why? Why does it do that? Why is it going to clip like that? So let's see if the shirt that was up here at like 340 whatever uh, it doesn't work any better. No. 322 Let's see if there's another crappy tie. Thirty-seven isn't too bad. 
37 and 30. Oh my god, what the fuck? Yep. So I think 37 and 39 are going to be our options here. 37 does a little bit of clipping through unless we button the button. 39 just looks goofy. It does some clipping through. Let's go back to 37. It clips through there, or we could do that. That's the only one that's not going to clip through, but he does look a little dressed down still. I feel like, gosh, I really wish one of these would work. What about gang members or something? Well, I can't be a cop, EJ. Obviously, I, I would have to actually go through the training program uh, I'm not making a gang member here we're recreating the lawyer that's on the screen right now um, the next one will be picking a character the fuck did I just hear somebody what the hell is this Dude, if you shoot me while I'm trying to create something. Jesus. Alright, we'll go with this, especially since this guy's about to shoot me. Hats, glasses... Watches, bracelets, okay. Facial expression. Can we like zoom in on his face for this? What do you want from me? Do you have a voice? Who <laughs> again? Okay. So let's take a look at no clipping there. You know, we're going to go with this. It does have a little bit of clipping on the tie, but at least it looks worn down, run down. His face, he looks, gosh, he looks, yeah. 
I guess he does look a little more desperate, though. Like, this is what we're going for. Even if he does look a little bitchy. It really hurt. I bet it did. But stalking me. Point a gun at me, you get shot. soon. There we go. I wanted a picture of his face for his, because uh, he is going to be a little bit different. So let me trim this down really quick. And then we'll be able to start on the one that you guys are voting for here in just a second. Where is my screenshot of this guy? Here it is, over here. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Save. Boop, 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 boop. Put him in the CAD. How do I do? Oh, I need to edit character. Edit. Civilian photo. We'll put a new one in, which is this one. And I'll be able to show you guys here in just a second the difference in what we have. That's good. All right, let's go to the CAD and I'll show you what we have. Oh, God. Is it not doing it again? It's not going to show us again. All right, the on-screen cat is not working again tonight, so we'll have to make do. So here, I'll show you the difference between the two. Here's our new one. And here's our old one. We got him pretty close, and he looks a little more uh, desperate, does he not? What do you guys think? One in the chat, if you like the change that we've made to the having the guy on the right, um, I think he looks a little more desperate, a little more crazed, where the other one just looks like a fucking happy lawyer. So, one in the chat if you like the change, two if you don't. If you don't, let me know what changes you would make. Well, then we're pretty close to what we're wanting, Brian, if that's your analysis here. Hooligan! Got ones coming in. The shirt is better, too. Yeah, he looks a little more, other than the clippiness to it, but we're just going to have to make do with that. But it looks a little more run down like he's desperate. <coughs> Excuse me. Go ahead and do that. So that is in our M. Yeah, Peter Stewart. Let me make sure I didn't misspell anything on him there. Peter Stewart, common spelling. And now I'm going to go to my manage me. And. Oh, no, 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 no. Lawyer. Oh, yeah, there's the one that's that's basically Dan Morgan. I was like, okay, I thought he looked familiar. Uh, so we're going to delete him, yes. I don't know what the difference is here between Lawyer 1 Lawyer 2, but he's getting deleted, and then Lawyer 2 also getting deleted. Boom. Excuse me. All right. Thank you, everybody. It looks unanimous there.
Well, I'm just deleting. It's a simple pet. If we ever need it back, we'll get it back. It's pretty, it'll be pretty easy to do. And it's sunrise, so we'll go back outside to create this character here. Um, so, what do you guys want for this other character? This new character we're making and we're going to start the night with. What is it that you want? Give me some ideas in the chat. I'm also... So we had a door salesman that was an idea. Yes. Huh? Hello? Hello, hello? Hey, what's up? Sorry, just give me one sec. Oh. I'm uh, doing an intro for my uh, stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, let's see. OCRP ideas. I was going over here, and then I saw... Uh, I saw ketchup in there. Lawyer character could sell souls. You know the ones I mean. I don't know what that clip is. I don't want to mess. Is it illegal to sell replica sneakers? He could have forged secret connections to people in that business from his time. He can get stashes to sell. That 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 that'd be good. And he could play into some of the drug empire stuff that we do. I don't know. It could have so many potential directions for the RP. Yeah, we we definitely need to reveal some more of his backstory as all we really know of him is that he was a lawyer and he got some paperwork done for JSTORM. Other than that, um, Ben had something uh, to not understand. To, oh, 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 that's right. Okay. So here's one. This was from Ben. He wanted us to do a, a guy who had woken up from a coma and knows nothing about what's going on around him. So, it's similar to Ella's character, but this guy is going to just be stupid to anything past, like, 1982. Because he's been in a coma for, like, 40 years. So, let's do this guy. He's going to look about 60. And I'm, I'm, this is going to be a little different than what Ben said, but I think this is how I want to go with this. Um, so, what do you want this guy to look like? We will start with... Not save characters. Create a male character. I'm still going to stick with this. Let's go with... Not a whole lot of difference there. Oh, because Benjamin is Benjamin is Benjamin. He's gonna be he's not gonna be super fat though. Um head shape, let's go with that. He's gonna have a little bit of a little bit of chunk to him. There we go. We'll start with that. Now, appearance. Hair. What do you guys want for hair? Do we want shorter? Do we want longer? Do we want... I don't know about dreads. Maybe like an 80s style hair? Maybe, there we go. How about this right here? One in the chat if this would be a good, like someone stuck in the 80s hairstyle. Two, if you want me to look at something else. And I'll give you guys a second to vote on that. Maybe name him John Wayne. No, we, we don't want to use real life names. Like clear celebrity names. If in coma, the diet is pretty well controlled, so not too fat. Probably a tiny bit underweight. Yeah, but maybe he's been eating a little bit too. So I'll... I'll go with this just so he has a little bit of a different shape than everybody else. One and two. Johnny says, yeah. 
Jennifer says one. What's up, Jennifer? So we're going to do the mullet. Um, what hair color? Black? So I'm going to... I'm going to drop something in the chat here to cut it off. And then... Um, one in the chat for black hair, two in the chat for something else. What's up, dude? Uh, I was just creating characters. What's up? No. Um, no, nothing. I just wanted to stop by and say what's up. And uh, you said you got something going on tonight with uh, possibly the Sprunk Bros? Uh, possibly, if you're going to be available later on for it. I'm going to start with this new character that I'm creating. Maybe do a little more backstory to my lawyer character that we just created. And then um, the poll is going to decide. So it depends on the poll. Um, okay. And Sounds right good. now, um, uh, it's, it's close. It's it's really close between all four options. So it's possible. I can let you know when the time gets closer, but I also don't want you to have to hit the brakes on an RP or something, too. So. Uh, I'm going to be doing um, LEO right now to start off, and then maybe a little EMS later. So, um, I mean, whatever you got. Throw it at me, man. I'm more than more than happy to join in. Okay. All right. Sound sounds good? good, man. All right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll hit you up with a message if it's looking like it's going to go that way. Um, and feel free either way to shoot me a message if you're looking for something. Ten four. Uh, hey, poke me in um in TS because I got streamer mode, so I won't hear your message. Gotcha. All right. Ten four. Bye. All right, man. We'll see you. All right. See ya. Okay. There we go. Um. So that got that out of the way. Uh, like I said, I'm not really doing Discord during RP, but if someone wants to talk to me while we're doing something like this, that's fine. So I got some twos here. I see a blonde option. Ben, we're doing your, uh, your, uh, it's funny. Your ears must have been burning because we're doing the, uh, the coma guy. Blonde is what you guys want. So something like this. All right, so let me... Let me hit this again. One in the chat for this, two in the chat for no. And of course, if it's two, give me some other options here. But I think I see where you guys are going with this. I know where I want to go with this, just seeing this. So I have a feeling I'm going to get ones here. Yep, there's Johnny's one. Oh, John says no. Okay. What are you thinking, John? How are you doing tonight? Gray. Well, you know what? That's... That it might be true. That's actually not a bad idea. Let me remember 11 just in case the uh, poll takes it. What if we add some gray to the blonde? If that's an option. Yeah, because he's going to be older. This guy's going to be in his 60s. One but slightly darker. Ben says five. EJ says red. Yeah, we do need to pay special mind to the fact that he is going to be older. So he needs to have some gray. What is this supposed to be? It almost looks fake. The way it's coming out. Yeah. Almost looks like he got highlights. Show show you what I want. Well, that blonde I was actually pretty cool with, but now I So either this or How about this right here? I don't see a white, a gray hair color with uh, blonde hair. Not one that looks good, at least. So how about one for this, two for no? So, I and Jennifer, I am kind of showing you what I want, but this is also about you guys getting to, to play a role in this and voting for it also. So um, I, I, I tend to do what I want more times than not. This is a chance for you guys to have a little bit of creative control over what I do. And as you see me type those lines in the chat, you can 
go ahead and vote um, because I know there's a little bit of a delay, about a 15 second delay from what I'm saying to what you're voting. So if you see me drop those lines in the chat, odds are what you're seeing 15 seconds prior is likely what I've settled on. But what do you guys think here? Think dark blonde would be cool. Well, you're the one that said he wanted to be older, Ben. So do you not want him to be older? Or do you want his hair to not look as old? Is that what you're saying? Um, John says, what is the highlight color? Because that affects the total hair color. We'll play with that a little bit while the votes are coming. Ooh. Um. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, let's go 30. Because you could go base gray with blonde highlight or the other way around. Does this not look fake though? To me this, I don't know, this... Alright, I'm going to put a vote on this one. Let's see what you guys say on this. One for yes, two for no. I'm not sure. I don't even know at this point. Blondish with strands of gray and white. But his hair is dark blonde with bits of gray to show his age. Jennifer says 28. Yeah, fake, says crafty. can't even tell. Okay, that's the blonde. That's the blonde with gray. Let me go to the side here so you see it. Yeah, some of the ambient noise. That was another reason why I picked out here, because there wouldn't be too much in the way of ambient noises. Just some wind and, like, thunder right now. You can hear a helicopter in the distance. I... I don't know. What do you guys think here? I... Darker? Does that even change in there? Hmm. There's 27 and 28. Let me know if either of those work for you versus that. You like that one, Ben? I know the helicopter noise is ambient. I recognize it. Try base 11 blonde and gray highlight. 11 blonde. Oh, okay. What about this? 11 and 28. One's for yes, two's for no. I'm liking this a little better. Crafty says better. There it is. Okay. Sounds like you guys are in agreement on this one. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. So, now here's what I want to do with Beard. 
Let's see if we're on the same page here. Obviously not the color. But we're going to go 11 and 28. Oops. I guess 11 with that. Um, but the beard style, we can go with like the, what is that, like Lemmy or something? Didn't Lemmy have hair like that at one point? But I want something pretty full bearded. Not that. Like 1920. But it looks like he just woke up from a coma and hasn't shaved. Maybe 19. I'm liking 19 so far. Yeah, let's go with 19. So 19 with the beard color and the um, the only other thing I would say is kind of the handlebars thing, the one that I called the lemmy look, but let's go with this. One and two. One for yes, two for no. Green. <laughs> so how are we looking here? could even make him late 50s. If it was a 40-year coma, he went under in 1984. He would barely have heard of the Nintendo or Atari, so we may want to go a couple years back from that. Let's go maybe 1980, because I don't want him to even know what Nintendo or Atari or any of that is. So let's go 1980. So coma, 44 years. He was in a car wreck at the age of 18, which makes him 62. And it looks like you guys are liking this idea. So unless I see something drastic here in a minute, we'll go with that. Um, eyebrow style. Something like really bushy like that. You guys good with this one for the eyebrows? One's for yes, two's for no. Should be a little longer. I don't think I can get it longer, John. There's really no longer options with the beards. I mean, I'll go through it really quick while you guys are voting on the eyebrows. But, oops. It's all bushy at best. Yeah, see, 11, I just randomly stopped on that and went, yeah, that's about the best one. Well, in the hype and such of Nintendo by 1984, it just, it, the video game craze had already been starting. Mario was out, things of that nature. So one for the eyebrows, two for no on the eyebrows. used to have a buddy named Daryl that looked like this. He was stuck in the 80s. Yeah, you know, maybe we say 81. I'm trying to give him... <sighs> yeah. Let's go with aging now. If you guys aren't voting, I'm just going to assume it's good. Maybe something like this with the aging. So here we go. Vote on the aging now. One for this, two for no. One for yes, two for no. He wouldn't have a massive amount of wrinkles. He's not going to look super old because he's been in a coma. He hasn't gone through the stresses of life that most people have by the age of 60-ish. So I'll give it a minute for you guys to drop that in. Okay, perfect. Uh, makeup, no. We're not going to make D. Snyder out of him. Complexion, I'm not going to mess with that. I'm not a big fan. I, a lot of that stuff looks kind of fake to me anyways. 
moles and freckles, chest hair. Give him some just chest hair, sure. There we go. Something like that. There we go, we'll go with blue. Chest, hair, and blue eye color. One for yes, two for no. Boom. Beautiful sleep. Beauty sleep, yeah. John's in agreement here. So is John E. John E. E. <laughs> and unless I see a massive amount of disagreement all of a sudden, I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Okay. I don't want to mess with this face shape. So should we just go ahead and leave face shape alone? One, to leave the face shape as it is. Two, if you want to see some changes. But I think we could just leave this alone. So one, to leave it alone. Two, to make some changes. So I pour myself some water here. But I kind of like him how he is. What's up, Cora? With his face shape and alignment, I, I think he... Again, he wouldn't have gone through a whole lot being in a 40-year coma. So, I think he his face isn't going to have too many differences. Presley, what's up? Okay. All right. Tattoos... Does he have tattoos? One for yes, two for no. That'll speed it up a little bit so you guys don't have to wait for my voice to catch, or for what you're hearing me say, the delay on the stream. I'll just type that out. does. Trailer park manager? Hey, and he could be. Maybe that's the job he gets. I don't know. We'll see how this all plays out. Um, the idea is that we... Uh, oh, most of you do not want him to have tattoos. Okay. I was getting ready to start looking at tattoos. All right, so close. Right, okay, all right, no tats. Oh, I guess he wouldn't because he's been in a coma for so long. How many tattoos would he actually have? Um, so upper body, um, bum, 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 bum. Kind of liking number one for the shoes or number four. Something like old school, just kind of shoddy shoes. there wasn't like a 19 oh how about this one number 35 shoes one for yes two for no yeah it's going to be walmart shoes the hospital probably provided him with just a cheap pair of shoes yep exactly jennifer that that's a good point with the tats Crafty's in agreement with these shoes. Cora is. Oh, it's just number 35. They just look like a cheap pair of Walmart shoes. Um, 
All right, so shirt and accessories. No, we need shirt and overlay. So one for just a basic shirt, two if you want something else. And I'll go ahead and drop that so you can get your new options in. We haven't done a name yet. Let me reset that. You won't. You want cheap shoes? Prolapse has high quality shoes for low prices. There we go. Oh, I'm going to get kicked if we don't hurry and finish this. Oh, I hate that it does this. One from Cora. Okay, let's just go ahead and get him a basic shirt. This is all stuff we can do later anyways. So let's just get him a basic shirt. What's up, Jay? How are you doing? Let's just get out of this mode before it ends up kicking us. good for now let's just go with this for the moment on outfit we'll come back to the outfit character props um, not yet normal facial expression save character now what's his name what's his Yep, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna after we save the name. Lorez Gage. Now think this is gonna be someone that was born in probably nineteen sixty to nineteen sixty five. Garrett Lorez Gage Dusty Dusty I'm liking. Let's keep tossing them out here. What else you guys got? Gareth? I Lorez. I'm not I'm not digging Lorez for a last name. Max. I'm still sitting on Dusty. Okay. Bodie? Dusty Garrett. So I'm going to go with Dusty. Oops. Wallace. Called Wally for short. Dusty really jumps out at me. Dylan says Dusty. I've still got a couple hundred seconds. I'll be fine, John. Dusty Malone. Dusty McWright. You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and save as just Dusty. We'll walk around a little bit. Let me see. The cat is still not... Still not doing anything. Dusty Malone, Dusty Wallace. It sounds like Rusty Wallace, though. Alright, let's go inside. It's about to get dark. He goes by Smith, because no one knows his last name. Due to amnesia. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like they would have records of him, would they not? All right, one in the chat, if you want him to also have amnesia and go by Smith. Um, Dusty Spears. All right, so one in the chat, if you want him to have amnesia and not know his last name. Two in the chat, if you want it to be a legit last name. All right.
right, so it's a tie right now. State would have guardianship over him as he was in the coma, even not knowing his last name. Ooh, okay, okay, whoa. All right, calm down, Dylan. I'm only taking one of those. Let me, uh... Only, only type once, Dylan. Your vote isn't going to count multiple times because you're voting multiple times. Dude, dude, dude. One vote at a time, guys. I'm trying to count them. All right, so one, two, three, one, two, three. I need a tiebreaker, guys. So Dylan said one, John said two. Okay. Yeah, the whole point of doing the number it's okay, Dylan, but the whole point of doing the numbers is to uh to get an accurate count. And when you punch it a bunch of times, then it, I I can't count. Um where his parents died in the crash, maybe? Okay, so it was a car crash. His parents died. There was no ID. They weren't able to identify them. They gave him a new identity, but he has to go search with what little he remembers over time as clues to find out what he really is. Jennifer has broken the tie. We are going with amnesia. Oh, no, Dan. No, no. Hey, as I say that, Dan ties it back up. Let me get one more one or two from someone who has not voted already. If I could, please. One for amnesia, two for we know his name. But I am liking what Core is doing. Not cool, bro. Not pro, bro. It's all the caffeine. <laughs> Uh, they know who he was. He would have old expired ID, so he would know his last name. But maybe the ID was never found. We, we could work around that, John. Crafty, you've already voted. So I'm going to delete that. Ah, yes, there we go. He was robbed and mugged with no ID when he was found, ended up in a coma because he got hit over the head with a blunt object. That's it right there, Cora. And I'm breaking the tie. One. There we go. Let's make it official. One. Tie broken. <laughs> LOL. Okay. Yeah, we need more votes in the poll, too. It burned up in the car, maybe. Yeah, well, let's go with the uh, the head injury. He got mugged at 18 in 1981. <clears throat> hey, I'm breaking the tie, all right, Crafty? <laughs> so, new character. So, if it, he was 18 in 1981. He was born in 63, which makes him 61 years old. So, let's start with that he was where's his birth date oh date of birth here we go so he's gonna be oops there's not 63 months in a year 1963 so he's 61 boom male his name I still don't have a last name what are we doing for last name Yeah, I want to start with a good backstory with him. Cora was born in 81, and this is when... So this guy has not been awake since, as long as you've been alive. So we had Dusty... Let me go back up in the chat and see. Dusty Spears, Dusty Malone, Dusty Wallace, Dusty McWright. Dusty, Dusty, Dusty. Dusty Miller? 
Let me chat it up with you guys a minute. Oh, Smith, that's right. No, yeah, you're right, you're right. Smith, we're going with Smith. My bad. My bad, I forgot about that. Dusty Smith. Dusty Smith, a middle initial, name is assumed due to amnesia, real name, I'll just put that as his also known as. Residence. I don't think he has a residence yet. Um, unemployed for now. Height, 5 foot, 10 inches. Let's go with uh, weight of 240. Skin tone white. Hair color, blonde, you can only do one hair color, eyes are blue, emergency contact, um, what's the name of the freaking hospital in the city, I'm totally blanking on this. What is the name of the damn hospital? Um, freaking, oh my god, what's the name of the hospital, guys? Because that's going to be the emergency contact. Oh, there it is. Let's just put him here. Box, Jesus. Medical Center. Actually, let's put my phone number in this. Close my phone number. 480. I feel like I'm on the verge of memorizing the damn phone number. Alright. Add character. And you guys have been doing a lot of talking. Let me get caught back up. Oh my god, the chat is flying. Um, he can get his real last name later. Pick a generic one as given. Yep. Like I said, there's a slip in his pocket with some of his details. There's a blood smudge obscuring his surname. We could do that, but I'm kind of liking the idea of he just didn't have ID on him when he got mugged. Memories come back randomly to work in your RP. Yep, I like that. Wouldn't his parents come looking for him, though? Uh, they would, but in 1981, how do you locate a person with no name? 
So I'm sure his parents are looking for him. Um, they have little clues but never looked into it. He has to on his own now. Imagine him learning how to use Google or the Internet. Then that's where Ben's idea comes in for this. VR headsets. If his parents didn't know. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons he could be missing. People disappeared and started new lives more often. Estranged means, if it hasn't already been mentioned, means that you basically separated from your parents in this case and um, didn't want anything more to do with them and cut contact with them. Um, it's mug, strange. Yeah, it's pillbox. I brain fart. I kept wanting to say dollar pills instead of pillbox. Um, maybe he will have a kid pop up. Daryl can be his long lost son. Well, Daryl is only about 10 years younger than him, so that wouldn't work. Memory of the hospital name is Dyer. Yeah, maybe I'm the one losing my mind. Maybe I'm having amnesia. Yeah, selective amnesia. Uh, I'm becoming as old as Orson in my mind. Um, okay. So let's have him take his picture somewhere here in the hospital for his ID. Because that would be super legit if he's uh, in a hospital room. With like the machines behind him or something. Or the x-rays, maybe that's what it is. Let's see what the other rooms look like. If we can get like x-rays behind him in his... Uh, his photo for his ID, that'd be really cool. It'd be pro bro. Yeah, see something like this with the damn X rays behind him. What's his voice going to be like? I might just keep my voice. I don't have too many voices, Cora. You would think I do with how many I use, but I just don't. A lab room. Yeah, maybe... Maybe my voice is just uh, really weak. Exhausted, kind of a sound of the voice. Maybe, maybe I talk like this. Like, just general exhaustion. I mean, I've been in a coma for 43 years. One in the chat, if you like, uh, might be doing his voice like this, just very very stressed and not stressed but just overall not a not a very strong voice I could talk like this and and you can just feel the strain and it's well oh my god I could take a picture in front of a cat scan machine See if I can do this. Oops. This would be super cool. Oops. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Ah. Close, though. That's pretty cool. But. One in the chat, if you like, uh, like his voice being a little, a little rougher like this, and it's just been through a lot, and so this will be his voice, if you say one in the chat, two if not, and we'll try something else.
I don't think the voice sounds like he looks. Uh, things are good, man. How are you doing, Brady? We did end up, that night you asked me about the storms, we ended up getting them like four in the morning. It's bathrooms, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I could work on it. Well, Jennifer, what are you thinking? What option, what, what kind of voice ideas do you have for him? How did I end up up here? Did I, I never went upstairs. Oh, that's the other side. Yeah, that's looking east. That's cool. I'm not doing too bad. Yep, exactly. About as bad as women taking uh, photos for their dating profile and then uh, fil putting filters on all of them. It's like you're literally lying right off the bat. Literally lying right off the bat. Where's that other room at? Where was the room? There was a room that had better... Did a little bit better with... Hey, there we go. I'm going to go with this. This was my favorite spot for the picture. I totally want those in the picture. Look a little more at me, dude. Okay. Um, now let me trim this down for us. Boom. And so... There we go. I like this. And I'll go ahead and show you guys, since you guys have been on this ride with me. Is here is his, his picture. <laughs> They, they issued him an ID at the hospital, so he had some way of being identified. Um, let's see, we've got all that vital info. So he does actually have a license. Um, pending, pending, driver, um, 03, one twenty-five. Um, it's just all pending for now. He doesn't have a car. He doesn't have a gun. His license is ID only. He does not have a house yet. We need to get him a house. Anything else we need to add to this character? I'm going to put the lines up in the chat um, to kind of separate that, but no residence. Um, he has only a, an ID, no driver's license. He's waking up at Pillbox, and we've got to take him from there. Boom. Anything else you want to add to this character that I may have forgotten, put it below that line. Um, more normal talk, talk like lingo back, oh, if I could do that, um, what are some of the phrases back from like the late 70s, early 80s that he would know, um, he does not have money, <clears throat> maybe they give him like $500 so he can get a start, um, Excuse me for coughing there. 
Rent a room with mom from Mama. Yeah, he could. He could make friends with Robbie or something. I don't know about that. I was just a baby in 77. Sorry, Cora, for getting your name wrong. Oh, okay. What's up, werewolf? Uh, hospital bracelet. Do they have those? Ooh, they might have those. That might be a thing. Let me walk just a little bit with him because we've stood here a minute. There's some, well, I don't want to come out of this room in case someone does use pillbox at some point. There's not a hospital bracelet. I could have sworn I'd seen one at one time. Impotent rage, what? Looking to see if maybe one of these happens to be a bracelet. I don't think they're going to be. It's a long shot, but I thought I'd look and see. All right, well, we tried on that. It's a good idea. Um, shout out again to Ben for uh, the initial idea on this. Sure, the hospital figured out his blood type and general age. Otherwise, he doesn't know anything about himself. I'm gonna need to rejoin the stream. Oh, it froze for crafty. Could be an accessory. Did I not look at that? Oh. Accessory. So we were on sixteen. Mm, it's kind of like one, but I'd rather have a genuine one. There we go. Yeah, throw that on the ground. Okay. Yep, it's not going to happen. 23 likes, but still need more votes in the poll. Crafty calling it out. Um, even for a short time, like a hotel room voucher for a short time. He would have been given a social worker from the state to help him get settled in after his coma. Okay. Okay, so, might need sunglasses for sensitive eyes, because he hasn't been out. Oh, well, okay, yeah, let's do that real quick. Um, Just a cheap pair of sunglasses. Maybe something like that. That was 11. So 
Something like that. Looks kind of hospital issued. Eddie's losing. Is he? I haven't even looked at the poll yet. Ooh. You know, it's close. It's it's close three ways. Cole is kind of off in the distance a little bit. Yeah, I think those are cheap sunglasses. Cheaper. Full body armor. There it is. <laughs> Might need sunglasses. It's true, though. Eddie's losing. Okay. All right. So, when I get back, we are going to start his story. I do want to use the restroom real quick. Oh, my God. Have I had this up the whole time? I am sorry, guys. Jesus. <laughs> Way to go, Drew. Way to go. All right, when I get back, let's check the uh, sub count really quick. It's uh, still the same sub count. All right. I'll be right back, guys. Give me just a minute to use the bathroom. When I get back, we are going to tell the story of Dusty Smith. Fill my water. Okay, and one last thing I want to do. Before we start is now that we have created the character I'm going to change the name of the stream to Dusty Smith awakens from 43 year coma I want to check and see was there Dusty Smith just sounds like a name that would exist. No one of any significance, I guess. So, okay. All right. And we could say his name is Dusty. The way they gave him his name Dusty was he was found covered in dust in sandy shores or something like that. And Smith is just the basic name they gave him. Last name, that is. All right. And here we go. Oh, we need to save this guy, too. Um, wait. I did save him, didn't I? Okay, Dusty Smith. And then I'm going to, since we did a few changes to him, save Ped. Dusty Smith Basic. There we go. All right. Yeah, nurse. Nurse. Wh where am I? Oh, I was white. Oh. 
And you know, actually, I just realized something else. He's his walking style is going to need to be. Um, like he hasn't walked in, in 43 years. That's what I want out of this. Okay, that's more feminine. That also seems like it's got some feministic traits to it. Um, fire, flea, Franklin, gangster... Oh, that's pretty cool. When he stands there, he's still grooving. Ha! <laughs> Not for him, but... Oh, that's funny. Yeah, we're not doing that on heels. Is he hiking? Oh, no, no, that's not gonna work. Hobo. Well, now I'm not gonna see the walk until he gets out of fight mode. Well, he's going to be able to walk. He's just going to have an awkward walk about him. Like he's struggling to, to get his walk right. Uh, maybe one of the hobos. I think that's winning right now. Janitor, Lamar, Money, Muscle, Nervous... Excuse me. Let's go with the hobo one for now. Yeah, nurse, nurse. What happened? I got hit over the head. 1980. Yeah, is it not? 1981 still 20 24 oh my god wait that means that means I'm 61 years old oh man oh man what what do I do can I can you just knock me back out I don't want to Oh, a social worker in Sandy Shores. I don't want to. No, oh, they're, oh, they're in the city. Oh, okay. I. How do I get around? What do I. Just go see the social. Okay. All right. Let's see, where would the social worker be? Actually, you know what? Let's start this over. It's going to have to be Sandy Shores because we're going to need that law office. That's the only one I can think of on the map. Let's just start it all over from scratch. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. There we go. Just turn right as I'm having you lay down. That's great. Oh. 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 What? Sup, Troy? Oh. Hello? Hello? Nurse? Nurse! Where am I? Oh, pillbox? What, what, what happened? I, I was attacked. Mugged, hit in the head. Oh, I feel like I've slept forever. Wait, I what? 43 years Oh that no that that can't be I just graduated high school I what 2024 What No 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 this isn't right if it's really, the, if I'm really 60, 61 years old, I just, I, I just knock me back out. I don't, I don't want to, no. Well, well, what do I do? Do I, oh, I'm, this is such a mess. A social worker. Yeah. Sandy Shores. Okay, yeah, that's that's where I live. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, you got. It. All right. So yeah, an ID. Okay, thank you. And uh, a what? Oh, five hundred dollars. Well, that'll last me like a long. T you guys are really generous. Five hundred dollars. I could buy. I could rent a house for a couple months with that. Oh. Oh, thank you. Uh, where's my, my parents? Wait. You don't know. What's my name? What's well, it's Dusty. Yeah. Actually, I don't know my name. I just saw it on that board and figured it'd be right. Wait, you've been... You've been calling me Dusty Smith? Oh. Well, I, I'm sure my parents are still in Sandy Shores. I'll, I'll go find them. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I mean, I know I'm 61, but maybe they're still alive somewhere. Okay, all right, thank you. Gotta go to Sandy Shores. Social worker, he said. He said it's at the law offices. Okay. This is horrible. Oh my god! Oh, it's so bright! Glad they gave me these sunglasses. Oh my god! Oh my god, these buildings are huge! When did they build these? Maze Bank is... That thing's gotta be the tallest thing in the city! What is... Wow! Most of these buildings weren't even here! car whoa what is that car what is going on here
Man, I hope they didn't throw out my record collection. I've been saving those up for years. I remember Sandy Shores. I know I lived there. Or somewhere near... I was there a lot growing up. Look at the, these cars. This is amazing. What do I... How do I get hey, anywhere? how are you? I can't walk there. Hey, ma'am. Ma'am, how do I... That was rude. Well, I'm trying to talk to you, ma'am. Whatever. Oh. Oh, man. Sorry. Oh, ma'am. Ma'am, I don't even know. Can you call me a taxi? A phone? Well, yeah, when I, when I get to my house, I'll just make sure it's hooked up. Wait, what? I can carry a phone with me? You're going to issue me one. It, what? I don't understand. Like, how will I leave with the phone? Oh, okay. What is this? Oh my... This isn't a phone? This looks like that thing that Captain Kirk had when I was a kid. It's a tricorder. Whoa! What? Trendy... Marketplace? How is a marketplace on a phone? No, you can go shopping at the marketplace. How do I... What? Birdie? Oh, weather. Well, what? Show me weather! Oh, it doesn't work. What, I touch it? Whoa! Oh, my God! Oh, my God, this is bright! 95... Okay, sunsets at 10. Oh, calculator. Yeah, this thing kind of looks like a calculator. Oh, I know how this works. Yeah, yeah, it still works. Map? On a, oh my God. What? So I'm here. I need to go up there. That's... Wow, it looks like crap up there. Birdie. Oh, oh, sure, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so I create... So what does this all mean? I can talk to people on here? Are you going to take a picture of me? With this? Come on, get in frame here. This is a camera too? Wait, I can already see the picture. What? I post? Like a, like a lamp post? Oh, wait, I... Oh, what? That's, that looks, that looks like the motel in Sandy Shores, but it's, oh, it's, 
ruined. Holy shit, what a dump. Oh my god. I don't know if I want to go back to Sandy Shores. Uh, let's go ahead and... What's happening? I don't know what I'm doing. Nurse just handed me this. Told me to type. It's not I was hot miking. Okay, thank you. Wait, there's what? Oh, I can get a taxi? Yeah, I know what a taxi is. Yeah, I'll, okay. Let me get a taxi. Well, they're really nice. Mr. Taxi. Oh my god! So, where do you want to go? The, uh, the Sandy Shores ser uh, social services? I'll get you there fast, buddy. Yeah, I guess so. Um, if you know where it is, yeah, just take me there. So what's been, what else can you tell me about this place? Like, what all's changed? Yeah, no, 1981, man. Why do I keep hot miking? All right, sounds good, John. Thanks for hanging out. This job out. wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for all the shitty drivers in Los Santos. Boy, I guess that hasn't changed, huh? Exiting here. Hey, Alicia. Dusty's getting his ride to, uh, Sandy Shores on the taxi. So, uh, let me write this down. Sometimes when I'm driving late at night, I like to pretend the other cars are spacious. 
Dusty has five hundred dollars. I need to copy my phone number over. Four eight zero to this new sheet of paper. Jesus Christ. Eight. What's that base for, Jagger? You'd never believe what people do in the back of cabs. Don't worry, I clean it good. That hasn't changed either. <coughs> I'm going to have to drop you here, man. Hundred and seventy two dollars? What? Hundred and seventy two dollars? It's not like I took a cab ride to Mexico. Jeez. What in the world? It looks like the hot mic thing fixed itself. But now we're down to three hundred and twenty eight dollars. Oh. You like the name? I thought that was like an eek look. Oh, Binko. Never heard of that. Fleeka, they're still around. Well, at least there's still liquor around here. Oh. Yeah, can you believe we made it that far without a... without an issue now? Um, I may not talk too much in the chat. I'm trying to keep this as RP as possible because um, we may make an episode out of this. So if I don't talk too much in the chat, that's why. Or to the chat. Hi. Yeah, my name's... My name's Dusty Smith. I'm supposed to see a social worker? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll wait. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to relog because there's, I'm having some issues with hot miking, and I want to nip that now before it becomes a bigger issue. So I'm going to go ahead and relog, and when I get back, we'll continue the story. I would hate to have a hot mic issue uh, tonight, end up talking in server when I shouldn't be or something. So let's just go ahead and get that fixed now. Um... Launch her up. Boom. And we'll be up here in just a second. We'll be back to it.
EJ got a new toy today. Oh, no, that's not EJ. Who is that? Why is it not telling me who this is? Oh, it's streamer mode. Was that Mox, maybe? That's pretty cool, seeing that in the Discord. Okay, so we're back in. Let's go ahead and get back to the correct character. Save characters. Dusty Smith. I need to clean out some of these we're not using anymore. Wait a minute. What the hell? there's going to be someone else there. Oops, sorry. The second I do that, right? There's really no safe spot in Sandy to spawn without running into an issue. Okay. And now, let's continue the story. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hello. Yeah, Dusty Smith, I guess I've been in a coma for 40, 43 years. Yeah, 1981. No, I, I don't know if that's my real name. I, I, I've i lost pretty much all memories. I can't remember my parents. If I have any siblings. I... I don't know. I remember Sandy Shores. It looks a lot different. But I remember Sandy Shores. Um, I, I, I saw a picture of the hotel. And it kind of brought back a couple memories. Like riding bicycles in the parking lot or something. No. No, I really don't. I don't remember if I actually lived here. I could have been... I could have lived anywhere. Maybe I was visiting. I, I don't know. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I can, uh... I could stay wherever you put me. That's fine. Grapeseed? I, no, I don't really remember it. Little farming town? Just east of here? Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, I'll, that's fine. Jobs, yeah. Okay, you'll send me a list of jobs. Okay, what about car? Like, no, I don't know how to drive. I don't... I don't even have a driver's license. It's just an ID. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I can... I could try and take some tests or whatever, but... I'm gonna need something that's close. What's up, Austin? Yeah, okay, yeah, there's places in Grape Seed. There's a couple places here. Okay. All right, so 
Yep, I know. Yep, I got that address. Okay. Y'all have the taxi take me there, and I'll be in touch if I need anything else. Okay, thank you. Oh, Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, this is basically Saul Goodman's office, yeah. Oh my god, are you serious? We just had a headache. Alright, well, we're gonna headache again, I guess. Debug. Okay, we'll see, uh... Well, there we go, you know. <laughs> I guess that happened. And it's still not letting me in. Let's try again. Interesting. Okay. Well, in the meantime, we have got 30 likes on the night and one new subscriber. So thank you for that. Hope you're enjoying Dusty's broken story here. The amnesia must not only be affecting his brain, it must be affecting the server tonight, too. But, nevertheless, um, we're going to have fun with this either way. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Go back in now. And we'll just spawn right back in there again, I guess. First one might have been my fault, though, to be honest. Player appearance, save pads. I'm going to drop in here and just F9 the rest of the way there. So I'm not dropping on top of people. Alright, take three. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Technology's being hooligans! Um, alright. Alright, so let me, uh, try this phone thing out. It still blows my mind. With this phone. Phone is too... I can do anything on it. There we go. Okay, that, yeah, hit that button. Okay. You can drive those on the road? Oh, here he comes. Yeah, I need to go to Where can I take Seed. Apparently they have a house for me over here. Right away, sir. Okay, yes. They still have 24-7s? That's crazy. That's the... Not much has changed, it's just really old and rotten. It used to look so much better. Where, what happened to all the businesses that were here? There was a whole highway full of stuff. You'd never believe what people do in the back of cabs. There used to be Don't like worry, a soda stand right there. I'm 
remembering some of this, but there was so much more stuff here. Oh, wow, look at that fire station. hasn't changed much just gotten older it's crazy this job wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for all the shitty drivers in Los Santos like you Yes. Seven. That was eight dollars. So we have three twenty. Okay. So this is my house. He said it was the last one before the feed store. out oh well it's already furnished at least who messed up my bed who's been in my bedroom take a shit there shower bath whatever Shop. Oh, there's, I need to find the other tire to that bike. Hmm. That's where I came in, right? Oh no, this is a side door. Oh wow. Can't fire for days. some tires, but not the tires I need. around one more time. They said they'll pay for this for like the first month or so, and I gotta check back in with them. What's in this bush here? Oh, look at this. You'll never believe what I found. Look at this, I found a bicycle. Thank God. All 
Alright, so I need to get a job. Yeah, they didn't leave me any food. Some oranges, that's not going to last me long. Chicken? Well, it's like the person who was here last just like... Huh. I wonder if they like died or something. Alien ate my prize pussy. What kind of, what are these newspapers doing? All right, let's look around and see see what there is out here. like they're hiring. No. Huh. Well, let's go back to Sandy Shores. It's got to be hiring, right? What's up, Bruce Lair? We'll go check out Sandy Shores and see what options they have. This will actually get his muscles built back up anyways. So this should work for him to do this. Why are you trying to cough on me? Glad I found the bicycle. Well, there, there was some physical therapy done, Bruce Slayer. That's why he walks as awkwardly as he does. But there would have been, yeah, there would have been some physical therapy. He may not be able to ride this fast, to be fair. trying to do hand signals. Bike messenger, process server, delivery, bad news to people. Seven's hiring. We'll just look around and see who has now hiring signs and who doesn't.
trucks that big when I was young. Wow. Sir, have them. What is going on? Maybe I should have called the 911 line instead, the non emergency line. got a job at the bank. That'd probably be some pretty good money. These cars, what is going on over there? Someone is just like tearing up a driveway or parking lot. We're just going to wait and see if, uh, if anyone shows up here. I don't want to walk away and then that's the second someone shows up. They could be on traffic stops or something. I'd have a hard time believing that, though, because it seems like two or three sibs are doing goofy shit here and not getting caught. So I don't know. Don't need.
I just wanted a chance to give the police some RP on him and kind of get them a little familiar with him. But they may be busy. Maybe they're not even in the county tonight. Which is fine, but this guy's story is going to continue either way. Regardless of where people are. Yeah, definitely going to mention some obsolete businesses and try and find them. Video stores, um, Radio Shack. They may not be coming. I'll give it another minute or so. Excuse me. Tupperware parties. There we go. Or, uh... Yet, are there any Tupperware parties anywhere? What was the, uh... There was Mary Kay, but what was the kitchen one? There was Tupperware, but I thought there was... Maybe it was just Tupperware. Tupperware agents or something. I thought there was another one. I don't know. Maybe there wasn't. Oh, payphones are actually in the game, though, Cora, so they're not gone. <laughs> there used to be a payphone right here. Is that cop not coming here? Ask where are the kids are? Do they not play outside anymore? Uh, that sounds a little creepy. So, probably not, Presley. <laughs> Besides, there's a whole time in the county. Well, and there's no kids in the game anyway, so it just really wouldn't work, I don't think, with what's going on here. Steps. So I think someone is here. Let's see. I definitely heard the footsteps inside. Not that we're supposed to hear them, but I did hear them. I was about to disregard until I heard those footsteps. So let's see if there's someone coming in. Maybe not. Whoa, is this a TV? How do they... Where's the rest of it? Is it in the wall? Crazy. Look at how good these pictures are. They look lifelike. Unbelievable. Oh, I remember when it looked like this. Look at that. 
I remember when this jail, when this, uh, oh, I remember when it looked like this. Unreal. Oh my God, are these computer screens? I, the computers were huge when I was a kid. Unbelievable. Oh, there's the pay phones. Wow. 50 cents. Unreal. <clears throat> okay, I don't think anyone's coming, so let's go with... Let's do this instead. Excuse me. How you doing? Oh, good. How are you, sir? I actually had a question if you had a minute. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, do you have any uh, job openings here? Like, even if it was janitorial or anything of that nature? Uh, that I'm not sure of, sir. Um, I'm pretty sure there... Where was that information box? Um, I just woke up out of a, a 43 year coma down at Pillbox. I guess I was, they told oh me God. I was 18 and I got hit over the head in a mugging here in Sandy. And I just, I, I, this place is just crazy. I've never seen half this stuff. Yeah. That's uh sorry to hear that, man. That's, that's gotta be uh, very shocking. Yeah, they, they were nice enough to set me up with a house and grape seed, but I don't know the first thing about any of this stuff around here, man. I, I can mop a floor, you know, but I even I looked over that TV on the wall. Where's the rest of it? Is it, like, cut into the wall? What TV, sir? Oh, the one on the wall here. Oh, right here. Like, one of these that big? There, there's got to be a box halfway into the wall. Um... How, how do I put this to you uh, softly? So TVs are nothing like they were in in your time. What, what what year did this happen? You said 43 years? 81, yeah. Oh, oh God. How long have you been awake? Uh, yeah, it was like yesterday morning. They woke me up finally. And they, yeah, they just kind of gave me an ID. And uh, look at this thing. They're not even in the wall anymore. Um, yeah. Um, I, I, if I was you, I would probably try to get on some type of disability so you can take all this in uh, a little bit slowly. But, uh, you, 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 got a, you got a lot coming to you, man. Yeah, my social worker over here at the, the law office, he told me to try and get a job and that would help reacclimate me. But I everywhere I looked, it was just too much like the gas stations that they don't they're they're so big like we used to have just little little tiny buildings and that's like a lot man yeah you, you've got a lot to take in man there, there's been so much change since 81 
I mean, just just like you said, the TV. I mean, if, if you come right here to the side of it and look, that's that's the TV. That's oh all there God. is to it. There, there, there's no behind it anymore. This is, uh, uh, yeah. It's just there's so much, and uh, you know, I was I was asking him about other jobs and stuff, and he was mentioning like I, technology, and I'm like, good God, I like the computers and TVs. Like, we didn't even have one computer in a house let alone four on the same desk yeah those are um th those aren't actually aren't tvs right here these are what they call computers it's um yeah i mean i'd seen a couple of them you know but they weren't like like not even the police station really had them right yeah it, it, it's it the world's come a long way since uh you uh took a took a decent decent nap well, I guess I'll just kind of look around town and see if there's something that fits me, you know? Right. Yeah, I, I wish I could help you further, brother. I really do. Um, I would possibly try. There's a there's a fast food joint just right over here. If you kind of walk uh, northwest oh, from we, here, we had those. Yeah. Yeah, they they might have a job opening for you. Um, there's a bar back to the south on panorama if you go come straight west until you can't go west anymore then turn left that'll take you south there's a bar right up there on the right they might have some work for you oh I there's saw a mechanic that. shop down route 68 might have some work for you oh yeah I, I could do mechanics yeah i i used to work on catalytic converters as a teenager used to work on Cadillac converters as a teenager. Yeah, yeah. I, I could probably help them with some catalytic converter rebuilds. Oh, rebuild them. Okay. I, I was thinking of something else. I was like, well, maybe that's why you got whacked over the head because, <laughs> you know, you put two and two together. Oh, no, no. The, the, there was the, the thing in the car that, oh, I, I'm not going to get into it. But, yeah, I'm sure they still got them in cars. Right. Let me actually look right here on the receptionist desk to see if they have like a like a list of job openings or something like that. that but that's that's about as far as I'm going to be able to take you. No problem. And I see you got another gentleman here, so I don't want to take up everyone's time. Right. Yeah. Let me let me just look here real quick. Hmm. Let's see. Files. Phone numbers. Miscellaneous. That's fine, EJ. I don't mind. It's not hurt anybody. Yeah, here you go, man. This kind of looks like it's got a little, a little information on it for you. It's got some phone numbers on there you can call to uh, do an interview or put in an application and figure out how to do all that, which it's probably going to blow your mind. But applications aren't necessarily on paper anymore. They're on the, the little TVs here on the desk. Oh. Wait, where's... You know, I, I was at a video store for a few months, too. Where are those at? I'm sorry, what did you say, sir? A video store. I, I used to restock the shelves up at the, the Lockbuster. Um, do they, why aren't they hiring? Um, <laughs> uh, Lockbuster is uh, not a thing anymore, man. What? You, you don't have to go to a Lockbuster to like rent a movie or a, or a season of a TV show anymore. It's all... It's all kind of on your TV, if that makes sense, but not like on regularly wow. flipping through the channels. Oh, okay. Um, rebuild. Wait, inter wait, what is this? Internet service provider? Oh, no. I don't even... I don't know anything about nets. Is that like phishing? Oh Lord, you, you, you have got a. I, I almost feel sorry for you, man. If if I knew that of a way to be like something you could watch, to be like, hey, this is everything that's happened since 1981, I would totally point you in that direction. But I, I, 
I don't, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, you, you've got a lot to take in, brother. All right. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. I'll, I'll look into these here, and here I'll give you your clipboard back. I'll just take the paper. Okay. Thank you, sir. But uh, okay. Well, thank you, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll go out and see what I can do out here. Yes, sir. Like I said, I, I, the best thing I know to tell you to do is just call those numbers on that paper and then start asking them questions. They'll be able to point you in a better direction than I can. Okay. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. You have a wonderful day. You too. Hey, brother, you here for the ride along? Give me just a second here. got some good information from that officer. Let's see if any of these places are hiring. Let me go check that burger place. There it is. any applications oh my god when did the burgers get that big goat cheese what goat cheese in a wrap oh thank you Okay, we're going to go over here and start filling out the application. I need to take a minute away from the computer here. Um, and when I get back, we will continue Dusty's story. Clipboard. There we go. Let me uh, put the sub count up for you guys so you can see that. Be right back. And mute up, and I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Thank you.
Gonna be just another minute, everybody. Sorry. I'll be back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, thank you for your patience, everybody. I'm sorry. I uh, had a few things I needed to take care of and took a, <clears throat> took a little longer than I expected. Uh, let's see what's going on in the chat here. I'll catch up with you guys. And then we'll continue on with Dusty's story as he is aw awoken from a 43-year coma and is trying to reacclimate into society. Um... Whatever happened to Christy Brinkley and Kathy Ireland? There you go. Uh, thank you for dropping that in there, Crafty. The poll now is, uh, yeah, it's not looking too good for Eddie. <laughs> um, why it ran? Oh, I guess why it did run into Craig, huh? Um, let's see. I've had my fair share of experience in 5M, and honestly, it can be so much fun, especially the RP scenes. Looks like I got back at the right time, if this guy's going to come in and do things. Oops. There you go. Yeah, just, uh... Yeah, you can call me on that number, I guess. That's... I haven't used it, but apparently it's a phone. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Guy's riding a scooter through here. Alright, before... Let me... Straighten this up a little bit. Here we go. We'll go ahead and go around the county. And it'll give us a chance to interact with some people and let them know that we exist. Sir, I heard you about a spectrometer. What is that? You must have seen those blimps last night. No. Israeli design for sure. Screw you. Why are you so mad, dude? He's just trying to talk to you. What what is wrong with Israeli designs though? The VA hospital sending me new meds this week. Screw you! Thank you, sir. Put on a shirt. You look better. What about the hospital? I just left it. Is there something wrong with the hospital? How's it going? I've been seeing some oh, strange good. images on the infrared telescope the last few nights. Of course, they don't want you to know about the Israeli war blimps. What or the new missile launchers on the Vatican's missiles? latest gyrocopter. Oh my now, god. I know what's really going on. Is I fought in Grenada, after all. Is the Cold War still going on? Oh my god. The locals are talking about the Cold War. When was the C Cuban Missile Crisis, guys? Someone look that up for me. Had I known I was going to be doing this character, I would have looked and seen what was before and after 1981. Liquor Ace. What's up, Pathological? How are you doing? Excuse me. We're going to speed through some of these applications here. Sixty two. Thank you. What am I thinking of that was closer to eighty one? That was kind of like, I mean, obviously the Cold War was still a thing.
Like the Cold War, when did the Cold War end? Gosh, it has been so long. Uh, you'd think I'd be better at this, but when I'm put on the spot, I'm questioning myself on everything. Oh, the Berlin Wall, okay. That's a good one to know. Whoa, look at all those lights. Why do they have so many lights? Yeah, hello, miss. Are you hiring? Yeah, I just... Well, I guess I've lived here a long time, but... I just got out of a coma, and I need a job. Oh, excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Sorry about that. Uh, whenever you have a minute, can I get a beer? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, 43 years. I just woke up yesterday. This place Holy actually looks cow, pretty man. normal. Yeah, it's, uh, been kind of a shock. I heard some guy Hey, talk you're looking for a job, huh? Well, yeah, that's what my social worker said would probably be best, is if I got a job and reacclimated. But I oh, can't I really you. do much. I, everything, the police officer gave me a list of job openings, and it was like internet service provider. I've never been on a fishing boat. It was, uh, what was the other thing I saw there? It was... Uh, some sort of uh, like electrical work, but it it had to do with. It, it, I didn't even understand it. It was just crazy. I I don't know what to do. I this is the first place I've walked into that looks like it did back when I was a kid. Yeah, this place hasn't changed in years. Uh, yeah. I work up at the quarry. I'm sure they got a couple job openings. Uh, Nothing has changed over any... there, has it? Well, I mean, the hole Bob just Barker, keeps getting bigger. Up? Well, that's, I guess, good. I think they're hiring some mechanics. That thing was owned by the USSR when I, uh, when I was, uh, you know, awake last. The the uh, Soviets still run it. Uh, no. Oh. Well, yeah, it was true. some guy, at least, from, from, like, Moscow or whatever, and they had the USSR flag up there, like, uh, every day I drive by to work. These little uh -huh. memories I are don't... coming back to me. Yeah, I don't recall that. Of course, I'm not that old. Yeah. Um, I saw you got a bike. You 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 just uh, biking around trying to find a job. Yeah, they they won't let me drive because I I don't even know who my family is, let alone what a, you know how to you know drive a car. So they just gave me an ID at the hospital, and then uh, the house the social worker set up for me in Grapeseed had a bicycle there, so figured I'd use that. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, it's good that you woke up, right? Oh, I bet yeah. it's a lot of changes. I, I was mugged out on, uh, I think it was on Algonquin and Sandy. They said I got hit over the head with some blunt object and was mugged, but, I mean, that's basically all they know. They don't know who did it or why I was mugged or anything like that, but... I guess the way they hit me, uh, I just now woke up. Damn, 40-some years, you said? Yeah. 
Damn, man. How, well, how, did, uh, how did Ronald Reagan's term go? Like, I, that was, like, he just gotten into office. Like, did that actor actually do any good? Uh, man, I, I'm like 28. I don't, I don't know. That's before my know. time. That guy was like in Western movies. The next thing you know, he wants to be president. And I just, I, I don't know. I was, I was only 18 at the time, but I was kind of excited to see someone I knew running that, you know, he was a, yeah, he was a guy I grew up watching in those movies. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was president. Uh, okay. But you're not going to believe this, who the last president was. Oh, who, who was that? I, I know about, that. Some I saw a picture of like this Biden guy. Is that who's president now? Yeah, that's that's the president now. Uh, but the pre president before this was uh, Trump. You know, Trump out there in Liberty City, has that big old tower. Oh, that guy really? Yeah. Wasn't he? I mean, he. I know he was talking about like doing some casinos. Um, out in, uh, what's that, uh, that big casino town, but, man, my, my memory's just way off, but I heard he was, like, he was doing a lot in New York, and he was gonna expand out to Vegas, that's what it was, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. I mean, he had, you know, he had that stuff going on in Atlantic City, and, and then, Manhattan, but uh, yeah, I didn't. Like, so I guess he got into politics. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't follow the politics much myself. No. I just, you know, names and stuff. Angel, you hear? Seems like everyone's talking about it. You know. Well, he must have done something with all his money because the taxi from Los Santos cost me a hundred and seventy dollars. I, I tell you what, Ooh. that would have been 20 bucks when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, well, like, milk and bread was probably like a nickel back then, huh? Oh, no, it wasn't that cheap, but, but I, yeah, what, what is it now? Well, you go get a jug of milk, I don't know, it's like five bucks. Hell, this damn beer here is six dollars. You want a beer? Six dollars for a beer? Jesus. Yeah. And that's for the cheap stuff. That's insane. No, um, milk was like two dollars back when I was, uh, you know, awake. Beer is yeah. six dollars. Jeez. Oh, I'll be good. I want to, I want to look decent, though, for, uh, these possible interviews that I might get. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Sorry. Gas was a yeah. buck thirty-eight. How's that looking now? I'll be honest. I don't really look at it. It hurts too much. I just put it in and fill it up. I got a big old truck, you know. Oh, that's scary. Well, I don't want to keep you if you got things to do. I'm just. Oh, I I probably need to go to bed at some point too. It's just this has been a lot to take in. I, yeah, no, definitely. I don't definitely. even think this is my voice. Like, I just don't have any energy. Oh. Well, you said you live up in uh, Grapeseed? Yeah, I, I think my bike's probably worn me out, too. But the, the nurse has said that it'd be best to, you know, instead of jumping into a car, you know, getting around, getting some exercise. Yeah. Well, if you're feeling a little tired, I... I don't mind taking you on home. I mean, you've been through a lot. Oh no, I appreciate it. I they the police officer mentioned something about a a garage down the street in Harmony, I guess, that does some repair work or something. I used to rebuild catalytic converters, so I'm sure I can help him with something like that. Oh yeah, next to the gas station there, there's a custom shop, the uh, mechanics, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, yep. 
I'll go check them out. But hey, thanks for talking to me. It's uh, been enlightening. I've learned a couple things. So that's oh good. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You know, maybe stop by the quarry there. That building by the gate. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the office. Uh, maybe they've got an opening. Oh yeah, I, I could definitely do digging. I'm sure that hasn't changed that much. No, just the uh, equipment gotten bigger and smarter. But yeah, a lot of it's still the same. I'm an electrician myself up there. Yeah, everywhere I go, they're like, no, computers do it. I'm like, well, geez, all the stuff that I used to do is computers. Or well, I didn't do computers, but it's what the computers are doing now. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, they still need people to turn wrenches, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, and hopefully that, that, uh, that garage can help me with that, but I'll go out to the quarry, too, and see what they got oh, for yeah. me. Well, sir, uh, I wish you the best. Uh, if, uh, if I see you around, I'll buy you beer sometime when you're not uh, uh, staying professional. <laughs> Yeah, no, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm Alan. What did you say your name oh, was? Oh, my name's Dusty. At least that's what they gave me as a name. All right, Dusty. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. I uh, hope to see you around. You take care of yourself now, okay? Uh, you as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Low key, I'm trying to give T and C time to get on, but oh, it's Friday, so they're not gonna be on. That's right, damn it. Because tonight is tonight is fire night, fire and rescue night for them. Oh, it, someone's got to tow at some point, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Russia invaded Af Yeah, I was trying to think of how to work that in, and I wasn't able to, and I could tell that he doesn't know a whole lot about that stuff, like IRL. Belushi died in 82. That's a good one. Okay. Buy one of those cassette tape things. I did mention Blockbuster earlier. So, am I... And I know I'm stupid with cars, but... Aren't catalytic, catalytic converters a thing of the past when it comes to vehicles? That's why I keep mentioning them. Let me look that up really quick. These are all things I'm trying to do my best to catalytic converter. Regulations, dangers, I, okay, things that are no longer on cars. Hundred eleven things. Oh, eleven things you no longer see on cars: bench seats, tail fins, ashtrays, spacious trunks, full-size spare tire. Oh, I still carry full-size spare tires. Floor-mounted dimmer switch, vent windows, horn rings, audible turn signals. Really? So, let's go with... Full-size spare tire, dimmer switch... Control knob. So maybe we, uh, maybe the... 
The things in the door that are now electric, that was what I specialized in. We'll go with that. Our catalytic converters. Okay, so I guess they are still being used, so I'm just stupid there. Um, catch up, Celio stream being shared in the chat. They are still in cars today. I think they're filled. Well, let's go ahead and fill out our application here. Marley died in 81, John Lennon 80, so that's not going to help us any. Um, he would already know that. But John Belushi, so if you can find people that died in like 82 or 83 that were kind of shocking for the time. Let's go to the firehouse and see if they could do anything with a guy like him. Server's filling up now. I'm going to have to get a different bike because this one doesn't do the ding ding. That guy is flying though. I think that's going to be a sieve. See, if we have to go to the city, we're going to have to take, like, the, the back roads or some, take Sonora Drive. He's almost out of breath. <laughs> almost. He is out of breath. So we're going to slow down here in a minute, it looks like. Well, is it not going to slow down? Randy Rhodes, okay. Randy Rhodes, guys, the best guitarist ever. great how about yourself i like your mullet oh well, thank you it's i uh 
To answer your question, I'm not doing all that good, actually. I, uh... Oh, does someone have a boo-boo? No, I just woke up from a 43-year coma and oh. tried to figure out what's going on. My social worker said to try and get a job, so I thought I'd come by here and see if maybe you guys are looking for a janitor or, I don't know, something that, that maybe I could do. I don't know anything about these computers that everyone's talking about, but... I can, like, mop a floor or something. Well, uh, we can definitely use the help over here. Um, we can use some paint on the walls. We can use some, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that. we can do some janitorial work in our, uh, in our kitchen over there. Oh, yeah, definitely. What, uh, what's your name there, friend? Well, they they gave me an assumed name. It's uh, Dusty. That suits oh, that, you very well. Uh, Dusty the janitor. There we go. They said that uh, they gave me the name because after I got mugged and they found my body, I was covered in dust. No, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, that's not yeah, good at all. Some sort of blunt object to the back of the head, and they weren't able to... Re wake me up for 43 years so that's it's out on uh, all I know wow. is it was out on uh, um, how old are you I'm 61 I was 18 oh, wow. at the time yeah my uh, they told me that it was out on Sancudo Road there in Sandy Shores they found me in you know one of the, the yards of the houses and of course I was covered in dust but well, I like yeah. the name Dusty. That's a good name for you, especially with the mullet. Come on in, sure. Dusty. We'll All show right. you around. Yeah. Red, you too. Go ahead. Hey, I got a question for you. Yeah. How did that actor guy do as uh, president? Sorry, he do how do you do as what? Yeah, that actor I Sorry, Dusty, I gotta watch. go, but these guys will show you around. We'll oh, see you no later. Worries. Bye. Hey, let's, let's step over here. Yeah. He's, he's gonna be pulling out of there. Sorry, I okay. keep getting interrupted. <laughs> yeah, it was uh I watched him as a kid growing up. Ronald Reagan. Was he an okay president? I was always curious about that. Oh yeah, he was great. Really? Yeah. I some guy at the bar told me Donald Trump became president too. For, yeah, yeah, for four years. That's wild. Like, we didn't have celebrities as presidents when I was growing up. I mean, I barely knew Trump at the time, but all he was talking about was building casinos. Last I knew. I guess he got pretty big. Yeah, he did. And he's uh, running again for president coming up soon. Really? Wow, yeah. they get... How many terms do they get now? Uh, two terms, two. four <laughs> years each. Oh, okay, because I saw some, like, really old guys president now. It was at the the uh, hospital. They had his picture on the wall, and it looked like he, he was George Burns' age. Uh, President Biden. Oh. Uh, I'm from Canada. Not sure how old he is. He's in his 80s. Oh, so he is George Burns' age. Uh, yeah, about uh, 30 oh. years ago, I think. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I see my time is off. I I take it George Burns is gone, huh? Yeah, I believe he actually lived to be 100 years old. Well, damn it. Hey, as long as they got Jim and John Belushi out together on tour... You know, that that would make my day. How, how did those two fare out? Uh, we lost John back in, like, 85, I think it was. Oh, my God. No. Yep, that's what happens when you do too many drugs, man. Jesus, is Jim dead, too? Oh, no, he's still out there kicking around doing something. Oh, that's good. Hopefully they come through, or at least Jim comes through. I love, love those guys' comedy. Damn, man. Yeah. 
Really? But yeah, they, yeah. They, yeah. Last, last death off. I knew about was Bob Marley, and that that shook the world. I yeah, you probably wouldn't understand, but man, we we were all just heartbroken over Marley. But that was like like two weeks before I got hit in the head. Yeah, that's been a while. Yeah, well, a lot has changed. But what what's uh what's music like now? Like is uh. Who's the best guitarist out there? I don't think I can tell you. I'm not really looking for who's the best, just who sounds good. Oh, I I really liked Randy Rhodes with Ozzy Osbourne. Man, he, he's killer. I hope they're coming through sometime. Ozzy's still touring? We both have something in our ear right now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it sounded like he misheard the address he was sent to. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, I was just saying, I wondered if Ozzy was coming through. I want to see uh, Randy Rhodes on the guitar, man. He's, I bet you at 70, he's still killing it. Well, Ozzy's still around, but I think he's wrapping up his, his uh, touring days. Oh, I, well. I could be mistaken, but I think he's on Celebrity... Big brother, or am I thinking of somebody else? I'm not entirely I didn't know sure. We had a big brother. It's like, a TV show. Oh. Wow, celebrity. <laughs> Did they do shows about celebrities? Uh, Big Brother started as a show with random people being brought in. They would do uh, contests throughout the week while living in a house together, and then it. I guess they branched what? into doing celebrities now. Well, that's like a huge fourth wall break. Like, we just... It was only just sitcoms and dramas. Like, what? Now they're, like, putting celebrities in the same house and recording it? Yep. What, what fun is that? Eh, it's interesting to some people. Personally, not to me. I just have been hearing a lot about it recently. Like, I mean, if you get George Jefferson in a room with... With, like... Bob Newhart, I could see where that'd be kind of funny, but I don't think you'd make a whole show of it. Yeah, well, lots of celebrities in one place. It's wild. Indeed. Well, I, I was uh, at the motel and I heard something, one of the locals said something about missiles. We're not still having a Cold War, are we? Like... No, no Cold War, thank goodness. Oh. There are actual wars going on in a couple places in the world. Oh, really? Yeah. That's not... The USSR isn't up to any old tricks, are they? Well, there is no They're... USSR anymore. What? Yeah. Yeah, late, USSR late 80s. Is it, no it, more. It, it collapsed. Wait, what collapsed? The, oh, the, the, the whole... The USSR. Oh. I mean, Russia is still out there, but it's its own country now. And they're up to a little bit of tomfoolery. What, what about the wall? Like, don't they have to, like, climb over it? Talking about the Berlin Wall? Yeah. It's gone. How did they take that down? The thing was a monster. Oh, the, I think some of the locals took care of that one. Oh, wow. I gotta see video of that. Did they videotape it? Oh, yeah. There's videos of it. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, well, so you guys said there was some work for me here? Yeah, I mean, if you want to just, uh, you know, do like you was asking, you know, janitorial stuff. Hold on. Engineer. Go ahead, Central. Injure two and route. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what. Okay. If you want to hang out, just, uh, you know, Let me just talk straight to up the chief things about around it. here. You can't. We, we got to go. I'll just talk to the chief about it and see what he says. Okay. All right. Thank you. Well, we got to go. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. All right.
Yeah, they said you had some stuff for me. Oh, yeah, I can do that. It's another one of those phones. Give me a chance to look at the chat here. Um, Randy Rose, 82, apparently start of the internet, gonna say military was 82. Yeah, I didn't come to the public till the 90s. Uh, catch Mr. Crafty, hey, derailed, just called these lot dirty, I'm such a rebel, what? Um. Uh, Hey, got a question for you. Okay, you guys are talking to each other. Um, let's see here. Well, that was fun, kind of interacting with people. And uh, I'll put something in the chat here in a minute that says I finished cleaning and received a couple hundred dollars kind of a thing. So I don't want to get pigeonholed with um, any one person necessarily. What's a law that could be broken? that would have maybe uh, not been in place in the 80s. Let me see if I can look that up. Or if you guys can think of one, let me know. Laws that exist now that didn't in the 80s. Things that we grew up with in the 80s that would probably get you arrested today. No car seats. Riding in the bed of a pickup truck. Left in the car. So a lot of it has to do with cars. Unreachable secondhand Hey, what's smoke. going on, Dusty? Oh, hey, yeah, the uh, the chief gave me some things to do. Your uh, partners got called out not, just a minute ago. So the chief just told me to kind of clean up around here. And he'd give me a couple hundred bucks for it. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I was, uh, I can't believe, they, the guys just told me Jim Belushi died. I can't believe oh, it. yeah. He died back in 82, I just, I couldn't believe it, I thought him and his brother would still be around. Were you, uh, were you a fan of wrestling? Oh, yeah, yeah, Bob Backlund, man, he, uh, he really, I, I, he, I started losing interest when he won the title. But that uh, Bruno San Martino kid, he really pulled me into things, you know? Yeah, they're both dead. Wait, what? Yep. Bob Backlund is dead? Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't believe that. He was such a young, fit kid. Bruno probably doesn't surprise me too much. He'd be like a hundred. But... I didn't know Bob Backlund died. <laughs> like, he's not dead. Catch up. What are you doing? <laughs> That's crazy. Well, who ended up, like, winning titles in the 80s or whatever? Like, uh, did that, uh, <clears throat> that superstar Billy Graham ever get back and win the title again? Um, to be honest with you, I'm not sure. Oh, I used to watch some of the, uh, the, you know, smaller leagues in that, you know, the territories, they called them. And there was this Sterling Golden guy. You ever heard of him? Who now? Sterling Golden. Mm, nope. Can't say I heard oh, them either. Yeah. Yeah. He had long blonde hair. A blonde mustache. Uh, he liked to call people brother, but uh, he looked like he was going to be something someday. But yeah, are you I guess talking not. about you talking about the Hulk? What Hulk? No, not yeah. the Incredible Hulk. That guy was green. No, there's a guy. There's a guy named Bulk Bulk Hogan. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe he changed his name, but oh, you know, Sterling Golden. He looked like he was going to be something. He was like. Six foot six and 300 pounds and just blonde as the day is long. 
Yeah, you, you know what? I think you're talking about this guy named Bulk Hogan. Oh, wow. He He's was, still around. No, oh, he, he, uh, he was one of the meanest bad guys on there. Yeah, he, uh... He was a good guy. I remember him. He uh, right. he actually went to. Uh, so you don't even know, but like, there's no more territories, if what? per se. Well, how do you, you know? How do you, you know like, Vinnie watch... Mac? Oh yeah, Vincent J. McMahon. Yeah, he yeah. was the one who started the whole thing back in '63. Yep. Yeah, his son, uh, Vincent McMahon Jr., actually. Uh, he, he, he built up wrestling around himself pretty well. Oh, really? Yeah, What well, that was... Oh, my God. So, the guy who was the announcer was the owner? I guess yeah. that makes sense if he was the son, but... I didn't yeah, think... He, he I didn't think Senior things. would ever give it up. Took over things and uh, changed things around. There was this guy named Stunning Steve Austin... Oh, really? Or, sorry, actually, I think it was a stunning Steve Boston. Boston, oh. I yeah, can see, yeah, Steve he's Boston. taking uh, city names for his name. Yeah, he was cool. Ironically, he was from Texas, though. I don't know why he named, took the name Boston, but... Oh. That's crazy. Yeah, I, yeah, I never big old fella. I guess he I... stuck it to the man big time. Oh, really? The big man, that is. Wait, so he was a bad guy and beat up beat up Vince? Oh, he beat the hell out of everybody. He said he opened oh, up a can of whoop butt. Oh, gosh, this guy must have been the most hated guy ever. Yeah, everybody actually liked him. What? Well, yeah. how do they like him and Vince? Oh, no, they hated Vince. What? Oh, yeah, that, that Vince little was doofus a real in the suit. Yeah, that, and then he started, yeah, Vince Vince started this thing called the Kiss My Butt Club. Oh, what? The, the little scrawny kid? What? Yep. What? Well, he was doing some weird stuff. What's he up to now? Is he Who's dead that? too? Vince. Oh, yeah, we don't speak on his name. Wait. He's done some uh, some unspeakable things. What happened to that kid that used to call my matches? Uh, this is too much. Yeah, he uh, he grew up and uh, did some not so good grown up things. And did uh, he kill people? Oh no, he didn't kill people. He did fake his death though. Oh my God, this guy lost his mind. Yeah, he was kind of crazy. Yeah, he staged his own death. He blew himself up in his limousine. It was kind of cool. But then, uh, you know, um, you know the guy, the, uh, uh, what was his name? Chris Bennett or something like that? No, never heard of him. Yeah. He's, he's gone. That's crazy. I'm gonna smoke in businesses. That's a good idea. So, so tell me about yourself, man. You get, you woke up from a 43 year old or 43 year coma. How the hell do you do that? Well, you open your eyes, I guess. Hmm, sounds sounds simple enough. I don't know. I I couldn't tell you. One oh, minute. Hey, uh, uh, but there's no there's no smoking inside the firehouse. Wait, you can't smoke inside. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. You can't smoke inside, man. They outlawed that oh. a couple years ago. Oh, my God. We used to smoke everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they kind of outlawed that after a while. Oh, well, I didn't mean to upset you, but... No, you're fine. I don't care. You my know dad I mean? used but... to blow it in my face in the car. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'll... but, uh... Yeah, man. Just yeah, uh, I... feel free to help yourself to anything. We got a fridge over there, man. I'm pretty sure we got some uh, some water uh, raids. Yeah. And uh, I could probably go for a glass of water and maybe uh, you know, something of sustenance. All all that was in my house was some oranges, and that really didn't fill me up. 
Yeah, man. We will, you know, feel, feel free. You know, we got some, uh, I think we got some eggs in here. Got some, uh, some chicken, some leftover chicken here. Okay. Yeah, dude, feel free to help yourself out, man. I, excuse me, I gotta go take this call. This freaking phone is ringing off the hook. Okay. Um, when was the microwave invented? Invented when? Oh, Jesus, 45? Okay. So he'll know what a microwave is. I, I didn't... Well, I knew they were invented before 81. I was trying to figure out when they became mainstream. 47, the 60s, 72 in residential use. Okay, so he would have experienced uh, that. Okay. It's much better. Hello. Hey, have you seen any crime? What? Have you seen any crime? No. Are you Hello? sure? Where's yeah. this guy? Pretty sure. Oh, I, this is uh, this is Dusty. I think at least. <laughs> okay, why is Dusty in here? Dusty's, uh, he's got a janitor job with us. He just woke up from a 43-year coma. Yeah. Interesting. So what, uh, what about this? Yeah, you're in the wrong place if you're looking for crime. I'm just a medic. Yeah, but who knows? Crime could happen anywhere. Yeah, that's true. Who let yeah. you back here? Your mom. What? Okay, that's, that's not nice. Okay, you look... Why do you look so happy? There's nothing to be happy about. <coughs> crime Excuse everywhere. Me. I'm always happy. Have you seen a monkey? Have I seen a monkey? No. Mocho Chocho. How's have it going, you Dusty? Seen him? Oh, pretty good. The chief set me up with some things to clean up here. Well, and let me know when you see him, okay? And uh, okay. your friend over there, yeah. the medic, he got, like, uh, got me a hot dog and some water, so. No, I'll just. That's oh, all. Okay, good. First solid see. food I've had in, you know, I'll 43 know years. Ready. Yeah. Best oh, hot dog sorry. ever. It's like it's back in yeah. Little mouse will twitch there. I just like being close to you. Okay. He told me that scrawny back. little announcer Sorry. dude okay. from WWF, okay. like, WWWF, you? like, it did bad things. How? The World Wildlife Federation? Anyways. No, WWF. Yeah, we'll Anyways. call you World Wide Wrestling hey, Federation. Hey, have you seen any crime? Oh, they, they had to change their name because we, uh, of the World Wildlife Federation. Oh. Down, that's about it. Oh, I guess God, he took over the that. company He's from way, his way down a bunch city. of bad things. Oh, well. That's crazy. He was my favorite announcer as a kid. I missed I'm not a bit, sure what I just I happened there. Well, I'm kind of curious what she's up to. She was looking for crime, but... Seems like she was asking for trouble. Huh? Sometimes they are. Are they okay out there? Yeah, cell phones yeah, are new to him, but he's already been educated on that. Hey, what's up, Dusty? Oh, I was just seeing what all the fuss was about. I don't know. This lady just ran into the back of our firehouse talking about crime. What's your name? Oh, now she's not going to talk to me. There used to be a lot of crime around here. Is it still that way? Oh, dude, it's worse. That's I don't know crazy. what it was like back in your day, but I can guarantee it's worse. That's really nice of your chief to offer $200. That'll, that'll get me a bunch of groceries for like the next couple months. That'll oh. get you about maybe a Two or three days, maybe. Wait, what? Yeah, inflation went hard while you were in a gun. Must have been that Trump guy. He was all about money. Actually, you he didn't know who president. Trump was. 
Well, yeah, no, that's what the guy at the bar told me. He said that Trump was president. I'm like, that's probably why all the prices are high. You've got a businessman as president. Well, there was the whole pandemic that didn't help things. Pandemic? That was back in 1919. What are you talking no, about? There was another one in 2019 to 2022, 2023, roughly. What? Yep. Yeah, COVID-19, they called it. It was a oh, respiratory shit, virus. You can't say that. No. You can't say that. Oops. Respiratory. What, so it was 19? the flu? Uh, it was basically sorta. an upper respiratory infection that, like, got super serial. Serial? Oh, yeah, that's how we say serious now. Oh. It's, like, super serial. Well, that's groovy to me, man. Groovy. Isn't that that stuff I put on potatoes? No, oh, that's gravy. Oh, yeah, that's gravy. Yeah, I guess that, uh, that girl was having some issues, huh? I guess so. I don't know what her, I don't know what her deal was. She just, I don't know how the hell even she got back there. I don't I mean, know. I know our doors are wide open, but I mean, why would you just come into our firehouse where uh, we live at? Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like Captain Kirk beamed her out, though. Yeah, yeah, he did. He's dead, by the way. He's what? No, he's not dead. I'll put him all the rest William of them. William Shatner's dead? Yeah, he's dead. Oh, well. I mean, he'd be like 90. I guess that's not too much of a surprise. Yep. Just rolling with it. So where'd you get uh, the bike from, man? Oh, my backyard. I was the, the house was already furnished and found it in my backyard it helps because oh, it's nice. kind of hard to get around otherwise the taxi the taxi used to be 20 bucks from los santos and it was 170 now yeah they got inflation man that's insane man yep that taxi driver he's probably dead too The a lot taxi of crime man out here. is the old yep, one probably. or the new one? Wouldn't have doubted it. Well, the new ones, the way they drive, they probably are dead. Oh, yeah, they drive like crazy. They always have that damn song going, that ding, 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 you know? I thought that was the ice cream man. No, nah, the, the, the taxi driver started playing it now. What? That's crazy. Hey, take a look at this. Things, these things used to be on the wall and like ten times the size. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, the nurse at the hospital gave me one and told me I could get a taxi. And, and, and there's a calculator. Like, this kind of looks like our old calculators. So I've been using the calculator. But Have you everything. Ever... I, I don't know. I told people that I woke up and no one cared. Yeah, dude, those things are, uh, they're like, do you know computers? Like, how they used to be, like, a whole two, three rooms? Well, yeah, they were smaller then. You could, like, get them for, like, businesses had a couple of them. Well, like, not not in the same building, but it, it was, like, the size of a TV. I saw the TVs are flat. Yeah, the TVs are flat. Dude, that thing you got in your hand right there, that's a whole computer. You can surf the internet with that. The internet. I you saw, can also dude, watch TV. About the I saw a job about internet service provider, and I told the police officer, I said, I've never been on a fishing boat before. I don't know how to use nets. What? And he no, told me that he had a lot of explaining nets, buddy. to do. That's, that's an actual, like, the internet. You don't know what the internet is? Oh, my goodness. No. Dude, Wait. let me show you something. Like the I was about to say, Buster, you should take him inside and show him. Your name's Buster? No, his name's Mustard. Oh, Mustard. Oh, yeah, Mustard. My name's Medic Mustard. Oh. That's an interesting name. Better than Ketchup. Excuse me? That's my brother. No, no, Mustard's better on food than Ketchup. 
Oh, I thought you were talking about my brother, Deputy Ketchup. Oh, I don't know your brother. I just woke Rescue up. Rescue too, bud. Is he going postable? 1025? Sam Porsche, show me your route. All right, Dusty, we'll see you a little bit later, man. I got a call. All right. Hey, but you safe. should look up Google on that thing. You'll freaking find some wonders on that. Last time I saw someone with googly eyes, it was at uh, that boxing match. Back in 78, Muhammad Ali had that guy all googly eyed. Yeah, that could happen. Well, so what's this internet thing? The World Wide Web is what yeah, it started as. What? You can connect with anybody, anywhere. If it's worldwide, why don't I see it? Should it I just see the web? The world. It, is it up there? Like, do I see the stars, but I don't see a web? Technically, some of the internet is up in the sky, in space. I, what? Where did it come from? They have uh, these great big machines, bigger than the computers you used to have, that are up in space, and they beam, beam signals back and forth from Earth. Oh, yeah, I knew about satellites, but... Yeah, well, they do a whole lot more now than they used to. Oh. Well, so, I mean, is that how I, like, typed that message and told people I was awake? Yeah, that is how. Why hasn't my mom and dad seen it yet? Well, they might not have the internet, or they're busy at the moment. I mean, they'd be in their 80s. Then they probably don't have the internet. People in their 80s don't always use the internet. Oh, I hope they're still around. I, I don't even know who they are, but I could really use, you know, family in my life. Oh, uh, the police might be able to help you out. Well, I... They could maybe do a DNA test and find out who your parents were. A what? A DNA test. Is that... Is like, do not yep. resuscitate her? Sorry, we gotta go. Okay. <laughs> What's going on over here? Cops. <coughs> Excuse me. Right along in there. see much from there anyways. I think you give me a new family. 
Um, yeah, you could mention real world events and stuff. I mean, we've been talking about presidents and everything. We've done it several times before. I don't think there's anything against us doing that as long as you're not going to make things overtly political, offensive, blah, 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 you know. They still have chicken pox parties. <laughs> Be able to watch from here. <laughs> Excuse me. I haven't seen anything like a ban against speaking on COVID. I'd be mentioning it. There's no problem with that, as far as I know. Especially since we just breezed through it. It wasn't like we, uh, you know, did anything crazy with the topic. In the locker room, the sanitary. Looking for the toilets, so we can clean those. I mean, if, if so, I've never heard it. You know what I mean? Can you mop more than that, please? Only two mops. finish up here also what's with no indicators rule I heard it somewhere um, not all of the uh, cars show the turn signals apparently they were all added in but I've still noticed a couple of my cars not doing it so I'm not sure fire chief So let's go ahead and add two hundred dollars to what we have. We're up to five twenty. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that there's more people on the server, we can go ahead and get out and about some more. some odd jobs and stuff. Make sure you guys have voted. It's a very, very tight poll. Uh, just a couple of votes can sway it another direction. Everything's really, really close. I'm actually surprised how close the poll is. Not what I wanted to do, but okay. I want to actually see if there's any. First of all, I want to see where's the go postal here. I don't 
didn't see it go postal. It said 1025, right? Searches so go postal at 1025. That's weird. Um, let's go. Business directory. Bold Frontier Garage 68 Sonora and Joshua. Let's go see if this garage is hiring or anything like that. Give us a job opportunity, possibly. It's going to take us a minute to get there. They were invented in the early 70s. Okay. So we're good there. I mean, I'm, I'm just, it's a bicycle. I can figure out a bicycle either way. I was wondering if uh, you guys were hiring. Yeah. Oh, you give me a job? Yeah, oh, I, I just job. woke up from a coma. You, you want a I, test uh, drive? I'm want having a hard time drive. finding a job okay, so in this day and age. After, oh. four, after 43 years, uh, you don't qualify for too much. Okay, all right. Yeah, if you're just going to come over to the desk over here, we'll... Uh... We'll get you some paperwork that you can fill out or an oh. application. Okay, thank you. Okay, mom. Oh, you've got more of these like flat screens. I was told uh, about. Yeah, these. This is okay. So here's here's a clipboard. If you don't start filling out your information. Uh, when you're all done, if you just want to talk to myself or the or the woman over the red hair over there, we will uh, we'll, we we we'll get you situated and then we'll uh, we'll be scheduled we'll try to schedule an interview with you and then we'll, we'll go from there. All right. That's that's groovy, man. Thank you. There's a table over there if you would like to sit and fill that out. Okay, groovy. Thanks. Maybe buy some snacks while you're over there. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll do. Don't touch the yellow barrel though. Okay, sir.
comes out of application, what's something I'm not going to be... a work history I'm trying to think of an application and what else we have an address we know that Anything else I need to think of for this? He wouldn't remember work experience. Some of it's came back. Like, as we've gone around, I mentioned, like, working in the different fields and that, so. How's it going, man? Oh, as good as I can. How are you? Good. You, you doing okay over here? Oh, yeah, just finishing up this application that gentleman gave. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's a good place to work, man. Yeah, I used to work on cars with my dad a little bit. Um, I was really good at fixing the doors, you know, that the, you know, where you roll the window up and the knobs and everything. Oh yeah. Yeah, I I got really good at those wheels where you just roll it up and down. I. I knew how to put those things back together like a pro. Oh yeah, that's 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 in high demand nowadays. Is it? Okay, well, that's good. I'm glad computers didn't take over cars. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on one second. Okay. Don't touch the yellow barrel. That's great. I've got this application the gentleman said I could turn into you if he wasn't here. Right. Certain. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look at... Okay. And, uh, looks like you do not have a current phone number? I do. The hospital gave me this phone. I guess it's a phone. But I don't know anything about it. It's never rang before. Hmm. Okay. Do you know how to... I could help... If you know how to look it up, I, you can have the number off of it. Oh, certainly. Mm -hmm. See, it looks like you have a oh, similar no. phone to what it's I have, so actually. It's it's crazy. All right, so if you open it up... And then on the oh, yeah. bottom like left, there's a green button that looks like a little phone. Okay. Yeah, and then you can actually share your contact directly with me. It'd be very simple. Oh, cool. I could try and do that, or you could just take it right off of the hair. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, yeah, I can take it right off there, that's fine. As long as you know how to answer. Um, I've never done it before. I would imagine there's something that says answer or something. Well, then why don't we go ahead and share your contact with me. And then I can call you and we'll make sure you know how to answer. That way, you know, if you don't show up for work and we need to check on you, we can get a hold of you. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, if you want to hand that back to me, I'll see if I can figure it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's that little green button that looks like it has a phone on it. Bottom left. 
and then you'll see a thing that says my card at the top under when you're in the contacts you see that this is this is yeah. not a good look all right yeah if you just use your finger just touch that and then on the bottom you can do share contact okay and how do i know who to share it to uh well i can look so that one that 185 that's my number and that's my phone okay there you go i think it says accepted yep, yep. so i have your number now this stuff is amazing last time it i is. saw oh, a phone it's unique we had rotary oh i oh, see wow sir did you have a, a bank different. account well when you when you went into your coma you know, I don't know. I don't even know my real name. Oh. The hospital just oh. gave me my name. Oh. Dusty. Oh. They said when they found me on Zancudo Avenue, I was covered you were in dusty. dust. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Your voice okay, kind of well. sounds a little dusty, too, so it, it it's happening. Well, 43 years in a coma, you don't have that strong of anything, you know? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's oh my a so he very... Has a she has a ton of money in his account, but he doesn't know his name. Name. That's not going to do us any good. I don't even know Plus, if my parents are still alive or... What if we got a police officer to I just woke them. up, you know, oh, earlier maybe. today. Yeah, then again, back then, I don't think everybody was... It's true, system. maybe he's not, he might not be in the system. Well, I don't know. It depends on if he committed any crimes or what not. What if we throw right, him off the bridge? Would that jog quick. his memory? Accept, I guess. Mm -hmm. that, that is part of our interview process. Yep. Hello? Yes. There you go. Yeah. Now you know how to answer. Whoa! I can actually there. make out your voice in this thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's. That would yeah. Be cool. it's, it's pretty crazy. Sir, would you like a great opportunity to get your memory back? Uh, yeah, anything you can do to help me find family or yeah, anything. we'll we'll we'll, we'll be That's able to jump. That's what we want to do. We have a revolutionary technique that when when done correctly, it will uh, it, it it will get your memory back. What's that? Uh, it will. It's it's it's, 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 it's a secret. Just gotta go yeah, you just gotta go with it. I'll know when you have to. The plus, we'll do the interview along the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, uh. Oh, my lord. Oh, gee. I was told that they uh, have this thing shoe. called DNRs now that will, uh, tell you who you are and who your family is. Oh, okay. DNRs, yeah. I think. Chuck? Yo, you okay, Chuck? 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 <laughs> I'm gonna is kick he good? Is he breathing? I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna kick. Yeah. I'm gonna kick your hat back on. Maybe that's what? all you need. You need your hat. What year is it? The hat. He's good. Oh. Oh yeah. no. What? Oh no. I didn't even know this. What year do you think it is? It's 1981. Want to go see a picture show? A picture show. I heard they're getting audio soon. Oh, it's I'm revolutionary. Fine. I'm just messing with it. Oh, oh the moving picture show. I see what you're talking Sound about. Like the damn pizza guy that was in there one day. So yeah, memory. Yeah, memory. We're gonna jog your memory. Yeah, a lot of it's been coming back as I've been seeing things. Yeah, they... so we're gonna yeah. yeah. We'll get my what truck. Kind of stuff to the Porsche. Oh to the Porsche, uh, yes. Porsche. That's me. That's this one. It is, sir. Dan, I, I, you would, Dan, if you want to come, Dan. Get, get All on, right, Dan. hold on. Don't have to tell Dan no. Thank you. Make sure yeah, Jeff's I, okay I when it gets yeah. back. Yeah, we will we'll do. Back, tell him I'll be back in a minute. Wait, is Dan with you? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I can watch the snack bar while he's gone. Don't sell the rails. I won't sell the rails. <laughs> well, I haven't seen Grace in a while. She did. Probably. Yeah, the way she was. When I asked oh, the police goodness. at the police station, they said they gave me this uh, list of job opportunities, and one was internet service provider, and no one's explained that to me. I never worked on a fishing boat, so I've never dealt with 
nets before, but oh, no, someone sir. told me that there's like a worldwide no, web in the sir. sky. No, no. It's sir. in the it's in the planet. Sir. Sir. <laughs> You've missed a lot. I guess they told me John Belushi's dead. Yeah. Yeah, so was Bob Barker and uh who who else is dead now? John Candy. Oh, oh yep. Yep. Oh, uh, you say uh, Chris Farley? Oh, the Betty Watt. Oh yeah. Dead. Oh no. Well, I guess yeah. a couple of them are oh, pretty old. The Queen. The Queen is dead. Yeah. She was still alive. Oh yeah, yeah she was. Yeah, she went for a long time. <laughs> Her husband's not doing too well. Someone okay. told me that William Shatner's dead. Yeah. That's crazy. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When that happened? Like two, three, four. Oh yes. yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's sad. I watch that Star Trek all the time. So what were you doing when this accident happened with you out in the desert? Well, it was it was actually it was on Zancudo Road in Sandy, and they don't know exactly what I was doing, but I got hit in the back of the head with a blunt object, and they said all oh, everything that was on me was stolen. Oh. And apparently, oh, they were just now able to wake me up. Okay, interview question. Surprise attack question. Here we go. You're you're on the job. Your a car comes in is completely broken. You don't think you can fix it. What do you do? I tell them that we'll take it in and give it a look, see, and do the best we can do. Then I probably come ask one of you guys. Okay, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna that down. Might want to underline that. Which part? Twitter. Initiative. Okay. I don't know. thought maybe doesn't, but okay. All right. Okay, follow up question. Do you like strawberry rails? I don't know what they are. Well, okay. okay not, not definitely under, underline that whole thing. I'd be happy to try them, but I've never. No, they're them. not. You're, you can't have any. Oh, okay. They're not for sale. Oh, yes. Our, 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 here we are. We have arrived at our memory restoration oh, yeah. view. Oh. Is there like a machine here? You. It's yeah, almost it's spiritual. Like, yeah. Stop. stop. Oh, God. That looks like that idiot Rick. Screw you! Oh! Oh! Jeez! Oh yeah, Rick's a dick. How do I sit on this bench? Uh, yeah, that no, you st up. No, you stand right up here. Oh. Yep. Yep. And just it take just, a look yep. out into the into the canyon and think about, yep. you know, what happened. Okay. This canyon's got magical abilities. Close your eyes. Now take a beat. Yep, close your eyes. And then put your arms out like an airplane. Okay, Sandy yep. and then Take two steps forward. And then Sandy when you when you get your memory, come back up here. Okay, so just forward. Just think about it. Think yep, about forward. 1970s yes. something. Good. Just, there's a there's a platform you know, there. Run into the future. Robbery run into the future. That sucks for him, huh? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab you, sir. It's all right. How's your memory? Uh, I don't know. Do you remember your name? No. Do you remember why Am you're I here? Am I supposed to remember my name? 
I thought I was supposed to get my memory back. Okay, do you have less memory now? No, I just okay. know that rock hurt. Okay. Oh. Okay. Is that how that okay. works? I... He didn't... Yeah, hey, Chuck, he, he don't remember much still. He hit the... Is I don't know how this works. Oh, yeah. Okay, can you bring the car down here? I want to take that dirt road. Oh, okay. He hit the rug, so he not he's not feeling good. Okay, all right. You that son of a bitch. If Phantom's live, you might want to drop hit. Oh, rad. The interview oh, continues. Okay. okay. Can oh. you stay in, Dusty? Uh, I'll try. There you go. Perseverance. Oh. All right, there. They'll be. We gotta walk up this hill here. They're coming to pick us up. This was step one of getting your memory back. I'm amazed I'm not hurt more. Yeah, th that's... Th you think it's a bigger drop than what it really is. Done that enough times. Oh, man, they're really going down there. Yeah, we, we, we tested this out a couple of times. So, so I am supposed to live we, we through know, it. It's just, right, uh, it's just right below that limit where it'd be near death. I gotcha. Yeah, I... Wasn't sure it was quite the fall. Oh yeah, you had your ass but you know. Oh. The things happen. Oh, maybe oh. the police will help me out here. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. All right, Dusty, you're driving. Oh, I'm driving. Hey, I'm good. Yeah, we're yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, you it's look like you just sore. rolled off the highway. Oh, no, he had to come. We we're having a nice little picnic here. Yeah, we were just coming to pick him up. Yeah. Our friend yeah, Dusty I mean, is having some memory issues. We're just going to take the scenic route and try to jug his memory. Um, yeah, as long as you're all right. I mean, got me a little scared there running off the road like that. No, oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. I okay, smacked Dusty, my leg, but I'm otherwise good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Dusty, you can just get in and have a nice little seat. All right, all right. As long as you guys are all right. Well, we're, we're all right. Yeah, we're good. I'm just gonna, it, yeah, I'm just gonna back up and get to that dirt road, and we're headed back towards Sandy Shores. Thank you so much for all. All you right, let do. me move my car out of the way. I don't think you want to hit that. Oh. Nah. That's not really backing up for me. That's more of an angle. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize that there was I a man didn't there. See him. No, until we were like pulled into here. here, and then I heard a car, and I went, "Wait a minute." Okay. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Or I remember that gas. Oh. There's so I thought you were getting pulled over. On those police cars, there's so many yeah, lights. Yeah. There used to be just one or two on top. You should hear their radio. It's a good thing he didn't oh, run yeah. the plate and that this is registered to Grace Moore. Yeah, and she's probably wanted. She a celebrity? Oh. No, not no. the slightest. I mean, well, really, she when you say no, you should say more. Oh, no. She makes up her own language. It's weird. She's an alien. I think so. That would make sense. And she lived off gasoline. My mom used to drink Pinot Noir. I, yep. Noir. 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 Pinot Noir. Jeff okay, just. Jeff, Jeff drinks. Part of that word. Yes. He. Yes. I just wish I could remember something else about her. Oh, well, about who? Oh, your mom? Yeah, but maybe, maybe going off that bridge triggered that remembering the wine, you know? Yeah, there yeah. you go. So I guess.
Yes, it did. It's yeah, it's tried and true method. It's only scary the first time. After that, it's pretty fun. Man, Harold, she just has doesn't have her last and just spend it in a car like this. I know she probably does. Was not. I didn't realize. Good thing he came later. Yeah. Yeah. What is happening? Is this construction? Uh, another construction. Jeez. Oh my god. Where the hell do they get the money for all this construction? We, need, we are almost out of gas. Okay, we'll swing by the garage. That guy's back for the truck. They haven't found out how to make roads last longer? No. 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 Not here I think they San found Andrea. out how to make them worse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh god, Wilmer just made it. That's what happens when you make an actor a president. I used to watch that kid in westerns back in my day. And this is gonna be really awkward. If we run out of gas this close, yes. Oh, watch out! Uh -huh. What the hell? Oh. What the hell? Yep, got right to here. In charge of over here. Uh, well, this this establishment. Well, there's I don't know. Somebody was selling something to somebody else, so I'm trying to figure what? out what. Uh, what? Yeah, what? 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 Go ahead. There's no specifics at all there. I mean, we we we, we, we sold chips. I'm pretty sure it was nine two zero. County four two eight. Was it nine two zero or was it nine two eight? I think it is. Okay. okay. What about like? Oh, you know what's happening? I I I don't I don't know. I. I went for the test drive, I mean, we got pulled over, but, like, it was just because they were making sure the tags were good, and that, that was weird, I and mean, then I just came back. Oh, wait. Why, yeah. We, yeah, we did some, we the business, business store. Okay, we probably just need to don't make much for it anymore. Yeah, no, it's you gotta go. Did did the Porsche break? No, somebody ran out of gas. Did, how how much fuel did it have to start with? I don't know, and I'm not sure what this is. Are we, are we getting raided? Do I don't thing. know. Is this a raid? I don't know what's going on here. I'm just going with it. Okay. And you're going to say he likes it. Okay. 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 You know if we want the black or not? All right, everybody. If I can have you guys back away from this uh, container here, because that is radioactive. It is. It's just here. I, I understand that, but we have an incident down on Joshua. Of what is what was this item was sold to somebody, and that's why we're down here right now. Yes, this uh, radioactive barrel was sold to a vehicle uh, yeah. that was either rolled over, car accident, at this establishment right here. Yeah, and they sold one to another person. It, it was a different barrel, sir. There's more than no, one. There's two barrels. One, one is sold down there. 
So you uh, the, were. I like you, the metallic you, black. You know what this is then? So you kind of run this place? No, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. I mean, we can definitely go ahead and paint that for you, but I wanted to double this. It's not a radio, sir. Okay. It's radioactive. Yeah. Alright. Um, what's so what's going on with this? Type... I... Who is we? I this was a Halloween. Okay. Yes, and there's another one what's down there. No, I don't. I have nothing to do with that barrel. And okay, we so just have this barrel. you have you have stuff to do with this barrel? Well, it's here. Okay. There's a barrel. But you're saying you have stuff to do with this one? But it's just it's here in the property. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, either way, I had to have you guys back up from this. Is it? Why? What's wrong with it? Yeah, I don't it's radioactive. No, it's an, it's an active radio. It just doesn't work. It's well. not an active radio. It is hazardous. That would it is be bad if somebody say. licked it? Yes, you would more likely die. Okay, well, I gotta move this car. It's getting gay. Okay. Make sure you unhook the gas pump first. Okay. Interesting. I didn't even know this stuff could be in public. Alright, sir, I'm gonna have you have to back have you back up away from this barrel. Oh, I was just as far back as anyone else. I'm sorry. Uh, that, I'm trying to get everybody away from it. No, uh, if you right. want to go ahead and, and get a snack or a drink, um, just right over here, you can go ahead and help yourself. Oh. Just as long as it's not the uh, the box that says Strawberry Rail. Yeah, they were telling me about that one. I'd never heard of it. Yeah, it's um, it's a little strange, but um, that is our, our technician's personal stash but anything else in there you're more than welcome to go ahead and uh and see if you want anything and we can go ahead and get that for you okay okay thank you absolutely some bread in there. Right, so this is going to be a warm zone, guys, so I'm going to have you guys back oh, up even further from this. Yeah, did you see those yellow boxes marked strawberry rails? Yeah, I was told not to eat them. Yes, don't touch those. Yeah. Those are for a very exclusive customer. Okay. Well, I mean, I got to... I, I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is, Wilman? Yeah. Put the extra hand sanitizer in there. <laughs> Look at Sorry, that. Yep. Are you good? What is he yep. doing? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's a customer. Dude. Are you out here punching customers, Dan? Grass, Dan's punching customers. It's Dan. Please. Really? 
Let's see what else this phone thing does. Oh, it's got quite a lot of options on there. Well, it's not an active radio at all. It's not standing next to it. It's, you know, touching what's in it. Yeah, what okay. kind of idiot would touch it? Without gloves. Yeah, no shit. What does this button do? Oh. Sir, are you using the bone for the first time? Yeah, I just did this repost yeah, thing of this garage. Revolutionary. There you go. That, that, that's the best thing to do. Is I it? think we have enough light. I don't. I don't know. And I, I think we might have enough light. Like. Uh, uh, oh. Sorry. Our phones didn't do so, this in 81. So Wilmer did the uh, memory. The cups that we need here. No, we we have to go to Sandy. Work. We gotta go Sandy next, but we the uh, whole uh, sidetrack. Yeah, I definitely want to do the trade. So let me let me look it over. And, yeah, we'll we'll take a look at the numbers here in a moment. Yeah, once once this guy's done with the truck trade, then we can. Well, work on once, dusty. Me, excuse me, I just want to oh, yep, once, once all this clears out of here. Apparently, there's a second barrel. I don't know where the second barrel came from. I've only seen this one. But then they're saying it might be rubbing alcohol. Oh my god! Don't hit Whoa. me! Oh no! Oh no! Don't hurt me! Can I sit in it? Do you, uh, you still having trouble with that safety? Uh, now we're up to 38 Chuck, likes on the night the stairs while we're here. watching this, and uh, we actually lost the subscribers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's funny. You got up there. Yeah, Bryce, right, so everything's looking great here. Hey, everybody, can I get everybody oh. just kind of gathered over here in front of this garage? I think we're all here. We're already we're here. Okay, um, so what I want to do is I just want to make sure nobody's been affected by this chemical. No, I just want to check everybody, make sure no, nobody's, no, you know, no, does anybody have no. any type of feeling, any type of way, like dizzy, short of breath, sure anything like that? No okay. breathing issues or anything like that? Yeah, I don't know if that's good or not. Oh, that guy everyone right else has okay. a Everyone else has a gun. You okay, well, I, I, we're oh, unsure yeah, if that is radioactive. Yeah, he's looked at well, uh... Okay. Hey, Nick, Everyone else but, uh, doesn't get near it. Nobody else has been near that? Yeah, none no. of us have. Okay, so nobody here is feeling any type of like uh, dizziness, uh, no short of breath. Uh, They're not feeling uh, any uh, no. any skin burning, rash, oh anything like that. Yeah, could we have an instant down no. Joshua with a Dusty, Dusty not now. So oh, just... God, Dusty. Oh. And they. Yeah, they're giving me uh, a Alright, so sir in the sweater vest, oh, the best time to wear yet. a striped sweater. Um, have you, Possibly uh, giving me have you been feeling any type of way, like any type of, like, short of breath, yeah, anything? Yeah, I felt short of breath. Yeah, so that's why we're confused. Oh, okay, you're um, a little bit short of breath? No, I, I, I don't, but, like, my, my tongue is a little raspy, and, like, my hands are a little bit chapped. They're trying to, you know, detour okay. us from where they actually got All right, it from. Um, I'll what, tell you what, do you want to come over here to my, to my ambulance real quick? We'll just Obviously, check. we had we had a things pretty things long incident right. down there okay. with uh, act, right, active radi radiation, so. Excuse me, I'm going to buy a drink. Yeah! There's rails in the store! That's all it is. Okay. He'll find right, cool. He'll see. Yep. All the tests come to show you. Um, is that a radioactive barrel? I guess it's just the radioactive barrel, just marked as radioactive, but it's the kind of. It's an act. It's not an active radio. It doesn't work. Hmm. Interesting. All okay. right. Well, do you guys need us? Oh, they're putting them on the, the stretcher. I I don't believe. I think we're gonna clear off too. Uh, it's up. It, I guess it's back in the LEO's hands what they want to do with it. I mean, Man, to be honest, they, it's, they just really if have it's just rubbing out. alcohol, it's yeah. ha it's no oh, hazard yeah, to the public, yeah. as long as they're not they trying to drink it. Right, yeah. exactly. Uh, yeah, them, yeah, they got them sitting across the road. Tell me you're not trying to drink it at all. Apparently all of them. 
I mean, we're definitely not encouraging anyone to do anything with that. We have the snack hut over there, but is that's completely Is that separate. anybody's truck over oh, there? So, okay, if that, you don't mind the, me asking, the black, what is the rubbing out? The black Kenworth, I think? Yeah, what the hell is that? Uh, uh, it, I, 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 yeah. I, there's so much going on, I don't even know where to, do you know who what to say or what to do brought here. the barrel here, or? You know, I was at the firehouse earlier. Oh, they, okay. To, I lit a cigarette inside, and they got all mad at me. Yeah, they're pretty occupied right now. They shouldn't okay, say yeah, nothing. If you wouldn't mind, that would be much appreciated. I just wanna I, just apparently, you're not like, supposed to smoke indoors at all. What? And all that, you know? like, apparently, Forget there was that. a ban, like, years ago. Oh, hey, man. Yeah, thanks so much. How you been? Oh, hey, you're the guy from the bar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but one, if you want to see Jack, How are you doing? Uh, try to get some well, I'm all right. Uh, just here getting a new truck. Uh, and then all this happened. Yeah, I don't know. I guess there's... Uh, I don't even know how radioactive stuff gets anywhere. That was like all scientist stuff last I knew. Well, before I walked over here, they, they, they said it actually is rubbing alcohol, just in a container that says radioactive. That's... okay. I guess that, that would under, explain the confusion. Yeah, it's, uh, weird. I've never seen green rubbing alcohol before. Maybe it's food coloring. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess it was here before they, they set up shop. Oh. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Have you had any luck on uh, the job front? Well, I, I'm interviewing here, but they seem pretty tied up with stuff. Yeah, yeah, all these cops just kind of showed up. They're trying to help me with my memory. They uh, took me out to Great Ocean Highway and uh, had me walk off of a bridge. Apparently that's supposed to get me my memory back. They had you what? Yeah, walk off of a bridge out by, uh, out on the Great Ocean Highway. Oh, I, that oh, weird. Yeah, my leg kind of hurts, but I guess I'm doing... It otherwise like le legitimately like off the bridge yeah yeah he said just walk out toward the uh, the water and my memory should come back the only thing I remember now is that my mom drank wine did, did you fall oh yeah that's why I smacked my leg on that rock how far did you fall it's like a hundred feet or something. Holy cow! I guess I just trusted it. Nothing could be worse than losing a third of your, or two thirds of your life, you know. I, oof. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I go back in a coma for forty-three years. Ah. Uh, I, w I would think maybe. Hurting yourself worse would be worse, but man. It'd probably be the same thing. Just a bunch of darkness. Did you get checked out at the hospital after that? Uh, no, we came straight here. I'm just trying to oh. walk it off. That's okay. what we did as kids. Well, the, the ambulance is right over there. If, uh, well, I guess they're getting ready to leave. Oh yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Apologies, folks. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Well, thankfully it's not anything to worry about. Wash our hands. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I mean that's what you would use rubbing alcohol. You'd uh, it'd, it'd get rid of the grease. Well, then, you know? well, shit. That's probably why that guy's brilliant. You know, we probably ordered that and forgot about it. Oh, just the 
blue in the do, you, do you know you don't want to repeatedly wash your hands or rubbing alcohol and it would chap them? Well, I mean, clamp yes. would make you clamp your hands? You used to have been my it, cuts it when I'd get hurt. Clapping! It would, it would chap, you know, like make your hand raw, you know. But if with what? mechanics anyways, they have calluses, so it wouldn't bother them, you know? You're using so many words that oh. don't make no sense. I understand. I mean, there's a lot of words there. But when you when you work on vehicles, your hands get, you know, rough and dry and stuff. That's what he's saying. He's saying if you use rubbing alcohol, it'll make your skin dry. Oh, let me see. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, alrighty. I just want to make sure everything was good. I, I kind of was curious what the rubbing alcohol was used for. But if it's... It's just being shipped to you guys. I understand that. Like I said, it's more likely to wash your the grease off your hands. So, uh, Matt, you guys are all set here, and we'll get out of your hair. I, I appreciate oh, it. All right, appreciate it. Arriba Dirty. Rumpa Dumpa. Jeff. Uh, yes. Uh, I just hate that you say it. Don't stop. One of the stop phrases it. of the yeah. 70s and early 80s were there. Don't, I won't okay. stop it. Do take Dusty to Sandy now? Yep. Yeah. Okay, to to the forest. The shores. Thank you, sir. All right. Nope. I missed anything in there. Not really. No. Uh, you'll really. be able to go ahead and read that immediately. Back. Back. Dusty, watch out. Oh. You be okay? Yeah. It's, it's, you do it all the time. Well, yeah. Okay, right, we're gonna go regain his memory. Oh, sorry, so sorry. So, do you think going back to where it happened will That's shed some man. light on this? Where's the light? Someone knock out or let? I think. Yeah, we're good. It was crazy. I don't, yeah, I, they really wanted to see what was in that barrel. You still don't know where the second barrel We should from. buy a bunch of prop guns and put them all out all over the place. Oh man, they'll, yeah, they have just as much as they will barrels. They'll love the prop We should guns. bag up our lawn trimmings into like little, little packages and put them on a pallet. I don't think you can oh, change Oh, it looks like marijuana. Yeah. About drugs. Dusty know about drugs? Yeah, did they oh, ever make that does. stuff legal? No. Nope. Really? Well, in some places, but not in here. In some places, yeah. They were trying to do that back then. My, I seem to remember my brother was a part of like one of those like protests or whatever. Okay, so you have a brother. We're we're connecting dots. He's just a really good friend. And, uh, I know I had a mom and a dad. I remember my mom drank wine. I just, I can't get any names or anything like that. Debbie. Betty. Debbie? L Liddy. Oh shit, is this the toxic radiation? What the hell is this? Happening? Or is this an accident? Oh god, is there a fat happening? Well, let's pull up next to it and encourage him to keep going. Punch each other! Punch each other, fat! Buildings used to be a lot nicer when I was younger. I do remember that. They haven't touched them since probably then. That road on Josh, whoa. In between Sandy and Grapeseed, that road had a bunch of buildings on it. It was it was much smaller, like, you know, less width of a road, and they had businesses. They must have tore them all down to make the road bigger. They have yeah. Well, Sandy's all different now, too. Yeah, Sandy got a little crazy. We 
we didn't have a restaurant. We'd have to go all the way to the city to get a restaurant. Well, we got two out here giving up, and they had them across the water. We're in creeps. Oh, yeah, the social worker put me up in a house right by it. Oh, son of a bitch. So you, because his house is in Grape Seed. No. Is that a good city seat. or what? Get the hell out. Get out of Grape Seed. Oh, was there crime or? Yes. yes. So much. Well, they said I uh, have to be there for a month while I get, like, reacquainted with society. Is he right. like over there? Does oh, any of this look familiar? You know, it was. It was over here. I didn't recognize anything like that. Well, I mean, I, like, nothing was popping in my mind until here. There was, okay. uh, there was a guy. His name was Bill. And you see that building behind us? It's like barely standing. Yeah. He lived there. He was like, you know, the crazy guy in town. And. People would go to him for, for, for weed, and I think I was over by that house, and I was I was talking to Bill. I must have been trying to buy something from him, and it just went black. That okay. must have been it. I know how to fix this. All right. I do too. Pop the you gonna pop the trunk? Yep. You got... Yeah, it was right. His yeah. door was right here. Um... Yeah, I was knocking on the door. So what? You were in this house and well, I was outside. I've been in this it direction before, and but I was knocking on the door right here. Yeah, and, and then it just went blank. Yeah, and I said, Bill. It's, it's, oh gosh, I can't remember my name, but I said, Bill, I'm here. I've got your money. And then, oh. and then it went dark. And then what, look, we'll be, we'll be Bill. Yeah, be Bill. I'll be Bill. Oh no. Are, are you here to buy your drugs? Oh no. Uh, what happened? Are you okay? Wait, we need, he needs water. Water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, you get a drink, and then there you yep, go. Just, water just, for yep, you. There you go. There's some water for you. There you go. Now I'm, I'm going to drink a little. Is your memory coming back? Just a little more water. Oh, you might be drowning. Okay, I'll, okay. That oh, might be too okay, much. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay. So. Oh, God. Bill, I was. I owed him $500. Oh, okay. Yeah, for short. I was the the day before and I told him I'd get the money. But instead of opening the door and taking the money, I don't know, I guess he had someone jump me. I had a thousand on me though. I had taken it <laughs> out of my account. I told my parents I was going over to a friend's house. Your account at Lika? It it should be, yeah. And your account number is I'd have to I don't know the number. It's been too long. I'd have to find the book, the check. What's what was your name? My name is My name is Dave. Dave. It's Dave. Dave, okay, Dave look, we're, we're making progress. Dave, Dave, Dave Rock, Rock, um, it was a long Rock. name, Rock something. Ro Rockford? No. Rockington? Rockswood. Rockswood? 
Rock, uh, rock, uh, rock. Rock away. Rock and roll. Dave Rock, uh, fe rock Rockefeller. Feller. Rockefeller. Dave Rockefeller. Sounds fancy. Sounds fancy. I lived in Stab City. Oh. Well, that's not a good area anymore. Yeah, I don't know if it looks the same, it but it really wasn't then either. It my dad was identical. My dad had a had a trailer. It was uh it was the second one on the left when when we were there. I don't know. I haven't been back since. To Stab City. To the horse. Oh God, my head. It's fine, Dave. I'll update Bryce so she can help get the others. My dad's name. Oh, there's Dave. Was... Oh, he got a toe. Good too. His name was Orson. Orson. Orson Rockefeller. Orson Rockefeller? He made popcorn? Hey, no. we, he, he remembers his name. Yeah. Oh, we... yeah. Oh, hang on. We're getting pulled over. Chuck might want to switch seats. Yeah. I'll be clear. Right, so I gotta go. Last call. I'll be, uh, I've got a Porsche Grand Pull over. I'll be putting in 1050, please. Dave, I was always driving. You're, you just, you're... your head hurts, so you don't remember what. I think my dad grew up in Stab City. He said, you said the second on the left? It was the second on the left. I couldn't cool. tell you what it is you now. You can have my other uh, unit in Sandy come this way, please. Occupied, uh, the car's occupied multiple times. Hey, how's it going? Hey. How hey, are let you? me get your license, registration, proof of insurance, please. All right, here, here it is, Wilmer Fagel. I'm also handing over the dealership information. We did get possession of this vehicle from Grace Moore because she did not pay within the time frame to pick up her vehicle after we fixed it. So, okay, we have all the information here on this uh, on this thing that she sent. All right, sounds good. And uh, does the uh, guys in the back here? Do y'all mind passing your IDs to me as well? It's just something the hospital issued me. It's. Well, closest they thing don't I've got to ID. need to do that. Well, you're right. I'm just trying to make contact with everybody in the vehicle since I'm with the two on the traffic stop. And I just so I can identify speeding. everybody. You don't need to. Well, okay, you're right. If you, and if they don't want to, that's their right. But I do need your ID. Yeah, I did. You're Wilmer Fragile. Wilmer Fragile. Okay, and uh, which one of you guys handed me an ID for Dusty? Yeah, that's well, it's not his. We, we, his name is Dave Rockefeller. We've just, we're trying to get his memory back. He's really struggling in life, so. I just okay. got out of a coma. That was for the, that was, years. That's why I was speeding. I apologize. We were really it's excited that he got his memory back and he remembers he lives in Stab City. Yeah. Okay. But we're trying to see if his parents were there. Sounds good. All but right, there's Mr. a Fungel. good chance they're dead. <laughs> okay. Let me get back here and make sure this paperwork's works all good, and I'll get you a ticket, get you out of here. Okay. okay? All right. Well, okay. We don't need a ticket. You're gonna take it. You're gonna pay for. What? I think Mr. Rockefeller. Here he is. That's true. He does owe us some money. Once we, now that we know a name, we should be able to get. You should be able to go to the bank. Oh, I owe you money? Yes. Does this have to do with Bill back at that that building? Mm -hmm. Uh, n no. It has to do with you have an outstanding library book. Baby. Oh. Well, if my dad's there, we might be able to work something out. I he, he would probably know the library owner. 
Okay, does it did they not clear my Mm, it's possible. I wasn't going to give you guys a surprise this soon, but yes, this is Orson's son. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> How's it going, Tyler? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sure the library book, uh, my dad probably returned it for me. It was the, probably the one I had out when I got hit over the head I'm sure the what, what library will understand what was that what book was that oh I don't know I was reading Beverly Cleary at the time so it was probably one of the mouse and the motorcycle books I read those a lot later than most kids do I really liked them Wilmer, you might come back here and talk to me real quick. Well, yeah. You want to step back here for me? I'm losing the hat. Right here at the front, sir. Okay. Yeah. Um, go ahead and turn around for me. I'm patching up the weapons just to do a little wow. terry frisk on you. Just a terry frisk that you're out with. If this is, if your input cuffs and makes a warrant, that was cleared last night, and that's because you guys turn didn't do around, your please. job and clear it. This is ridiculous. Well, uh, we'll check in with that to be sure. No, I can guarantee you that warrant was cleared last night. Right, I'm just going to confirm that, and then we're going to get you out of here, okay? Give me a... Uh, I'm, I'm going to contact you. Get punished because deputies don't do their job. Well, I get that. And look, I promise you, if it's cleared up and they just didn't take it out of the system, I'll do that right now, okay? I promise you. Let me, uh, Does he get into some trouble? Let me, uh... Uh... Okay. A little while ago, but I think you got to clear it up. I remember the cops had nothing better to do back in the early 80s. It still, still happens, thing. huh? Yeah. Nice. Wow. Three cops for a speeding ticket. Yeah, it was an officer of Francis, a deputy Shannon. There was... The, there was a Ryan, there was a deputy Ryan. There's too many Ryans. There was a police dog. Uh, I think two four seven was there. There was the bolt. No one eight one wasn't there. That was why I was there. He 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 was hurt. Um. I think that was it. I, I can give you the exact location the, the pursuit ended. No, that's okay, yeah. man. Like I said, we'll, we're going to double check. Corner of power. So, big department. A lot of things get lost to the cracks, and that was one of them, okay? Um, go ahead and turn around. Let me get some cuffs off of you. We'll get you back in the car, and I'll give you a warning for the for the speed since I've kept you uh, long enough. Thank okay? you. I appreciate that. Look, I just gotta I've got to do my due diligence. When there's a warrant uh, like that, I I've got to do my, got to be be due diligent about it. Okay, so um, you can hop back in the front seat. I'm gonna get you your written warning on the speed, and we'll get you out of here. Okay. Um, I'm also gonna look at that paperwork for the car because this car is registered to a Grace. Well, oh, yeah, so. I, I handed that. Yeah, look at it over. It's... Yeah. Let me look over that, and we'll go from there. Okay. These cops have so much stuff on the front of their body. Okay. Uh, was there any weapon right Yeah, they got a lot of equipment now. Man, it was just a gun and a nightstick. Now they've got, like... Looks like they got rolls of quarters. I thought that was. Me. 
letting this thing play out here. I'm trying to limit the conversation in the back of the car because I don't want it to clash with what they're talking about, but I wanted to get some conversation going a little bit. I was trying to find something on there. Thank you. I'm gonna do you a solid right now and let you go with a with a with a verbal. Blow it down through Sandy Shores. I don't care what you do through the county. When you're Sandy Shores, you go to the speed limit. All right. I apologize. It's your town, your law. Thank you for your service. That deputy though tried to profile me. I'm sick of it. Yeah, I appreciate you for your service in Grape City. Thank you, I, Mayor Mayor Wilmer. Guys, that you guys got got rid of that old mayor. Jeff Alloway, because he I, I heard the that, I heard he had an yeah. insurrection happen on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was mayor for two hours. Look what yeah. he did. Yeah. Okay. Well, you are free to go. Uh, is right. uh, who's is he driving now? Is he got another driver? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. He's, he's he was flying. Thanks so. for you, pal. Keep it slowed down oh, for Sandy. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, always. Yeah. yeah. No, I, have I a good would one. never speed. All right. Thanks for clearing Reba that Durgy. up. Good. Sounds good. Why do they carry so many rolls of quarters on the front of their outfit? What? I don't know. They have little pouches where you can hold rolls of quarters. I just wish okay. police officers would do their job. Oh, hang on. Did you get a phone call? What's going on? Yeah, no, we got to figure it out. We're good. Jeez, crafty. Yeah, no, they 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 got us hoarded. Nope. Nope, nope, nothing for me. Well, that's because we made sure to get your information. Well, they didn't run my name, so. I, I took over the driver's seat. We're, we're going to Stamp City because that's where he said he used to live. They did. Yeah. Oh, that first trailer's um, gone. Oh, no, it's the other way. way. Sorry. We'll get there. Wait, which one? It, you would have had to take a left coming in. I guess it's the first one now because the other one's gone. So this one right here? The one that's all the rust on the front there. Yeah, that one. This one. Used to uh, be the door. second one. Okay, I gotta call you back. Dad? Oh, he's locked in. Well, oh. I figured I'd try. Oh. It looks like he's been oh. here recently. Someone has. Does it? Does it? Yeah, I can see. I can see the uh, couch has been slept on recently. You don't you don't see the crumbs and stuff like he's been eating on it. Maybe a raccoon. Well, maybe the raccoon did it. But let me let me check over here. There's some bags of trash. found a that's definitely my dad bought a bunch of cigars yesterday at the 24 7. that's got to be oh. him so what is that what is that other thing you have so it's, it's a checkbook I, oh let me, let me see whose it is Yeah, but how do we know how much he has? Because you know, 
still just decline if you don't have enough. Oh, sure. Well, uh, bank. Yeah, I guess it is mine. Oh, well, there we go. Well, he can just go to the bank. That should have his bank Do information. Do the on. checks still work after all this they time? They should be able to. No, no. We're going to have to take that to the bank, and they're going to have to give you a card and let tell you how yeah. much money you have an account. Yeah. Yeah. To the Porsche. Okay. Is this like a baseball card? Kind of. I can't believe my dad kept it all this time. I wonder where he is. The bar, probably. He used to always drive down the streets and yell at people that he called hooligans. Oh. Oh. I wonder if he still does that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, you know that old biker guy that was in yeah. Crocs with a bunch that just crashed yeah. that yells hooligans all the time? Oh. That's Boxwood? Dave's dad. Yeah, Dave, your dad's a dick. Oh, well, yeah, I guess maybe he is if he does Yeah, it's Dave's dad. Yeah, small world. Also, we found his checkbooks. We're going to the bank. Oh, we don't know yet. It's going to be a surprise. When did they see him in Roxwood? Yeah, I think so. Listen, he owes us, he, he owes us some money for all the... Oh, Chuck, be careful. There's a cop right here. I can't do the switcheroo again because he sees who's driving. All right, we're almost to the bank. We'll see what we can do, all right? Okay. Oh, Jeff's working on a car. That should go well. Yeah, that's going to be great. You said you saw my dad all out right. in this... Rosebud okay. or we'll, whatever? We'll be, we'll, we'll be back. Yeah, we're there, Chief. What, what was he doing out there? Was he... Uh, yelling at people. I also... Driving the speed limit. I think he was in a police officer's car. I think... I don't know. I think it was... He got arrested, too? Oh, no. He's in the front seat. Oh. All right, yeah, just tell you, hand him your checkbook, and then, uh... Yeah, I'd like to be able to access this account. And they'll be able to tell you how much uh, money you have in there with the accumulation of the funds since you've been in a coma. Is that your money dance? Yeah. Okay, can you tell me how much is on it? Oh. 12,300? Oh. Oh. Oh, it was in a... Oh, that's the checking. Yeah, no, the savings. Is there anything in that? I, I need okay she says that it's too large to save oh. from other people oh we'll just oh well, yeah we'll, we'll go over here oh, yeah look at this brochure wow i this fan. love this bank i love being blown <laughs> what it's a fan that's blowing me Oh, well, you write that down. Wow, that's a lot of interest. Okay, well, yeah, I that should help out a lot. Thank you. I don't even know what to do with that much. I can at least uh, buy a house. That won't buy a house. Or a porch. Oh, well. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be back. Okay, yeah, I guess I got a lot of interest. How much? That's, that's good. Well, it's like 120000 in the savings. I, I, I know, that's like... It's crazy. Dave, I, I, I could buy a couple houses with that, right? Or, or Dave. Or Dave.
around in this whole time. You know, you, you look like a force man to yeah, me. Yeah, this car, this car is what got your memory back. Yeah, this is it's the destiny. reason that you know, you know where who you are. How about you drive it back to the sh back to the garage down there for us? Get, get, get your, well, I, get your I don't have wet. a driver's license though. It's, oh, fine. it's fine. It's fine. I haven't driven in like. 45 it's, it's years. It's just like riding a bicycle. Okay. Yep, this one's only just, it's like a bicycle that has 500 computers. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yep, that's push oh. forward, Dave. It's reverse. Yep, yep, it's a little yep. sensitive. Oh, yep. boy. Yep. It's a little now, more yep. sensitive oh, than the... Like I said, I haven't yep. really driven that much recently. Yep. Oh, okay. Whoa. Yeah, so you, you look good behind the wheel, Dave. This definitely looks like, you know, this car just screams Rockefeller. Plus, for an extra, like, for an extra fee, we can have our one of our associates, Jeff, uh, oh. take you, he'll have perform a driving course with you. Oh, that would help. Yeah, I need to get a driver's license. Yeah, yeah he'll, he'll be able to, yeah, he'll teach you how to drive and get you the Sandy so you can get your driver's license at City Hall. This wheel is really, uh, touchy. Yep. Yeah. It's the power. The power never, of... What kind of car is this? I've never heard of it. It's a Porsche. Porsche. Yeah, maybe that's a memory thing. It's a German. When did the Porsche... Porsche... When did the Porsche come out? Here, okay, or where do you yeah, 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 okay. Oh, that's, that's your fine. back days. So, oh, I just hit my bike. But where you're going, you don't need a bike. Okay, Dave has a good, um, the, the, he so... Dave's able to buy this car. Oh, he, well, very I, mean, I haven't bought it yet, Mr. Living. He's very interested. Yeah. This. Okay. Truck has yeah, we can definitely do that. That's cracked. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah he started yes. welding. Uh huh. I was. Uh, yeah, I, I okay, was trying so, to find um, a place to get it to stop the leak. Do we want to start the paperwork for purchasing this vehicle? Dave, it's calling your name. Well, I mean, I guess I do need a car at some point. I just won't be able to drive it home tonight. No, you you will because Jeff will take you to the DMV tonight, and you'll get that driver's license. Oh, don't I have to like take a test or? How does it work now? Uh, it you see any little loosey goosey with it? You if you if you know the right person to talk to, you, that you can get you can get one. Oh, and Jeff's a smooth talker. Yeah, Jeff will help you get one there. Yeah. Hang on, Jeff. buys this car would you uh would you be able to show him the ropes of driving and got, help him get to the dmv to get his okay, license you got a smooth talk the lady there oh i would love to give her the little yeah i don't know if i'll be able to pass like the the physical driving test oh if no they you still don't do have to worry those, about those so... yeah you won't have to worry about that nah, okay, I just mm -hmm. thought i'd let jeff know so no, yeah, yeah, no, don't yeah. don't worry. I I I have I have high authority to be able to get in there and you know do it. I am I am one of the people on the trees in this after all. Okay, why does he brag about that? I don't. I, you really shouldn't tell people that. I'm also a registered terrorist. Whoa. That's, are you from the USSR? No, he's. Hop on in. We're going for a ride. He hasn't bought it yet. Yeah, yeah, we haven't bought it yet. Never mind. Don't hop on in. Is. Okay, all right. Yeah, just gonna follow her. Gonna follow her over to the table. The Berlin yeah, Wall hasn't table. fallen yet. I heard it. You. Someone told me it did. Are we? What car are we taking? Two fifty. All right, Dave, we're over here. Oh, okay. Now, normally. 
for that Porsche, Dave, it's like 300,000, but because we've been having an adventure with you and you've given us a good story tonight, I'm thinking we can do 250 for you. And that doesn't even, well, that, that, you know, what we can do is, because, you know, but man, but you're that part of this conversation. That's more than I've got, oh, though. Yes, yeah, so what we can do is we can do, you, we can give a down payment. Okay. Of, how how much and then you owe us each month and it would stacked up but then when you'll get a job now that you remember things you'll have a car to get to work it'll be good so i'm also going to train you how to drive yeah. so that's that's part of this benefit so oh, that's yeah. Good, yeah yeah it's part of it so and i'm going to help you get your driver's payments. license you as well so of what fifty thousand. Thirties, yeah. Work with those numbers. You think fifty thousand down? You'll be able to do. Oh yeah, he can do that. Yeah, I'll have to move it from my savings, um, so I'll have to go back to the bank and fill out a transfer slip. Well, sir, it's revolutionary. You can do it on your phone. What? Yeah. That's on this thing too. Yeah, banking oh, yeah. on your phone. It's very impressive. Oh yeah, I saw there's a marketplace here too. I thought yeah, you had to. You Marketplaces you had to walk to or drive to. Everything's on the computer and your phone. I'm taking a break. Okay. You're just gonna go. Hey, don't hit the table. Okay. All right. If you right. come over, over there, you go. She'll take care of you over there. Oh boy. Busy day. So does this card thing like give you the money, like a check, or do you need a check? Uh, pretty. No, we can. We have. If you have a card, we can go ahead and do that. Yeah, he is a. They just card gave now. me one. Okay. I don't know how to do it. You may have to. You may have to show. Can we me. fix your car yet? Oh yeah. Uh, uh, it's, it's no, a, I just it's got it's the It's a full engine for replacement. It. This is going to be a while. Okay. Do you have like one of those things where you put the card in and you go, shoo, shoo, like that? Uh, yep, I stirred it. Those things are monstrous. They're as big as those computer screens. It's pretty similar. All right, we'll go ahead and scan your card here for the $50,000 down payment. Oh, I guess I need to fix something here. It's not coming out of my pocket. Hang on. Oh, I can do that actually then. There. This should work appropriately then. Okay, yeah, and I fixed it if you wanted to do the other one, but that works. Okay, no, that's fine. All right. That thing's, so... that thing's tiny. That you didn't have to run it through the big machine. Uh, no, things have changed. Uh, you know, just a little bit. What's from that? What you probably remember. You just put that silver oh, dot on top of the, the thing Did there. You? <coughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. That's impressive. It makes things run a lot smoother. So just like that, you have it just, so it's basically a, a, is it one of those internet things like, like a check but on this internet? Uh, yeah, it's probably the best way to to describe it. Yeah, it certainly is. All right, so go ahead and um, I know that they've got uh, most of your information. So this is just going to be the actual financing plan. So we have that $50,000 is as a down payment. That is good to go. And of course, Jeff will be able to take you over to the DMV, help you get your license, all that information as well. And they'll be able to register that vehicle. Um, let me see here. All right, so I am going to have to go ahead and run your credit as well, just to kind of see exactly what those payments will be able to do. Do you have any sort of idea of what you might be able to do in payments? I mean, I no, I don't have a job yet. I 
I, I don't know how, but credit, I don't, like, I've been in a coma for 43 years. I don't even uh, know how so that probably would. probably actually won't have credit. I don't know how that affects any of that stuff. Right. I was okay. 18 when it happened, so I don't have any history other than, like, I, I worked at a little cafe that was on Joshua back in the day. Gotcha. Okay. So then we'll just, we'll go ahead and finance you through our in-house program. Um, so we will be going ahead and reaching out to you as those payments are due. And we'll be able to kind of work with you and see what you're able to do. Okay? Okay. Do you know um, roughly if... like an idea of what it'll be? Like a week, a month, and how much? Typically we do like to have weekly payments. Um, if you'd like, I can go ahead and check oh, with Wilmer or Chuck to kind of see if they have a, they might be able to work with a longer period of time because they know more about your situation. Um, so if you give me just a moment, I can check with that. Okay, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just hang out here. All right, give me one moment. Okay. That is not happening. You know what? Let's just do regular payment. All those look kind of goofy. There's one other one that looks good. Thank you, Cora. This uh, took an interesting turn for Dusty. Now, Dave Rockefeller. him in the CAD to Dave Rockefeller. And that's I'm on Craig's name. His story has evolved so much today. his info to that. All right, sorry about that. No um, so, because they know more about your situation, they did agree. They did agree that they'll be able to go ahead and do a a monthly payment plan for you, um, because it is in house and you don't really have a credit history. We are going to have to put you at a thirty percent APR. Um, oh. So it'll probably be a little while for you to pay off that vehicle. But, you know, as you're working, especially if you are able to kind of do some work with us, uh, we can go ahead and put part of your paycheck towards that. So that way you don't have to worry about late payments or anything like that, okay? Okay, so they're hiring me? Um, I do believe we'll be able to kind of uh, at least do some a trial period with you. 
you know, there's going to be a lot of training and a lot of catching up for you to do since there was, uh, you know, your incident. Um, but yeah, the, the ultimate yes or no will be up to them. But I think a trial period would be good. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I absolutely. I guess I know it's not your decision, but I feel like I should thank somebody. Oh, I will certainly pass it along. Okay, so, um, like, is there a start date, or, uh, or is that more determined by them? Um, it's typically a little bit more determined by them, so, um... Once we go ahead and get this finalized and you're over and set up at the DMV, I can call them and double check and I can go ahead and, and let Jeff know. And since he'll be with you, he can uh, he can give you that information as well. All right. Okay. Yeah. They seem like pretty busy guys. I understand. Oh, yeah. That's why, I mean, we, the help would certainly be appreciated. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, so I guess I'll... Uh... Unless you need something from me, I'll just check in with Mr. Jeff over there. Uh, yep, I do just need to go ahead and have you sign this paperwork saying that you go ahead and understand and agree to the terms that we just went over for your vehicle. Um, and then you'll be good to go. Okay, yeah, I guess I've never done a signature or not that I can recall. Uh, well, as long as it's, you know, you were able to figure out your name, so you can go ahead and just put that down here. Um, it is official paperwork, so we have that on record that you agreed to it, and you'll be good. Okay, there you go. I hope that's good enough. Oh, that's perfect. We got all your contact information, and I've got your phone number, so yeah, we'll be solid. Okay, so that means I owe another 200 grand on it, and I gotta pay monthly, yes. and you said the amount they still need to determine? Because uh, yes. of, like, I mean, it will be the and all that. Yes. And then I also want to ask them about your potential start date as well for that trial period, okay? Okay, well, I guess we'll go take care of the license and see where the rest of the day takes us. Yeah, absolutely. Jeff will be able to take care of you for that, um, and then I'll figure that out, and we'll get you started, okay? All right, thank you. What was your name again? Bryce. Okay, thank you, Bryce. Yeah, absolutely. We'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Oh, well, um, uh, sir, are you ready for the uh, test drive? As long as you are, I don't want to interrupt your business dealings. Okay. I am. Um, oh I'll, no, I'll, we were um, just we're just uh, having a little conversation. Okay, hey, come with right. me. And we'll um. And we'll, we'll, Sorry about we'll take that. Wait. Test drive here. Oh, Very good. I gotta show you how to drive, from what I understand. If that, that makes what I've been told right. Oh. I don't, yeah, you, you need me to oh, there, there we go. There it is. Um, yeah. I mean, I kind of figured it out on the way here. They had me drive here from the fleet guy, and I just, I really, it's. I couldn't stay between the lines very well, and I braked really hard, and... But I think I was kind of okay. Well, that's good. Let me uh, just call somebody really quickly. Okay. But yeah, whatever you think I need to know. It's a two hundred fifty thousand dollar car, and we paid fifty on it already. Up to forty three. Oh my goddamn local! And uh, I guess we hey, this did is get Jeff. I was gonna call uh, Wilmer, but I don't have his number for some reason. I have no clue. Um, so where do you need me? Okay, so, so when you're driving, uh, you gotta be able to stay, you know, if, if people are slow, you just you just fly, because um, that's what you do. I, I, I was told to meet to meet you guys, uh, Mr. Livingston, by Wilmer. Well, you, you, 
Well, what, what the hell do you want me then to, to do? <laughs> okay, well, the, Jesus Christ, we're going to get your ID, David. Oh, oh my, my God. Lord. So that's a okay, good driver. So, that's a terrible driver. Don't ever follow instructions by that driver ever, David. No, I thought you said to drive fast and go around slow cars. We weren't slow. We were fast. You don't go around me. Um, you, you go around... Um, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm driving David! I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm having three conversations at once, Wilmer. <laughs> Alright, I... Okay, they, they, they hung up. I'm sorry. There was a big news communication. I was told that I was supposed to do two things at once, and then I was now told I wasn't supposed to do two things at once. So let's go get your driver's license. Okay, so these speed limits that say 50, are they mm -hmm. just like, well, that one said 60, but are they like minimums Recommend or maximums? Recommendations. I, I look at them as minimums most of the time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I w back in 81, they were maximums. Oh, yeah, you see, that's changed. See, now that we have safety, um, they're, they're like, they're recommendations. And actually, they, they really prefer you if you, uh, if you go double the speed. Oh, because the quicker you get off the road, the less mm -hmm. cars there are to have accidents. Mm-hmm. That makes sense here in the future. Well, this is future for me. I can see where, you know, with this internet thing and everything being so fast, that they want you to do things fast and get on. One second, hopefully this doesn't um, boot you out of the car. I just need to uh, kick it. I think we're good. Um, for some reason, the, uh, the, the clutch got stuck, so I had to uh, smash it. I've had that. I remember that happening to my dad. Mm hmm. He tried to show me how to fix it, but that was a little, a little complicated for me. I work mostly on the doors of the cars. Wait, okay, so. On the doors? You worked on the. Why'd you work on the doors? That was what he had me do because he was teaching me. I mean, I was only 18, so he hadn't gotten all the way to, like, rebuilding engines and catalytic mm -hmm. converters and that. I did some with those, but he just showed Wait. me how to get the, uh, get the, the wheel thing working on the window again. What year were you born, sir? 63. I was say about 61 years old. Yeah. I guess the, the nurse told me my birthday was a couple weeks ago. Oh, well, happy birthday. Mine was yesterday. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. Anyway, hey, this is the DMV. I parked like you're supposed to. Crooked. Do these doors still get stuck like they did back in the day? I think they still get stuck. Yes, you're going to have to... Oh, what? Oh, oh. You think they'd fix these doors after 43 years? Oh, they, they, of course they wouldn't. Anyway, um, so up there, there, there's a woman that she should be talked to her. She should give you your license right on the spot. Um, they don't do right. driving tests anymore. They shouldn't do driving tests anymore. Right, Cheryl? Right, okay. Cheryl? She's saying yes. She's saying yes. You don't. You don't. You don't drive me test anymore. Now, now, give me one second. Um, I just want to double check that everything will be good for you. They're going to be giving you your license very shortly. Oh, well, well thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, there it is. Your license. Like it does. Wow, now, um... 
take those pictures mm -hmm. so fast. Like we had to, I don't know. We had the one hour photo and that was like a big deal. Mm hmm Now 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 that you you've done what oh, I thought you could walk out of these doors. Back out. Okay, so now that I have shown you the ropes, double the so let me let me actually go through some more just some driving things for you. Okay. Um okay, so what do you do at a red light? A stop, right? No, that that's actually no, you go straight through. Don't stop at all, even if it looks like there's traffic coming. They'll stop for you, especially if you have your high beams on. Why did they change that one? Uh because we wanted to really uh speed up the flow of traffic. It, it's something that we, we, we really want to um oh it encourage. goes back to that getting getting the fast everything's fast now mm -hmm. yep yep definitely right on target okay so just go straight through the light you don't even need to slow mm -hmm. down yep um you don't what about green go go faster faster oh that makes sense mm -hmm. yes and um and if you see any sort of um see any sort of situation where um you might be uh needing to slow down just pass the car what if it's a police officer pass the car if their lights are on and they're wanting me to stop um because wilmer stopped for that one you want to do what you think is right me personally, if it was my deal, let's say I was going 130 miles an hour, right? And I'm and I'm thinking to myself, you know, I could slow down or I could keep going. Like if I'm driving this thing, I would want to um probably speed up. Okay. okay you okay. know what? Let me let me drive you back because I'm because I'm, I need to get back to the to the, state, to the station. Oh, and I'm gonna show garage. you how not to the garage. Yeah, I don't know why I said station. Make sure you sell seatbelts on. Actually, you can. Seatbelts are optional. I, I wear one, but um, you don't have to wear one. You know, we never wore them when I was a kid. My parents. You could you keep doing that. They Go used for to it. just set us up in the back window. You know, if there weren't enough seats. You know what? If you want to drive from the back window, that's perfectly fine. Ooh, I'm getting a phone me. call. Hold on. Oh, hey, oh, hey, this is Jeff. Mm -hmm. I was going to drive back to um to the to the garage and uh, so I could get myself dropped off and I was going to let him free and go on his way. Just was just was showing him what not to do. See, don't see. See that stop sign, David? I stopped at it. Don't do that. Oh, okay. See how winged this motorist, David? Don't wait for this motorist. You go around this motorist. I'll show you an example going around it. Like this. That's how you go around it. Now, I, now if I was doing the wrong thing, I would have waited. So why wouldn't I stop at a stop sign? Uh, uh, why, uh you don't want to stop at a stop sign because it could cause a, a, a rear-end accident. We found that actually stopping at stop signs causes more accidents than because not stopping Because everyone at stop else signs. is in a hurry. So they'll mm -hmm. hit Everyone else is in stop. a hurry. Yeah, they'll drive right through you, and, and, and if someone does hit you, the best thing to do is to flip them off. Be really angry. Do not defuse the situation. People actually appreciate it when you um, when you go when you escalate the situation. They'll actually calm them down. Oh, like in New York. Exactly, just like in New York. So that 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 mentality has made it out here, even. Mm -hmm. Made it right out of here, you know, just like a New Yorker. If someone's mean to you, be an absolute asshole. I weirdly have experience. A lot has really changed in 43 years to mm -hmm. to know that the New York uh, way of handling things is uh, kind of a nationwide thing now. Mm -hmm. And you see here, I'm stopping at this red light and I'm waiting. If, if, if you ever had this situation, you should have just blown right through it. Just don't even stop. Uh, you do burn out. Yeah, I, I, I accidentally burned out there. I, I meant to not burn out, but yeah, you do burn out. Well, it's good to see a mixture of the rights and wrongs. Mm-hmm. Now, the, the, the gas tank is at almost empty, so that means uh, you're going to have to fill it up. Uh,
that will not come a, a, a free of charge. You have, to, you have to pay us for, for filling the car up with gas. Oh, well, that makes sense. I, actually, before I, um... Oh, there you go. God damn it. Uh, oh. I'll go fill it up for you, and I'll, I'll tell you how much it is. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I heard you in the distance. Do these things still blow up if you run into them? No, yes, don't run oh. into them. Yeah. Especially was, not I here. Was I was gonna say technology would have caught up with that, but I can see these are the same pumps that were here in 81. Mm-hmm. Well, we do appreciate, you know, their vintage style, so we've actually kept them up. Well, that's good. I'm sure that, uh, you know, the nostalgia or whatever, you know, is, uh, you know, appreciated by some. Mm-hmm. Without a doubt. Still about almost right. done filling up. Now, one last thing I want to tell you before you drive off, all right? Okay. If you were ever unsure of a situation of what speed to go, what way to drive... Best rule of thumb, a hundred. One hundred or nothing. Triple digits. So if I don't see enough, like, speed minimum signs, and I'm not mm -hmm. sure, just make sure I at least get triple digits. Yes. Yes. I try and maintain that triple digits. And they really need to change those stop signs to go signs, based off of what oh, you told we've me. we've been asking for years. Yeah, he was telling me about how if people are in a hurry and if you stop, they'll hit you. Well, that, that comes out to $74.04. Okay, yeah, here, let me get that for you. I'll mm -hmm. try my card thing. Oh, we got a card thing. How many cents? Four. if I give it to you. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now, she's all yours. Remember, a hundred or nothing and all the things I taught you. Okay, and seatbelts optional. Seatbelts optional. Yeah. I never used to wear them, but I think I will this time. Oh, I think you know the what? pump is still in here. Oh, uh, yeah, you might have to uh, just... Uh, you know, memorize the vehicle and then yeah. redo it. I think that's that's right how you do that, Bryce, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that's how you get rid of that. So some of these hybrid type vehicles, they uh, they get them stuck in there a little bit. I should yes. probably go to the DMV and make sure they know it's mine, too. Oh, yes, definitely. Make sure they know it's yours and everything mm -hmm. like that. You know, get that all classified. I know we didn't we didn't do that there, but um, that's what you do at your own time. You have to build a sale in there and everything, though, so that's... That stuff you can do later. You got 30 days for that, so. Okay. Yes. And if you want to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and sign this for me, this is for uh, your trial on your uh, your employment here. So we're going to be reaching out to you on uh, what your start date will be for that. Uh, and then, of course, because it is a trial period, this is going to be a little bit more of an open-ended contract. And as things go, we'll review your performance, see how good of a fit, you know, you are, where you'll best fit in with the company, and we'll go from there, okay? Okay, do you just, like, call me on this phone thing? Yep, we sure will. We'll let you know when we need your help, and, uh, we'll, you know, we'll kind of see who, I think, you know, it looks like Jeff has been a great trainer for you, so oh, he, he has, might he's... be the one that heads that. Yeah, he's yeah. really cleared that up for me. When, when uh, back in '81, the speed limits meant the most, or the, like the maximum. Now, they're telling you the minimum. I, I would have never known that. Oh yes, times have certainly changed. 
Okay. Um, well, is there anything else you need from me, or...? Nope, you are good to go. We'll be contacting you about your employment and as well as those payments, okay? Excellent. You guys have been Damn, great. you're still alive. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Good. I appreciate I your business, a lot of horrible and we'll, things we'll see you soon. Yeah. All right, Somebody started again. chasing us with Molotov. Of course. Have a great day. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, like a teal or a turquoise Mercedes. Run, my child. Run free. Like to register my car. All right, we're registering the car. Um, DMV vehicle registration approved. Valid. Vehicle type, SUV, license plate, listen, um, Porsche, black, um, 12, I don't know. Let me double check that license balance. It's a five and a three. Porsche Premier? Is that what it says? Panamera. Okay. in there. Bingo. Actually, I'm not going to repair that.
just driving the way I was taught. Get in your house, dude. <laughs> Wish I could look out the window. I'm curious if the cop is coming by or what. <laughs> so, what we need to do now... Man, I am just sticking right with this, aren't I? Hey, butterfly. So, what we need to do now is... We were told to get out of Grapeseed. So we've got to sell this house and get a new one. You know what? We're going to move in with Orson. Someone's here. <laughs> um, so yeah. What should I do here? <coughs> Excuse me, let me take a drink of water and we'll go outside. raining now, so I'm going to go back inside. Screw it. <laughs> it's going to be raining. We'll just uh, sit here and chill. <laughs> see how the cops want to play this. What's up, Raw Man? Okay, which, where's my bedroom? Is it this one here? <laughs> we'll just wait and see how this plays out.
learn how to cook from your phone or <laughs> yeah can I do that <laughs> is that really a thing is that how that works Still not working. Since the cops here, I'm gonna play off that I'm, I'm in bed or I'm, I'm chilling, that kind of thing, right? Up oh, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, oh. whoa, hey, what's Hello. going on? Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, what's going on, man? Uh, you passed me going 100 miles per hour over there. Oh, yeah, I was over the minimum speed limit. Yeah, but that, that's that's a little too fast. There's a, there's a minimum and then there's a limit as well. <laughs> oh, my, my driving instructor told me to go double the posted minimum limit. Okay. All right, well, um, I just that's got definitely... my license just 10 minutes ago. I just left my instructor. Gotcha. Well, uh, that, the issue is, is your instructor is telling you wrong because uh, it doesn't matter what the minimum is. The uh, the limit is what uh, is what is posted. So uh, that's oh, a 35 back there. That? Yeah, that's a that's a 35 back there on uh, on Seaview Road, and you were going 100. And that's and maximum, not minimum. Yeah, that's that is max. Oh, okay, so well, let me explain something. I just got out of a 43-year coma, and I made these uh, new friends out there at Joshua and Sonora, that gas station shop, whatever. And they told me uh, that they'd get me a job and teach me how to drive and get me a license, because I, uh, you know, like I said, 43 years in a coma. And he said, like, he told me the laws that had changed, like, the posted speed limit's now a minimum, not a maximum. Gotcha. I even questioned it, and he said, yeah, that's how it okay. works. Okay, and what, is this guy an official instructor? Does he have uh, certification or anything like that? Uh, yeah, they said he was, and then when he took me to the, uh, the DMV, he said that it, uh... That he he's there with the DM. That he also works with the DMV, and that uh, he, he went into the office and I heard him talking to the people, and he, uh, he must have told him that I had passed my class or my course, because they gave me my license. Okay. All right. Uh, do you have that license on you right now? Is it, is yeah, it yeah, right okay. here. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, you mind if I go ahead and take this and uh, run your information real quick to make sure everything uh, checks out? Okay. Yeah, there you go. All right, thank you very much. All right, I'm going to go and uh, run your information real quick, and uh, if it checks out and everything, we'll see what we can do for you. But like I said, you were going 100 in a 35 when you passed me, so that's, uh, that's a big, yeah, I, big uh, difference. There. I had them earlier tonight in Sandy, 122 on my front and 118 on my rear. Oh, jeez. So. Yeah. I was just doing what my instructor told me. I, I didn't realize... You didn't see the red lights because I know you went right by me as I as I turned them on. Well, the the red lights. He told me to, to that I didn't stop at the red lights anymore. No, that no, it no. Means... My red and blues. Oh no. You didn't see that as you went by, mock Jesus. I I didn't see your lights. I mean, I I did pass the traffic stop. That's stop. I mean, I'm 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 not shocked because you were going to the speed of sound. So. Yeah, man, that that's really quick. All right, I'm, I'm going to go run his information real quick, see if this comes back valid, and then uh, I'll be right back. All right, sounds good. Yeah, 1981, it was, you know, the posted speed limit was the posted speed limit. But Jeff, my yeah, instructor... Yeah, it's still the same thing. It's still the same way. See, I questioned that, and Jeff, my instructor, told me you're supposed to double the speed limit, and if you're not sure, go 100. He said red lights mean... Okay go through and green means go faster okay and i i told him i said that's well, not how it was in 81 
and he said, well, have you not noticed how much has changed? And I'm like, well, yeah, well, we, everything's I mean, unfortunately, the, count, the, the county's going to have charges for you. And whether they turn into those to appears or actual actual traffic charges, that's one thing. But um, that's it's uncalled for. I mean, ignorance of the law does not substitute for being being cleared of any crime. Does that make sense? Well, no, I understand that. My father told me all about that when I was a kid. But I I mean, I figured I'd trust my driving instructor. He just got me my license 10, 15 minutes ago. And he said, okay, yeah, and, and, on and 10, 15 minutes ago, you've already went by two officers at 100 plus miles an hour. Um, no matter if it's a real driver's license or a fake driver's license. Oh, no, I, I don't. I don't deny what I did. I was just doing what I was told. Okay. David Rockefeller uh, was your name, right? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. I just found that out, too. The... The hospital gave me an assumed name of Dusty Smith, and when I, I went with this, uh, what were their names, Wilmer and Chuck, and they helped me get my memory back and found out my, my dad lives out in Stab City. I wasn't able to meet him, but I found his house. Okay. And then they helped me get my driver's license, and their friend Jeff, I guess, is, uh, works at the DMV and he was the one who helped teach me and get my license okay but like I said I've been in a coma since 81 so this whole what world happened? is what, what were you in a coma for that long well I was hit in the back of the head on Zancudo over the berm I was trying to you know give an acquaintance some money and when I was knocking on his door I guess someone hit me in the back of the head. Next thing I know, it's 2024, and I'm laying up in pillbox. Okay. This has just been right. a wild day. Like, I keep hearing about this internet thing, and that it's like in the sky with uh, some sort of web that connects the world. And it's on my phone. It, it just, it, it's, you can imagine how confusing this all is. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, here's your license back, sir. Oh, yeah, you, it, it comes back valid. Um, so I yeah, it literally just got made valid, like, right before you guys came over. Okay. Well, here's the issue is um, I, I don't know if we need to get into contact with uh, whatever driving school you went to or whatever, you know, uh, whatever instructor is out there, but um, he's, he's not teaching you the right thing. So you're not supposed to go double the uh, minimum. Yeah, I'm finding that out now. Temple, we're talking about this outside of this house right now. Alright, um, but here's here's the deal is we're we're gonna be writing you a ticket. Um, I'm gonna be writing you a ticket uh, for the one hundred and the thirty five. Um, I'm actually gonna knock it down a little bit though. Uh, that way it's not gonna be your license isn't gonna be revoked right away. I understand that you know uh, your instructor was saying they need to go double the minimum, but um, that that is not right. Okay, so what I would advise you to do is uh, just take another class. I know you already have your license, but just be like, hey, uh, can I listen in on a class or something? Because my instructor uh, in my last class was not good, even though I have a valid driver's license. I, I don't understand how that all worked out, but I don't uh, know. He, it, he went it, into the like I said, it's valid. He went into the office there in Sandy Shores while I was uh, filling out my paperwork, and I heard some banging around and yelling and something about make sure it's valid. And I, I don't, I just assumed that he was arguing with the boss or something. I don't know. Can I speak with you real quick? Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, see, this is this is gonna get interesting. I love how it's it's making the cops have to go. Man, this guy, forty three years, and he's being he's falling into the wrong group of people. How does this affect those group of people? How does this affect uh, Dusty or not Dusty? I guess his name's Dave now. Actually, I'm going to have to change the name of the stream now. All right, uh, David. So here's yes, the deal. He's at, uh, he's actually going to be taking over the uh, duties of writing you the ticket. Um, okay. The thing is, is is we we got you on two separate incidences of uh, speeding and excessive speeding at that. Uh, so that's the biggest issue here. Is he can't be going 122 and you know 100 in these lower speed zones. I understand that's what your instructor told you, but unfortunately, that's just that that can't. Work. Oh, no, um, I understand that. I don't mean any trouble for you guys. It's not my intention. No, no, I and I get it. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to... We're not trying to be uh, angry or anything like that. We just want to make sure that uh, other civilians are safe out on the roads, and we want to make sure that you're safe. We want to make sure that you know the rules of the road. So what I would suggest right. is, depending on how everything shakes out with your license with these... Uh, with these tickets is to, like I said, go to a different, um, you know, class, a different, I, I don't know exactly, you know, where you went for this, but your instructor should not be instructing. Uh, wh what is your instructor's name? His name was Jeff. He works over at the uh, garage on Sonora and Joshua. Let me check my paperwork here. I've got the name of the business. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, God, I can't remember the name of it. I can tell you the address, though. So. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you just want to go ahead and give me the, the address. Yeah, it's 920 on Route 68. That little, little garage with the nostalgic gas pumps. The ones that I grew up around. The pole will stay up until we're ready to switch characters. Sorry. <laughs> All right, you said 920 Route 68 down there in Harmony? Uh, yeah, 920. Just wanted to double check that. Okay, yep. The one that that's down there uh, more towards the, uh, the west end of Harmony, right? Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. And they, uh, they were really nice. They helped me get a lot of my memory back. They sold me this Porsche over here okay. and okay. set me up with a payment plan, and now they're giving me a job, and they, I mean, they did get me my license, but now I'm finding out that that's, makes me wonder what else isn't so, you know, legit, you know? Right, okay. So, here's my deal, is, so, <laughs> what is, your name is David Rockefeller, correct? Yeah, I go by Dave, but David's the legal name. Okay, what's what do you what's your nickname is? Uh, Dave. Okay, so your nickname is Dave. But, um, okay, well here's the thing: is I mean, you you gave me the ID. You said your name was Dave the Rockefeller. It checks out on the license, and the license has a has your picture on it. And it matches you to the exact T-shirt and everything. So. Yeah, um, yeah, it's uh, 
They took that picture in the hospital before they released me. I thought oh. it was funny. There was like an x-ray in the background. I'm like, this isn't your typical ID picture. And they said, well, when you've been in a coma this long, they need to be able to identify you. So they gave okay. me that basic ID that just the uh, okay. non All right, so here's, here's the issue. Okay, hang out real, real quick here. Um, we're we're gonna go and double check that ID real quick, okay? Because it, it this isn't adding up. All right, so hold on just one second. Okay. Well, so they're they're wondering if I was given a, a fake ID when uh, the license was issued. So, like, uh, uh, the DMV actually issued my license. Okay, um, do you use hospital wristband on you? Um, yeah, I do. It's, uh, it's in the house, though, on my table. I mean, you're welcome to come in, or I can get it, or whatever's safest for you. Okay, <coughs> um, I'm gonna stay out here. I'm, I, I'm not gonna go in there without my partner. Um, if you want to go ahead and just grab that real quick, bring it out. You're not in trouble or anything. We just want to make sure that everything checks out, okay? Okay. Because it sounds like uh, you've been kind of coerced into maybe something that you uh, you didn't intend to be in, you know in on. Oh well, no, I was just looking for a mechanic job, and yeah, I mean it does seem like a whirlwind day, but after 43 years in a coma, everything's a whirlwind. I right, don't know absolutely. what's up and down, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? Now that uh, now that he's back here, if you want to go ahead um, and you allow us into your house to watch you go grab that real quick, um, we just want to make sure you don't, you know, run away from us or anything like yeah, that. And, yeah, um, no, if you want to go ahead and grab that uh, that wristband that has your name on it from the hospital, then go ahead and uh, do that. We'll follow you. In, okay. Yeah, feel free. Whatever safe is for you guys, I understand. Okay. Hospital band's gonna be more accurate than it is. Some random ass picture was taken up a right hospital. There you go. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and hand that to you. Yeah, I, I almost threw it away, but I thought, you know, I wore it for 43 years. It might be something worth keeping. Right. I'm just going to look over this here. Yeah. Nice house you got, man. Yeah, it's uh it came already furnished. I've barely been in it. I just came in to you know, take a nap and then I went out and uh started job hunting. Okay. So the, all right, let me, yeah, let me go back. Yeah, the name's not going to match because it's uh, they had to give me an assumed name because they didn't know my identity when 
they received me back in 81 so well but see the thing is though whenever they do that they give you a name of john doe they don't give you a name of dusty smith who told you it was assumed the right. nurse there at pillbox they said that when the officers found me i was laying in the the dirt and i looked dusty so they gave me the name dusty and then smith was just a common name i i don't know the logistics of all that i've heard john doe before but i guess you know they were trying to separate me out like they do with missing person cases i don't know okay all right let me uh go out here and run that name all right if you want to come out here real quick onto the uh, front porch just so we can yeah no, on prob here. no problem they told me that's why my voice sounds so weak because i haven't used it in so long and i uh been trying to get some exercise and they did some physical therapy stuff apparently i mean i wasn't awake for it obviously but they were able to do things to keep my muscles somewhat healthy but that's why i walk with you know kind of a weird walk yeah okay do you remember what you so so what did you do before the coma do you remember well, I was only 18, so I was still living at home. Right. And, you know, I didn't realize this till recently, but I, uh, I guess I was, I mean, I guess it's, I can't get in trouble for it this long ago, you know, but I, yeah. the, the house out there over the berm was okay. a guy who was selling, selling weed, and I had fallen behind on money with him. And when I went and knocked on his door, I, that's when it all went black and i guess they must have jumped me for my money because there wasn't a thousand dollars on me like there was in 81. huh okay so dusty smith does come back in the system also but it was it says assumed uh name from the hospital so yeah. um we don't know who he is and but we can we know if we can even check prints it would come back right. to both names in the system yeah they but someone mentioned something about they do DNRs now where they can find out who I am. My, my understanding of a DNR is do not resuscitate. Yeah, that's, oh, that's what I that's was, what I was thinking. DN something that they can, like, I don't know, take my skin and find out who I am. A DNA? Oh, yeah, DNA. That's what it was. Oh, okay, yeah, gotcha. they, D, the yeah, problem was, with The problem with DNA tests, though, if your DNA is not already in the system tagged to a name, then you just, oh, unless I you see. had some incident, like if you went to the hospital, right? Back when you, before the accident, which I don't even think DNA, you said you had the accident when 81, 82? 81, yeah. The DNA wasn't really big until 85. I know who my um, father is and I know he's still alive. What's his name? Orson Rockefeller. Okay. And you know 100% that's your father. I mean, as my memories have came back, yeah, I, I distinctly remember him. I, I remembered the house, went to the house. He wasn't home, but I could tell he was. He had still been there. I found a receipt from yesterday where he right. bought a bunch of cigars, and I remember he liked to chew his cigars. So he, he'd be like 89 now, but he's, he must still be alive. Yeah, uh, he, I've seen him run around Sandy uh, a few times. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. You're going to be getting a notice appear on the charges following. Okay, aggravated, um, aggravated, uh, reckless and careless driving carries five thousand dollar uh, citation and possible jail time. Oh. You're also going to be getting a citation for a hundred uh, for a fifty plus, uh, not a citation but a but a charge that'll be going for a notice to appear. A notice to appear means you don't go to jail tonight, but you will have a court date and the judge will set he will let you know if you have to go to jail or not okay, okay. so what i'm going to do about this name situation i'm going to put that into the to the narrative about the possible dusty smith maybe your name too so they know that if a dusty smith or um david rockefeller doesn't show up to the courts then those two people will have warrants put out for their arrest okay okay and as far as the dna test goes you 100% can go down to Sandy Medical and see if, that, see if they can give you one and figure out who you are for 100% you know, sure. But unless you have some sort of DNA that was already on file, 
then they're not gonna be able to match it anything. So. I, they probably got my fingerprints. I had a drug charge when I was 16. Would that help? Yeah, I mean, that might. Are... My head's, my head's swimming on this one. Let me go wrap this up. I'm not trying okay. to make it complicated. I'm sorry. No, you're just good. It, we're just we're, we're just getting more information as we talk to you, so we're yeah. trying to, you know, kind of piece together some stuff. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's a unique scenario. Not too many. Yeah, people. I mean, I've I've never had to deal with, uh, you know, anything quite like this. Um, I I'm trying to think. I don't know the exact law, but I'm not sure if. I mean, maybe someone under the age of 18 can get fingerprinted uh, if it's a drug charge, but I'm not it was sure. So anymore. long ago, I don't remember. I just assumed, right, and you know. and things could have changed, you know, from from back then and and now. Yeah, I just I uh, so DNA is what it's called. I, um, yeah, DNA. Okay. Yeah, I've been telling everyone DNR. I'm sure, that sounds really weird now that I know what it is. Right. I, I guess I'm just an 18-year-old in a 61-year-old's body that has had the whole world change around him. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I understand. I don't envy your position trying to, you know, reacclimate yourself to uh, the, the world and the technology advancements that we've had in, in the time that you've been in Tacoma. So. Uh, but we're just trying to get everything cleared out for you and uh, make sure we're assigning the proper charges and, you know, uh, citations. I'll tell you this. As yes, far sir. as technology advancements, we've made more strides in technology in the last 50 years than we have in the last 500 years. Oh, I, no kidding. When I left the hospital, they gave me this damn thing. This yeah, thing used that's... to be on the wall, and we had to roll our finger through holes. Yeah, it's, it's kind of wild. So, look, the county's not going to try to hem you up, but we have to hold people responsible. And I understand. I get you were told one thing. Here's what you can do. If you happen to get convicted on these charges... I would turn around and sue for the amount of these charges in civil court to whoever that was that give you the to give you the bad information. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And yeah. and they basically it would it would roll that you would have you would be responsible for the charges, but they would be responsible for paying them if they if they, if they were found guilty. Okay. Okay. But um, yeah, this notice to appear is for April fifteenth. It'll be on the paper here. Um, it'll be for the we're in. We're in Chiliad County, but the but the offense. You technically have two offenses. You have one in Chiliad and one in Blaine County. Um, this is Chiliad so, here? Yeah, this is considered yes, this Chiliad is County. Chiliad. So um, you'll have a, a court date in the Blaine County courts and uh, um, with the Blaine County court system, it'll be over at the at the BCSO. Uh, there's a court uh, area in there for you to go to. Um, there's no fines involved as of yet but you will have a court date April 15th. If you have any questions or you need to reschedule, do that way before the court date because it takes a little bit to go through the system. Right. All right. And um, here's the thing is you can always, you know, request uh, to go and get your fingerprints done and then they can try and match those up if they have any records. You know, like you said, you had a drug charge back when you were, what, 16, 17? So if they do have records of that, then they can try and match it up. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's as far as we can really go on that because... I mean, we're just trying to figure out who you are. I feel like you're trying to figure out who you are at, at well, this point, yeah, too. Well, yeah, yeah, no kidding. I, I told Dusty Smith leaving the hospital, and by the end of the day, I'm remembering my family and everything. Like, in bits and pieces, I still, like, the drug charge, I literally just remembered as we're standing here. It's still coming back. Right. Yeah, and I'm surprised. I mean, Pillbox is not known for their best health care out there. No, um, not at all. But I'm really surprised they just let you back into society after being in a coma for forty something years. That that's that's somewhat negligent in my opinion. Um, they sent me to the I guess it's a law office over in Sandy that doubles as a I guess a social worker shares part of that office and yeah they they set me up with this house. They the I guess the state paid for thirty days in this house and then. Um, they gave me, you know, like $500 to, you know, get started. And they said, you know, go get a job. Yeah, I, I, that's I got you. all the help I was really given. All right. Well, I give you the copy of that. 
Um, there's a number highlighted on the back of the Wayne County Courts. Like I said, if you need to reschedule that because it's scheduled for the April 15th, um, I would do so at least 10 days prior. And then after that, there's a good chance that if you call and say you want to get it rescheduled and it's within that 10 day period, um, if you don't show up on the 15th and you want to reschedule it, there's a good chance that they may actually issue a warrant because it'll be considered a failure to appear or an FTA for the for the notice to appear. Okay. okay. Yeah. I, and then there'll be a warrant put out for your arrest, and I'll be coming to look. For yeah, there shouldn't be a problem with that. It's not like I've got any plans or anything. <laughs> All right. I don't have anything else for you, but I would. Just a few things for traffic, right? Yes. You stop. You, you slow down and yield to traffic at yield signs. Red red stop signs. You stop at those, as they say. Red lights stop at yellow lights. You start slowing down and attempt to stop. Green lights means you can go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A lot of a lot of information at once at once here. And the biggest thing, if the speed limit says 50, most people won't mess with you going about 10 over that. But that is it. You hear me? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I. Uh, okay. That's basically what I was raised on. That's why I was surprised that supposedly it had all changed. But like, you know, who am I to question it after 43 years? Obviously, no, I, I society has sped up in a lot of ways. So I, everything I just, moves a hell of a lot made, damn faster, right? As crazy as it sounds, it made sense to me at the time. Okay. And if you have any questions regarding um, regarding the traffic laws, you can always call us. Yep, absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely, I will. Thank you. Yep, I don't have anything else for him, Gracie. So. Yeah, no, neither do I. Um, but uh, actually, real quick, uh, like uh, the deputy just said, um, you know, uh, that seems a little neg negligent for them to, to release you. So you may be able to pursue, pursue a uh, lawsuit there as well. I mean, really, I, I, you, it sounds like you have been uh, kind of just forced back out into the world by some uh, pretty not great people. So that's something you could definitely look into. But other than that, I think, uh, I think that's all we got for you. They were probably tired of looking my, at my ass after all this time. Yeah. All right, man. Well, um, I'm all good. Are you all good, Deputy? Uh, Sandy Shores is still pissed off about you going 122 through their town. So I probably sat out of there a little bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I was going to go up. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll find another way around then. I'm saying you can't go there. Just I would go under the speed limit and wave a hand up to the, up to the cops when they when you see them. Yeah, don't uh, don't make any enemies or anything like that because uh, you're you're kind of on a short leash here. I understand. I'll do better. All right. All right, Mr. All right. Rockefeller or uh, whatever your other name possibly is. Uh, yeah, Smith. I appreciate guess. you cooperating and everything, but just try and keep it slowed down. Uh, we don't want you to get hurt or you know anybody else to get hurt. All right, thank you, officers. Yep, yep have a no good one, sir. You too. Take it easy. We'll go into our house for a minute, let them clear out and do their thing. Grab our keys and this and that and blah, 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 and do 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 da 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 Matter of fact, where's the bathroom in this place? Oh, here it is. He's using the bathroom, and so am I. <laughs> now that we finally have a chance to take a break, I'll be right back. And uh, we can stare at the sub count that went up one and went back down one. I'll be back here in a minute or two. Thanks, guys.
All right. We'll pull that back down, pull that down. And uh, let's go ahead and head back to the people who gave us our lessons and tell them that we're not happy about it. We got in a lot of trouble. J Chat GTA, what's up? I'm gonna head over to this place and tell these guys about how we got in a bunch of trouble. Yes, this is a new character. This is Orson's son. But we've only found that out recently. Well, they're doing training at the firehouse. Yeah. So slow. Let's go, guys. It's becoming one, yeah. It kind of is. I wasn't going to reveal that tonight. That was an idea that I had pretty early on when this the idea of this came up. But then when... Uh, then when it... Uh, I was confronted with actually... Because I was going to do more of a slow roll with this. Like, I was going to be done with this character a lot earlier. But here we are six hours since we created him and we're still rolling with him. Ooh, excuse me. But we're going to go confront the, the BFGs and tell them that we're upset. Assuming they're still there.
Yeah, there's we had a lot of character development tonight. All right, here we go. Hopefully they're still here. them honking at me. Wait a minute. I think that was them, wasn't it? Let's try this. So I shared with her, but I didn't get hers. Oh, there it is. Okay, so... Excuse me. What is that? Hello, 
this is Bryce. Hi, Bryce. This is David. I was, uh, I oh, came, hey. hi, I came back here to the shop. I was looking for you guys. I got in a lot of trouble with the police for the driving. Oh, no, you did? Yeah, they said that those aren't minimum speed limits, that they are ma maximum. Oh, my God. I am so sorry to hear about that. It's like thousands of dollars in oh. tickets and... They said I'm lucky to still have my license. Uh, well, I mean, it is good that you do have your license. Um, oh, Lord. Well, let me let me talk to uh, the other. See if maybe we can figure something out for you. But do you mind if I call you back in just a few minutes? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk to you real soon, okay? All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm liking this because I'm like, we're, we're living this guy's life too, you know? Like, I'm really digging this uh, RP of really getting this guy's story together. We may not even get to the secondary uh, character. This may all be Dave Rockefeller. By the time the night's all said and done, I, we, we may still be able to get one quick thing out with whatever wins the poll. in use? With who? What? Okay. I'll wait. Maybe, maybe one's being used somewhere in the state right now. stands open. Maybe we go over there. Let's do that. Car. <laughs> hey, how's it going? What's up, man? Oh, I didn't even know they had a fruit stand here. I oh, just opened up. Oh, that's awesome. Look, I, um, what is it, like a quarter for a, like an orange, or what are you running? Yeah. Or you can do like a bottle. I mean, I kind of just wanted one for my ride. Oh, that's fine, yeah, you can have an orange. How much is it? Uh, you like, like you said, like 25 cents. Oh, it's good to know those prices haven't gone up. Yeah. I try to keep everything a little bit more fair. I had a 
another gentleman over here earlier that wanted three of them. He was shocked by how much I was giving them away for, but, you know, like I don't have like a fridge or anything, so, you know, I just try to sell what I can. Yeah, I, uh, well, I just got out of a coma. Oh. I haven't, I haven't seen the light of day since 1981. And oh, wow. So, yeah, all this internet and world webs and stuff like and then this phone like oh, I can't yeah. believe this thing so you have a lot to adjust to yeah and well it's just been a long day for me I just wanted an orange it's all good okay well thank you yeah, no problem Grab the orange here on my way out. Excuse me, miss. You're allowed to fish with everyone yes, they want. All right, thank you. I'm sorry? I'm not trying to be in the way, man. Oh, no problem. Yeah, I swore I remembered your car. Oh, I was yeah. Going, I was getting my truck fixed. <laughs> I, talk, yeah, I they, think I talk, uh, talked to you guys a little bit. Yeah, they and sold it good. to me. You like it? Uh, yeah, pretty it's good, huh? pretty good. It goes pretty fast. Yeah, I, I myself like like my new cars to be honest. But that car, but that car behind you, that Challenger, is a uh, uh, 2018, so it's 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 pretty cool. Oh, that's wow. See, I these cars just look amazing to me. I. When I walked oh, yeah. out of Pillbox, the first thing I saw were cars just like this, and I'm like, oh my god. It's, it's amazing the way cars have changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then and then our government's trying to get us, uh, uh, trying to make us go to, to electric vehicles. Electric. I like my vehicles with engines. Yeah. What do you like? Run an extension cord into your house? I think, yeah, uh, it's like you're, yeah, you have a plug and there's an extension cord and you can uh, hook up and some of them this or whatever. They have their things, they have their own vehicles. Yeah, it's um, yeah. crazy. That's, I don't know, I mean, I guess, hey, I wouldn't have to go to the gas station anymore. Oh, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty some vehicles can actually power your own house. Actually, actually, Wait, they power what? Well, thank you. Uh, the new Ford, the new Ford, uh, Ford, I think, uh, F-150 Lightning. It can yeah. power your own house. Whoa. Yeah. That's amazing. That's crazy, man. I, I was like, I was like, man, I need to get one of those. Like it's gonna take 43 years to figure out what's happened the last 43, and then I'm gonna have another 43 years to worry about in the time frame. Yeah, I, I myself am still confused with how I'm doing. I was actually that <laughs> officer that just woke up or walked up. I uh, was talking to him earlier. And he said, technology in the last 50 years has advanced more than in the last, oh, however long he said, like 500 or whatever. Oh. Yeah. So, no, I know we went from, I know, I know we went from horse-drawn buggies for a while, but we just have cars and stuff, real numbers, it's like, jeez. And now, and now we have technology that can basically take over the world at this point. AI. I don't AI? want that to happen. Yeah. What's that? Uh, artificial intelligence. Oh, like those little robot toys that they have. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, I think they're making actual robots. What? What do you mean, like actual, actual, actual like, robots? Like where? Like, yeah. are you a robot? No, no. not a robot. Oh. They're actually making robots thing right now. Right under our nose noses. 
you don't know about it until they literally say something. Interesting. Look at that. Look at nothing. Nobody can take over. It's really oh. God. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let a robot control me. Well, no, I don't want to be a robot either, and I'd honestly rather. Deal with you and her, like you two, than like your two robots, you know? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Shit, I'd rather deal with like actual humans instead of robots. I mean, it it's was crazy. a pretty big deal when they brought out the vending machines, you know? Yeah. yeah. But now, like the machines they have, and like the the, the gas stations, the, like those new pumps and stuff, are. I mean, that's just enough for me to take in. Cards with the chips in them and all that nonsense. Chips? Like yeah. potato chips? I don't know, like there's like a little like microchip in there. Cards now. Micro? Like small? Like a small chip? It's like a little thing. Oh, wait, card or car? Card. Is oh, like yeah, a, yeah, the bank yeah. gave me one yeah, yeah, yeah. today. And I, when I gave it to that girl, see, here it is right here. And when they, I gave it to that girl, she just took the little, little silver, I guess that's the microchip. Yeah, it's like, it's like a microchip, yeah. yeah. And she stuck it in there and I said, so when do I write the check? And she goes, you don't. We just stick this in, and it's the same thing. I, I, I it's just amazing to me. I, that, that, I made some new friends today. That, uh, Wilmer and Chuck, their names, and they, they took me up to the bank, and I showed the teller my, my checkbook, and they gave me this card, and they told me how much money was on it, and. I don't know, I guess Chuck and Wilmer were pretty surprised at that. But that's when they sold me this car. Oh. Oh, Chuck and Chuck and Wilmer, they're really good. I, I like talking to them and stuff. I and Bryce and basically everybody there I basically knew them. So you know it's just been it's been months. I haven't talked to them since like June of last year, so <laughs> it's pretty good to see them. They're they're good they're good people. I haven't um, seen my I, I, dad since June of 81. Oh. So I guess... Uh, what? Did have any way of contacting him? Well, I, I found his house. I mean, he lives in the same house. I couldn't believe it out in Stab City. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, he... Uh, but I didn't see him there, but I found a receipt from yesterday where he bought like 13 packs of cigars. I oh. knew it had to be him. Like the cigars, huh? Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he's always chewed on those things. Um, yeah, he, he, uh, he, he's lived there since he was two, out in Stab oh. City. Yeah, he had this fascination with, uh, he called them hooligans. Oh, that actually sounds like somebody I know. Uh, is his name Orson? Yeah. That's my dad. Oh, okay, yeah. I haven't seen him in a while. Neither have I. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, my boss and I, we worked on his car once. Oh. Is he still driving that little tiny thing with the, uh, song for a horn? Yeah, and it's like blue and brown. Oh, my <laughs> God. He never got a new car? Guess not. He bought that thing in like '74. I was I was like 11 years old. Oh, okay. He wouldn't stop talking about it. He bought like <laughs> six more of them because he said he's never gonna drive another car if he has anything to say about it. Yeah, my coworker bought one of the uh, one of the ones that he had. That Wait, he had. He's selling them. He sold the one. I don't know about the other ones. Well, I wonder how many he has left. I know that we, that we bought the one, or rather, my coworker bought the one. But yeah, did he find a new president to obsess over? 
Uh, I don't think so. Oh boy. Eisenhower this and Eisenhower that. You know, there's somebody that was also like, trying to get like Roosevelt in his head. There's an I'll, argument. I'll tell you what, I, uh, a couple years before, you know, get knocked into the coma, I, I picked up a drug charge. I was trying to buy weed from someone and the cops saw it and it wasn't a big thing, you know, in hindsight, but he, he called me a hooligan. I woke up one morning, one of my tires was flat and he, oh no. he said, I don't know how it happened, but you know, don't be a hooligan and you won't have to worry about it. I always thought it was him, but he'd never own up to it. Oh. So, but well, what was I the cause of your coma? Well, I, man, I didn't learn my lesson, but when I was 18, a couple of years later, I was, I went, you know that old, like, it, it looks like it's barely standing now, but on the other side of the berm on San Kudo Road, there's that, like, frame of a house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That used to be Wild Bill, and he was where everyone bought their weed from. Oh. And I fell, you know, $500 behind and, you know, went, I told him I'd have the money tomorrow. So the next day I go there and I had a thousand in my pocket because I was going to buy more from him after I, you know, caught up with him. And as I was knocking on the door and telling him I was there, everything went black. And next thing I know, it's 2024. Oh, geez. They say I got hit in the back of the head with something that resembled a hammer oh god and I guess it took him that long to get me awake that's 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 really really unfortunate yeah so here I am a 61 year well an 18 year old in a 61 year old's body basically and trying yeah. to figure out what's different about the world and how to become a part of it you know yeah, that's really sad. I was really surprised to hear my dad's still alive. Figured someday he'd piss off the wrong person and end up underground himself. I know that he got in, he's getting into a few little scuffles with people, but I... Well, he always said he was going to do something about it, but it sounds like maybe he started doing something about it. Yeah. I know, I know one day he called me a little again. You? Yeah, I don't even remember what, what did I you did. Do? Yeah, I was going to say, what did you do? I don't think he had a coffee shop that he was working out of in Rocks, but he called me a hooligan that one day. Oh, what's, what's what Rockswood? I, I heard a oh. Wilmer said something about Rockswood earlier. I don't know what that is. It's a little town just north of Polito. What? That's all water. Not anymore. It's, uh, it came well, out it's of the... Uh, well, yeah. They always happy. said there was going to be a volcanic eruption that could create an island out there, but I didn't think it was going to actually happen. It did. They've been saying that since I was in junior high. Yeah, basically, uh, they're adding uh, the islands getting bigger and bigger by the months. Does that volcano keep going off? I uh, think, yeah. It's a pretty good place, to be honest. They have their own interstate, but they have their own water park, they have their own town. So that's called Rockswood, basically. Oh, they have their my own, God. I think their own power station, too. And yep. fuel station. It's a fuel deep. Basically. I, I, I haven't been there much. My sister's been there more than I'll have to yeah. check that out. It sounds like a lot of modern stuff, though, and that, I, that doesn't intrigue me today, to be honest. Yeah, it, 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 it's a nice place, but, yeah, there's a lot of new stuff that goes out there. I'm just trying to figure out how TV screens or TVs are as wide as that pole. Like, that blew my mind. Yeah, well. Yeah. And someone told me that that 
you know, uh, oh, I don't, they just, they've told me a lot that, that there was just so much that's happened in the last 40 some odd years. Oh, yeah. From people being told to stay home and celebrities becoming presidents and I, like, what in the world? It's a crazy place. All right. Well, I probably better let you get back to work. I'm still looking for these these people that told me to drive fast, and then I got in trouble. With well, this, the Wilmer and Chuck, they had a friend named Jeff, and he apparently uh. also he apparently also works for the DMV, and he, he so he said he'd give me my driving lessons. And he said the speed limits are now speed minimums. Oh. And he said it's best to drive double what that number is. Oh my gosh. And so I drove home and, you know, I grabbed a couple of things and I was going to leave again. And the cops had my street blocked off and they were all mad at me. Oh. And I told them, I said, I, I, they were speed limits when I was, you know, awake. But then these people told me that, along with all the other changes in life, that the speed limits are speed minimums now. I guess they were wrong. Well, I don't think it's so bad, but. They said they were in the process of changing stop signs to go signs. Oh. And it was public knowledge to blow through them. It all made sense to me because they said, well, you're in the internet age and everything's faster. And so that's why they want the cars to go faster. I, I made sense to me. In the moment, at least. It does mean that they're taking advantage of you. Well, they said my car was two hundred and fifty or three hundred thousand dollars which oh. I you know with inflation I that makes sense too is that not right like do Porsches cost three hundred thousand uh, uh some yeah. some of them uh cost like five uh, five million? Oh, the million range like oh a, million like it's million one million to like about ten million. Oh, so they so actually it's gave just me a inflation pretty good deal yeah. yeah, inflation really, really is fucking these car prices. Like, really bad. Yeah, like, I had a, I delivered them, I delivered them parts over at their shop, and it was like literally, I got paid 150 grand um, for that only one delivery. So well, that's like, good. Yeah. You Thanks buy to Chuck. A Chuck of, uh, buy a bunch of oranges yeah. with that. Oh, yeah. I can yeah, buy all yeah. my oranges. But you can get like a whole fucking truck. Oh shit! I'm going to my truck now. <laughs> yeah. I can. I can, but I don't know how we're supposed to fit that stuff in my truck. In my trailer. Right. My personal truck. That shit was like combined with the truck and the trailer. I think it was about maybe two hundred, three hundred grand. So, oh okay. I own my own trucking company too, so it's called Andrews Trucking. So oh. it's my last name. So, oh, are you yeah. getting another job? Or are you doing your own thing? Uh, doing my own thing. Got my own, uh, got my own dispatcher. Uh, got some people that help me with the uh, accounting, with the things. I got to pay a lot of bills. I got to got, a, I got a couple of buildings uh, so far for the truck company, which is me at the moment. Um, oh. But we're, we're doing good. It's just, it's just with taxes and stuff. It's just really expensive. With, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. With fuel, repair costs, too. It's just crazy. Oh, yeah. I, those taxes, they, do they still keep a whole bunch out of your paycheck? And and mm -hmm. it's like, uh, what is it? Uh, the uh, Social Security and Medicare? Is that yeah, all? the IRS. The they IRS still really, take all really of that? Yep. The IRS really loves fucking shit taxes. They always told me by the time I retired, yeah. there wouldn't be any of that stuff left because 
it was going to run out or whatever. Yeah, it's just a, it, it's just been crazy, crazy the past few years, so. Wow. Yeah. Well, okay, well, I probably better get going, but um, it was nice talking to you, too. Nice to talk to you again, man. All right, take care. We'll see me around. All right. It's a lot more of a conversation than I meant to have with like as in depth of a, of a conversation I guess like I expected to get that deep like well let's not get too much into the social economic like we really shouldn't be talking about all that anyways but it, it was just it was more in the, more in the context of like things that have changed and everything And he would have no clue where to find him. He doesn't know where Chuck and Wilmer live. So he's just gonna... We'll go back and see if they're there by chance. Because he doesn't know where to find them, how to anything. Yeah, I didn't want it to turn into like a discussion of topics that really shouldn't be discussed. Like the cute little things about uh, the, the cute little things about how things have changed and everything. That was cool, but I didn't want it to go beyond that, you know. I felt like we were kind of towing down that line, you know. So we'll go back here, if not... If they're not here, then we're gonna go get Orson's DNA. And confirm... See, they're not here. Doesn't look like they are. Okay. So let's go to Stab City. And we'll have him meet Orson. We'll have Orson drive out. I wish there was a way for me to control both at the same time.
Oh, Dad. Who is it? Another hooligan? No, Dad, it's me. I'm awake. What? What? You can... David! You're awake? Yeah, and Dad, I need my ID confirmed. You need to go give a DNR to the, uh, Sandy Medical. DNR! I'm not dying, you idiot! Oh, no, no. DNA. Oh, Jesus! All right! Get your ass in here! Okay. Okay, options. Windows down. As long as he makes it to the hospital <laughs> before he gets into too much trouble, that's going to be the big thing. Hopefully he doesn't get pissed off. I could, but... I could, but this is... Uh, I could get someone to take on one of the characters, but not in such short notice. Like, everyone else has got their own RP scenarios going on right now. To ask someone to stop right in the middle of whatever they're doing would be kind of, uh, you know, so... can't believe it, I've got to go to the medical center and give DNA for this dummy who doesn't even know anything since 81. <coughs> Excuse me. Just on fire.
doing, son? Hey, it's Orson Rockefeller. I'm here to give blood for DNA. Okay. Let's take my hair now. Because that's better than anything else. Which room do I go into? This one here? No. Just in here? really quickly before we go um, got 41 likes on the night still just the one new subscriber but thank you for joining I'm kind of curious how many people are live right now I just want to see I know you guys have been dropping the stream so I know a whole bunch of people have been live it's kind of curious yeah look at that a lot of people still going so uh Wow, yeah, still quite a few for after midnight, almost 1 a.m. my time. But Orson has now gotten his DNA checked. The poll will end as soon as the story ends and we're ready to go on with that, uh, whoever wins on the poll. Now Orson had his DNA taken. Now we got to go back and have David get his done, and then David can take it to the uh, BCSO and have it confirmed, allegedly confirmed, that they are related. Yeah, Siv Ryan's online. Yeah, I've seen some of the notifications come in. I don't care anymore. It's the uni. It's throwing me off track. I'm not sure what that means. messages oh I got gotcha. you
You better go. You damn hooligan. Go. Damn it. Get the hell out of here. You damn hooligan. Hey, don't you start with me too. This ain't right. Listen here, you damn hooligan! Mental age. <laughs> All right, the damn DNA test is done. They said you need to get your ass over there and do yours. style before. Hobo 2. Excuse me. Sorry. Dennis. Chad's name. I didn't know that. What's up, Federico? Hey, Dave. 
David Rockefeller here for the uh, blood test. Oh, it's my hair. Okay. And it just says front one here. Yeah, I'll take it to BCSO. Is there an Air One right now? Dang. Definitely Air One. Oh, I just passed BCSO. <laughs> Watching the helicopter at BCSO makes me drive past BCSO. Because they're landing. Um, there's a whole bunch of servers. Yeah, there's a universe of them. There's one of the many. Hey, there we go. Car wash is working for us here.
Okay, so we'll drive around a little bit. I th think we're at a pretty good stopping point with this character, though. We'll just take him around a little bit, see what's going on. Finally got that car cleaned up. And, I mean, there's a chance that Grace is running around somewhere and will see her uh, car and be pissed off about it. So, that's really just the one thing I've got left is if Grace is out and about and she sees him driving the car. But otherwise, get those boats in because as soon as we're done with this, we will be uh, we will be going on with whatever you guys have voted on. Depending on what it is, I'm not sure how much time we'll have for it. We still have a pretty good server, pretty good full server. Does this thing not have a cruise control? Oh, I'm not on the screen, that's what it is. second here. I just need to confirm something real quick. If I can get my phone to do it. Okay, got that. Okay, now we can go. Alright, see you GTA. Have a good one. Yep, get those votes in. 82 votes right now. And it's still super close. What is it going to be?
howling to. Like when I let off the gas, it goes. Now it's not doing it, but it's like. It's like garbage. There, you hear that? Ryan's been having some fun tonight. <laughs> doop, 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 doop. So we'll take him back. We'll take a picture of our car and brag about it. That might incite Grace to be pissed off, too, if she sees the tweet. Be funny. Loser. It's the last house. Yep, right here. Why are there so many cars here? In my... confirm that no one's actually here. Uh, well, you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, actually, let's turn it like this. Boom. Let's get drunk. Day. What a whirlwind day. Um, got out of a coma after 43 years. Made some out, back out. Mm, 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 mm. Porsche. Oh, 
found out my name isn't Dusty, it's David. Oh, ketchup's in the chat. How did you... Oh, I guess you did run into him a little bit, didn't you? <laughs> Appreciate it, ketchup. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end the poll now. Looks like you all voted on it anyways. And you guys are getting a, a tour, it looks like. We're going to bring out Eddie Malenko. Okay. Let's check a couple things. Why do I have a notification from Streamlabs? That's weird. Oh, no. No, thank you, Streamlabs. Appreciate it, but no. Um. that and cool all right so let's go ahead and switch over to eddie medic mustard and dusty talked about bulk hogan and stunning steve boston yep um man you should hop back on and do some uh, criminal uh tours with me here Go ahead and drop him in. It's been a wild night with EMS, but I'm down for something tomorrow. Okay, yeah, just let me know. I think uh, Mason and I are going to do something, too, so we can get a few of us together. Um, let me log in as Eddie. Got it. Firefighter Mayo. <laughs> Henry Hines the fourth. You have to go back and see some of the some of the shit I ended up doing with uh, 
well, his name's now Dave. It's Dave Rockefeller Orson's son uh, ketchup. We ended up finding that out about his identity. That got kind of sped up because I was with Wilmer and Chuck, and they were really adamant at finding my identity. So I pushed some of that stuff forward a little quicker and uh, and went ahead and um, revealed what I wanted to do, and that he's basically uh, basically Orson's son, or he is Orson's son. You know, you know me. Uh, all my characters have to have some form of connection in one way or another, or most of mine do. This will probably be our last scene of the night because we are now at the eight hour mark of streaming. Sir. Good, how are you doing? Not too bad. Doing some tours tonight? Yeah, just uh, just getting started. Cool, well, have a safe evening. I oh, appreciate it, you too. Alright, thank you. wasn't right there on 66 that, but we're going to have to take the flywheels. That was dumb on my part. Sean comes up and goes, doing tours tonight? Oh yeah, just getting started tonight. He's like, motherfuck, who's he robbing tonight? <laughs> he knows right now. <laughs> who's he screwing with? 132. 132? Is that Boom? Yeah, it's Boom's number. He's not even on, is he? Doesn't matter to me. Hey, that's funny either way. You don't get any. Ha ha. So we'll go to the LTV Grapeseed. Start there. 
What other LTDs are there? So Orson, Orson has a son. Well, he called him a hooligan once back in 1979, Ketchup. We found that out tonight after he got busted buying wheat from some someone. Um, it, there was a whole lot of backstory tonight. It was actually quite amazing. I hope Andrew was still streaming when he was investigating Dave because that, uh, I would love to see the other end of that. We're trying to figure out what the hell's going on. So we'll start out here in the county, and then we'll take it out to the city and hit one of those LTDs. Actually, this one here is an LTD up right at the turn, isn't it? I'd rather not get caught on the first one. But hey, if that. We'll take our chances. Maybe we'll get lucky. But we'll make sure we're pointed toward the city so we can go right toward the city for the next one. So the idea is we rob the place, they know it's the tour bus because we're going to be right in front of the cameras, and then we speed off and get a new car. And then we report that car stolen, that way they can tie it back to this. And then just rinse and repeat and see how long it takes the cops to figure it all out. Alright, give me the money. Give me the money. Give me the money. Money, 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 money. Oh, he is going to buy something anyways. Damn it. Jesus. Twenty six seconds. So that's good. That gives us. Gives us a good chance of getting out of here. Whew, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why does the time always seem so slow? $480. Someone remember that. Type it in the chat if you can something, please. And we'll add it up later. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, okay. So we got out of there. We're going to go to Mirror Park and steal a car out there. Oh, that's great. We got out of there in time. I think I might have seen the flicker of a light. Cool deal. Cool deal. Yes. And that's a hard one, because that's right down the street from everything. Now, if they can communicate quick enough on our way to Mirror Park, if they communicate quick enough, it's that Vinewood Tours bus. Then, oh my god. What is going on with all of that? But if they communicate it quick enough, they can actually get it in that, uh, 
you know, they can let the city but know, hey, that we need to look for that tour bus. And if there happens to be someone in Mirror Park that sees us, they could catch us in time. But they're going to have to look at the cameras fast. They're going to have to communicate it back fast. It's all going to have to be bing, bang, boom. Or I'm going to get to Mirror Park before they'll even know what hit them. But we will steal a car. And we might even steal Justin's truck. If we're going to Mirror Park, that'd be pretty funny, actually. <coughs> Maybe that's what we'll do with this one. We'll steal my character's cars. We will go to their houses and steal their cars. It'll be a coincidence in RP. But we're doing it intentionally, like these happen to be, it's going to be random residence cars. But they're actually going to be um, my characters. That's, that, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Actually, if that's the case, I want to steal Cole's car first. Let's go here. This will actually give him a little more time to to find us, too. Piece it together before we even dump this. So we will steal Cole's sprunk car. You know what? We can even steal Orson's car that goes 25. That would be the thing that screws him. Is when he goes to Stab City and steals Orson's car. That could potentially screw him. Man, if Kim was was on dispatch tonight, that would be hilarious. Because she'd be like, wait a minute, why is Drew calling under all of his other voices? <laughs> Bradley may not know all that stuff. I don't know how much of the war he would know. turned into my lane, dude. Don't look at me like that. Oh my god, this thing barely moves. And now it wants to go. <laughs> seemed like the way to his house. Did I pick the wrong address? Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't realize how close he lived to here. Oh, she is. No, Kim's awesome. He's just right down the street from here. I guess it never dawned on me.
couple streets down. Warning, armed, violent, mentally ill. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong person. I want Cole Cassidy. Cole Cassidy. 911, where is your emergency? Oh, hey, bro. I live at uh, 710 up in uh, Vinewood Hills. My car was just stolen, bro. Warning, leaving. 710, what street? Oh, that's uh, Kimball Hill Drive, bro. All right, what kind of vehicle was it? It's a Bravado Buffalo, bro. It's uh, got sprunk. It's all tricked out with sprunk stuff on the outside of it. Like a uh, wrap or something? Oh, yeah, it's wrap, bro. It's got the number 68. It says Sprunk Extreme on it. Totally pro, bro. All right, what's the... Uh, do you have the license plate on the vehicle? Yeah, it's SP... N K B R O S, short for Sprunk Bros. <laughs> Got it. Did you witness it being stolen, or did you just notice it was gone? Oh, I didn't, bro. But he left like his giant Vinewood Tours bus out in front of my house, bro. Totally not pro. All right, what's your name? Oh, my name's Cole Cassidy, bro. All right, and did you want to speak with officers, Mr. Cassidy? Oh, no, my bro's picking me up. We got a promotions tour to start, but, uh, uh, yeah, so I won't be here, bro. All right, did you want to leave your number just in case we're able to locate it, or did you just want us to have it drop it off an impound and you can reach out to them later? Oh, yeah, you can just drop it off at impound, bro. It's kind of a company car license to me anyway, so it's all pro. Okay, no worries. We'll be on the lookout for it. If you see it again, don't hesitate to give us a call back. I know, um... You said you didn't see it, see it stolen, so you don't know how long ago it occurred, correct? Uh, yeah, no, I was outside a few minutes ago, and it was there, and now it's gone, so it probably in the last three to five minutes, bro. Okay, we'll have officers be on the lookout. Thank you for your call. All right, stay pro, bro. <laughs> okay, so, now... We need to get rolling. Because we are in the most obvious of freaking cars. So let's actually try and lay low as much as we can on our way to here. That's the next LTV. And we're going to take the long way around. I want to try and hit some roads that are hopefully less uh, followed. do have a cool down to world worry about as well so we don't want to get there too early i guess we can fill the gas tank when we do get there i just want to roll on some of these outliers this isn't that outlying but i just want to take the west way to 
little soul because I feel like the likelihood of cops being out this way toward like Vespucci and that is probably going to be a little more minimal than other places. That's the ammunition we robbed the other day. Look at that. Seatbelt just in case. Ooh, I'm starting to get the yawns and everything. Faster, didn't you? So don't whatever me. Hello. So now we gotta we gotta survive long enough to rob this next place, and then make it to. Uh, maybe that's where we go to Mirror Park, steal Justin's. And we do get one freebie if we think we could go to we could go to Eddie's house and get his Tigon. But we only can do that once. Because he only has that one car. So we could swap out for that. On the next one, he's gonna need to be seen also. So the first one we don't connect it to him. Other than the Vinewood Tours bus, which should be a giveaway for people in the know. But if it's not a giveaway, then we get his description on the next one. He will actually be seen taking the car. I think Justin's would be a good one. Eh, TT? What's up, Chad? That, a, that can't be a cop, is it? Is it really? It is. Oh, shit. He was running to his car also. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my god, already! What are the odds of him being there? You know what? I'm getting out of this car and walking off. At least for a minute. See if we're clear or not. And then we'll decide from there. Oh, oh, oh boy! Yeah, Eddie is nervous. He's gonna have to ditch this car. He's gonna have to ditch it.
do I steal another car? Well, I, I stole Cole's car. I could walk back to the LTD and do it like that. Ooh, this just changes the whole dynamic of it. He 100% saw us. He was combing the area and everything. Whichever one gets searched first is the one where I'm going to give them the deposit bag. Empty deposit bag. It doesn't matter which one they find and search. Oh, man. That's, that's heavy. Well, there you go. Punch the air. Why don't you? Okay, so we may just have to rob this place on foot. Well, I, I, I am changing it up a little here, a little there. I, I did, uh, but yeah, the MO is a little obvious. That's why, um, what did we do the other day we did differently? Oh, we hid in the trash cans. We left the cars and hid nearby. So that was how we did it different last time. This time we're doing it different by uh, stealing the uh, vehicles of known characters of mine. So maybe it's not totally changing the MO for the officers. steal this motorcycle. There's not even a ladder to get on top. Damn it. Yeah, we're going to have to take the bike. I was looking to see if there was a way to hide nearby if we had other outs. Well, here we go. Let's do it. Oh, it started with 28, now it says 46, no! Damn! And if that cop's still in the area, it's, it's over. Unless he found the sprunk car, and that saves my ass. Because he's busy inspecting that, but I don't... Yeah, I don't see that. Mm, this is too long. With this many cops, this is way too long. Way too long. Oh, no, and I hear the... Yep. And we got nothing out of it. Stop right now. Oh my god! <laughs> he nailed me! Oh. Get 
Follow me, please. I can't. Oh. Hands up right now. I think I broke my leg. Oh. Alright, don't move for me. Just stay oh, still. Don't I reach for anything while I'm away for units, alright? I'm hurt. I'm sorry. Damn it! <laughs> ah! Nailed me! Damn you, Matt! That was solid! Oh, man! That... He must have got me at the last possible second, too. Damn it! Such a good shot. Don't move, sir. Okay. Any weapons on you? Yeah. Do not move. Just don't move. Okay. Hello. I'm gonna search you, right? What? When? What My dude, what's up? Is it like a penny? Or smaller? Right, so I want to move you to a sitting position where I'm gonna cuff you, okay? We're secure. I got a gun. One gun. He's clean. Okay. Other than that, obviously. You got an idea on you, sir? Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. Uh, yeah. That's Edward. One in this room. Oh, Edward Malenko. Uh, let me grab that. Oh, yeah, got it. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, do I really need to ask what happened in there? Just getting a coke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So why are you running from the police when you get a gun point at your face? It's scary. Hmm. Uh, you want a gun point at your face? If I see a cop pointing a gun at my face, I'm putting my hands up. All right. I identify I... myself. Told you to put your hands up. You failed to do so. So, uh, fortunately got unlucky if a criminal, anything you want to tell me if before we uh, points a gun at your face are you gonna put your hands up as a cop do I look like a criminal to you no if a criminal pointed a gun at your face as an officer are you putting your hands up no but you, you're not a, I'm not a criminal oh not okay. yet so what was the question mm-hmm uh, sit tight. We got medics. I'm gonna get medics out to you, alright? Okay. <laughs> I lost the whole point I was trying to make there. So I'm in trouble for stealing a Coke? Is that what you did? Oh, yeah, I just, I stole an E-Cola. That's it. Okay. Well, at the moment, you're under arrest on suspicion of uh, grand theft and oh. resisting arrest. Oh, Resisting uh, an officer without contention, all right? Oh, okay. Um, I guess that one's going to be hard to dispute. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I just want to make you aware you have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer questions. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court. Well, you have the right to consult an attorney before injuring and questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, stay with a point with you and no cost, right? Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm glad I already know that because you're really good at saying that fast. Gotcha. So, um, with that, who's rights in mind, you want to, uh, start being truthful with, with me? Guess that's it. Why? He says he grabbed the E. Cola. He's saying he shoplifted the E. Cola. Okay. Yeah, it's just. Well, where did that go? Oh, I mean. Solid fucking I, question, actually. I drank it really quick and threw it All right, somewhere. Where's the can? Oh, I'm sure it's somewhere in there. Nah. So you threw it? That's littering. Oh well, I mean. Littering and. And and drinking the E. Cola. Why did I hear a loud electrical noise when I arrived on scene? 
Oh, I probably tripped their breaker when I tripped on that cord that they don't cover up. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see anything on cameras, uh, officer? Uh, plenty on cameras, but nothing of him. So this place gets hit a lot, it looks like. Jesus, really? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, kind of disappointing. It said that the last camera, which was on March 16th, which, you know, is now, what it, but it was that pursuit, like, an hour and a half ago, with the white Subaru. So... Alrighty, well, in that case, I'm just gonna lock him up for resisting and then we can, uh, yeah, pass the detective. Works for me. Well, good, I didn't rob anything, so we don't need to worry about that. I didn't rob anything anywhere. Alright. Well, the detectives are from What's hurting right now, sir? Oh, I'm sorry? What's hurting right now? What is. I'm sorry? Are you in pain? Yes, my leg is broken, I swear. It's got to be. Your leg, okay. What's up, Big Jess? So no robberies at all, that's good. Because I didn't do any. Uh, I think you did. Metro one night. I'm trying to get him to... Uh, this male had just started taking off on his motorbike when I tased him. Uh, yeah, he's reporting pain in the leg, query broken leg. Can you start up medic for me? Three, six, six, yeah. So what's up with all these uh, coupons? Oh, I have a hard time getting business with my uh, tour uh, business, so I give out uh, free coupons. I still can't get people to ride my bus. Oh, one of those open-air Vinewood tour buses? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. People aren't always too fond of them. I don't know why very reputable guy who does the right thing all the time. <laughs> Sir, you need to you need to back away. There you go. Well, hopefully uh, you're able to get some rest yeah, there, where's Jess. Your, uh, where's your helmet? Oh, um, it, uh, it, uh, I, I think it no. fell off when he sh it, when he shot me. I think it f rolled down the street. It's kind of down. No, in you didn't have a helmet on when you got on the oh, road. Oh wow! Imagine that. Oh. Is this uh, your motorcycle, sir? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. Why would you lie about the helmet when that's not even illegal? I was just gonna say. I was just waiting for him to. It's just a pretty stupid thing to do. I, I, I just, I, I don't. You've done you nothing but like you, you just don't told lie. me. You just rolled told down me this. the road, and I literally watched you run out the store, get on the bike, and take off. It's one of those Invisalign helmets. Invisalign? Yeah. You're gonna need an Invisalign. <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> Let's have a look at this leg, then, shall we? Got medics coming. They're gonna be a couple of minutes. Let's need to see if there's any bleeding, but I can control before they arrive. Um, uh, check the bike because there's no plate on it. Oh, bike is a bike stolen, sir? Yeah, he says, for he's you know he says, uh, yeah, totally mine. So you know what that means. Oh, so it's stolen. Okay, cool. Oh no, not at all. I, I bought this thing three days ago from uh, from the, the uh, you know that that uh, that car sales place. You know the one down the, the car street. sales place. Yeah, the one down the street. Everyone goes there. Okay. The one at uh, 357. Yeah, there's a, a big old lot there. Everyone loves it. Three five seven. That's the little memorial garden thing. Oh, no, no, no. There's a giant car lot there. Why would I lie? <laughs> you've done nothing but lie. You're lying again. Why are you lying about other stuff? Oh, my God. Dumb. <laughs> Well, I, 
I don't know what to tell you. It's definitely there. I mean, it's not, like, for a fact. <laughs> Eddie's just becoming worse and worse of a liar. So make a model of this thing. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those gray escapade bikes. But it, but it's got it, yeah it's it's got a lot of blue on the front. It's like a gray and blue. <laughs> he was lying about the color right in front of him. Excuse me. Alright, so medics is rolling up now. So I'm gonna have a look at you. Okay. So, here's the deal. You are going to be arrested. You are now under arrest. You have been forever, but your charges are going to be... Well, you, actually, let me rephrase. The reason for your arrest is resisting an officer without contention, possession of stolen property, vehicle, no, and what? third degree brand theft. Now, those last two charges may be dropped by detectives, but with reasonable suspicion that those have, a, have occurred, I'm going to arrest you for them, and then the detectives can look into it further. If they can't <laughs> find enough evidence to move to a prosecution, they will be dropped and you'll just be left with the resisting an officer without contention misdemeanor one charge, which is because I pointed a gun at you, identified myself and told you to stop and you didn't, right? Uh, did you check his, uh, record? No, was he got? He, well, so here's the fun part. Uh, the bike is not his. That's actually marked stolen I just bought through it. the VIN. No, you didn't. It, I, I put so, the blue trim on the front of it. So you stole the bike. Uh, you're in possession of the stolen bike. Um, it's go. flagged, and his license, even if the bike was his, is rejected. Oh, it is? I didn't know it's not. Yeah. That's another one. Yeah. So, oh, you got a fucking long, long record, man. Oh, You're yeah. still not making good choices. So you can add to that an additional misdemeanor one charge of driving while suspended. No, well, no. yes, yeah, suspended, yeah. Well, it, it's it's not suspended. I think you got the wrong name or number or something. Rejected, it's obviously, I don't know. no. Yeah, no. It, it's it's valid. Mm-hmm. It, it. I I went to the DMV earlier, earlier, and I I got it reactivated. Yes. Mm. Well, good thing you'll be able to say your piece in front of the judge. And well, it's Friday night, so Monday. Monday. Well, uh, hopefully it's not an Irish judge. Well, the truth will continue to come out here. Well, no, I'm sure. Can you tell this officer about the giant car lot at 357? Everyone knows about it. That's where I bought this bike. That's just around the corner here. So. Yeah, it's a huge lot. Not aware Everyone of uh, I know that's not a big lot. <laughs> 357 is the cop with that, like, uh, Asian looking thing. Oh, right? uh, that's right. Yeah, with like the pagoda. Hmm. For fuck's sake, I can almost see it from here. Oh, no, no, not that one. The, the no, the, the one with the lot. There's a lot over there. I mean, there's a lot of stuff everywhere. No, it's a car and bike lot. You can go ask him. Mm -hmm. Tell him sure. well, that he sent you. 
We're not detectives. We're just uh, officers of the <laughs> police. All righty. Well, medics are saying that your leg is needing x-rays and stuff, so you'll go into hospital with them, all right? All righty. Um, so what's going to happen is one of the uh, city officers is going to travel with you. Once you have been treated and cleared medically, you will be uh, you, taken into custody and um, transported to Mission Row, all right? Take her away, boys. All right, go ahead and stand up. And I'll, um, well, actually, the medics will probably have to help you up onto the stretcher. Once they do that, I can get the cuffs off of you and then attach them to the stretcher. You got any questions for me, sir, about your proposed charges at the moment? So this was the only one that you're worried about? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Uh, I'm good. You have any robbery? I'm sorry? What are you talking about? Oh, no, nothing, nothing. I was just talking about, uh, uh, uh never mind, never mind. Uh, please. Got you. Mm hmm. Well, you should have done that a long time ago. All right. I'm going to leave you the medics. All right, bye. <laughs> See Let's go over to 357. This is the giant car lot he was talking about. <laughs> No, no, there's a giant car lot there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> we'll go further away. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, look at this. Look at this. They both drove by it. Look at there's the other one. He's like, yep, no car lot. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's great. What was in here? Is this it? Oh, wait, no. Holy cow. I don't know that I've ever seen this. Not this one, exactly. Stairs. Leading down. He's still there. <laughs> Hi! Okay. Well... I hate to say it, but I think that's going to be the end of the road tonight. We started early. This is eight and a half hours in. And I've kind of uh, hit the end of it for myself. This was a long night, you know. Um, let's go ahead and send you over to... Uh, let's see. Let me make sure... Yeah, see, people... I almost sent you to J Storm and he's ending his stream. Or he ended his stream, I should say. I wanted to make sure that the person I send you to is uh, actually streaming currently. So let's send you over to Matt. I think he'll probably be on a little longer than some of the others anyways. Um, but we're going to wrap this thing up here. And uh, tomorrow night... 8 p.m. Eastern. We'll be back at it with some more derailed gaming. Be back on the server here, and uh, we should be partnered up with a person or two. Do the official derailed dance here with Eddie and uh, this new building that he's just found. <laughs> but anyways, thank you everyone. Crafty for being here all night. Kathleen earlier, of course. Raw man Johnny E. Jennifer K was here. Uh, John O has been in and out tonight. Federico Garza was in here earlier. Catch up. So many others. Chat GTA. Ben was here much earlier as well. Hope you guys all have a good night. We will see you. We're going to go raid heavy handed, by the way. The officer just arrested us. And uh, so make sure you jump in there to Matt. Oh, Big Jess also. How did I miss you? 
Um, but anyways, let's go raid Matt, heavy-handed. Tell him it's a derailed raid. Like and subscribe over there if you haven't. And we will see you tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Until then, have a good night. Uh, take care. And cheers. Good night, everybody.